God. Is this even a thing I can do? Where is this is him? Where? Oh yeah, I can do that. I can definitely do that, right? Right? Can I do that? Yes? Yes. Okay. You got it, little buddy. I'm gonna murder. I'm gonna murder. Buddy, you don't worry about a thing. I'm gonna kill your pet. I'll see you later. Hey, Crispy, that's just Nectar being Nectar. What are you gonna do? He's gonna talk to you right now. He's like, Crispy, listen, if you wanna be not dead, then you better watch your mouth around me because I will just you thing there. So just, just watch yourself around me, okay? Because I am the most powerful Moogle and I will wreck your okay? That's something that just happens. You know, you gotta watch out for Nectar. He gets a little bit rowdy sometimes. Anyway. Oh god. Bear. Bear. Ah! Oh, oh my god. Ow. 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 Okay. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I don't know what to do. Oh god. Okay. B B B B B B B break free. Break free. alive I'm alive somehow I'm alive I'm alive Poor. you guys didn't waste any time putting poop right there next to the food you don't poop next to the food guys okay we're gonna have a chat guys we need to have a chat we need to have a talk all right we need to have a big talk right here let me just get up here and close you don't poop near the food, okay? Where I make the food is not where you poop. You understand? No pooping near the food. Alright, are we all in the same book here? No pooping near the food. Okay. I'm glad we set this as a rule. I can understand that. I can understand that. Grandma, I'm sorry. Grandma, but that's a big knife. Why do you have such a big freaking knife, Grandma? That's not normal. I will take you out, Grandma. I don't think... I'm going to have to put you in a home for people with big knives is what I'm going to have to do. There's places like that. They have plenty of homes for people with big knives. I got a tube. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait. I got this. Uh-oh. Don't mind me. I'm just laughing at the falling animation. Oh, God. I've been goo. <laughs> it's a wrong time to goo. It's a bad time to goo. All right. Uh, I love how you run. Oh, look at you run. Oh, my God. Run. He does, like, Thanks the for Naruto run. Follow button. That's great. Welcome to the conspiracy. My boy does a Naruto run. <laughs> oh, he's gonna... He's, he's on his way to Area 51, guys. He's on his way to Area 51 right now. That's the plan. Straight to Area 51. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Swap out for the axe. That's a pretty bitchin' axe. He's like, what happened? I thought I had friends over here. Found you! You found an axe! <laughs> I don't see anybody. I'll let your guard down. Oh, that was violent, but also kind of funny. It's like, I found him! Oh, shit! <laughs> Oh, sorry. Oh, no bother. No bother. He leaned forward and lowered his voice. That's weird. That's a little weird. Stranger danger. Stranger danger. I see you have something for me. Yes, Gran has some jam I'm supposed to give you. He leaned in a bit further. Stranger danger. Jam? There's... There's something, there's something a little bit, there's something, something about this Pokemon that's very, uh, very eye-popping. Just saying. Something, something, something's kind of eye-popping with the design of this thing. Very, it's got an interesting design, and I'm not sure what, I'm not sure what about it. Not sure what. 
can't tell you exactly what kind of pops off the screen here. But okay. That's How's everybody doing today? It is Nazan here with the Lean That Streams, and welcome back. We are going to play some more Coma Rebbe today. If you don't remember last time, unfortunately, uh, the VOD is kind of messed up, but that's, you know, what we're going to do there. Uh, so in the last VOD, I, it all turned out great on stream, but I guess what I did is I had my audio routing messed up for the VOD, and the only thing that survived the actual uh, thing was the uh, vocals. So it looks like basically four hours of me talking to myself, uh, which is a great look. But uh, we are going to be playing some Coma Rebbe today. I think I've got that fixed, so the VOD will be great. I'm really happy about it. But I also think today is going to be the last episode of Coma Rebbe, and hopefully we get through it. Hello, Ashley Grace. Hey, um, listen, I understand you probably want like follows on Twitter and everything like that, but that's not a great way to go about it. I'm just going to give you like a little bit of advice here not the best way to go about it um i appreciate the follow and i appreciate you coming and supporting the stream but um fishing for follows like that is not a great way to go about things um it just kind of turns people off and i would just say like in the future you know like hey like you know just you know if you want to follow people follow people and if they find reason to follow you back then that is a natural flow of things okay all right thank you so much anyway so um we're going to continue playing some Coma Rebbe today. Uh, like I said, we're going to be doing Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays going forward. So that is the actual plan. And today is a little different because normally I wouldn't start this early, but I got some extra time today. Um, so here we are uh, playing some Coma Rebbe a little early today. But uh, I'm excited to do it because I think it's going to be the last... Uh, the last episode and i'm hoping we can get through it we're gonna we're gonna power through because that's what we're gonna do we're gonna get through we're gonna find out who is our person on um new year's that we're gonna have to get through my screen just went black that's good there we go okay got a fix but uh like i said i'm gonna have theo do his normal introductions and we shall get going so let's see what theo has to say theo tell us about uh the lemur conservation network oops Lemurs are some of the most endangered mammals on the planet, and we must protect them. Yep. The Lemur Conservation Foundation is an amazing organization doing just that to ensure that lemurs will be around for the world to enjoy. The Lean That Streams is proud to support an ongoing donation drive right here on Twitch for the Lemur Conservation Foundation. So, if you want to support the stream in an awesome way, and can afford it, check it out. To learn more about the Lemur Conservation Foundation, check out the link in chat at thelemurreserve.org. All right, thanks Theo, that is true. So if you if you do want to, we do have the link in chat. We are at $155 out of our $200 goal. And I'm really excited. We keep moving the, the, the goal up every time we meet a new one. And it just goes money straight to Lemur Conservation Foundation, which I'm very proud of. So something to keep an eye on. Also, if you guys are not doing so already, there's a bunch of places you can join the Leem That Streams Conspiracy. I'll have Theo tell you about that as well. The Lean That Streams can be found all over the web for more information and content. YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and Discord. Scan the QR code on the screen now, or go to any of the links in chat. While you are there, why not give a follow, like, subscribe, join the Discord, and you can be a part of the Lean Conspiracy. 
And anyway, that is all true. So like I said, we're going to get going on Kalma Rebbe here. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow night as well. So like I said, we're going to be doing Tuesdays and Wednesdays instead of uh, Wednesdays and Fridays now. And I'm hoping this brings up a little bit more consistency to things because uh, Fridays are tough. Fridays are tough. But we're going to play some more Final Fantasy 16 tomorrow night. The reason being is because I'm going to be playing um, I'm going to be playing Portal 2 and Overcook 2 with Hi-Fi Wolf. And if you don't remember Hi-Fi Wolf, they are awesome. You guys should be checking them out. They are streaming right now, so go check them out. But there, here's a here's a, a shout out to them real quick. Uh, let, me, let me do that. Oh, yes, there we go. And then um, I haven't done this in uh, manually for a while. There we go. See bully, dear. Oh, I've seen bully. You bully. Uh, you bully. Uh, 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 you bully. You bully. You bully. Shut up. You bully. Well, you bully. 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 Bully night star on the daily. Oh no, he poor guy, buddy. Excuse me. Pardon but anyway, me. we're gonna be playing there's some. Uh, they're playing Yas Yakuza driving, right now, and, and we're gonna be playing some Overcooked and Portal Two come this weekend. So that's why we're gonna be doing uh, Final Fantasy on uh, tomorrow night as opposed to our normal Saturday time. Uh, but uh, we had a really awesome episode of uh, Final Fantasy yesterday or Sunday, and it was really good. And I was really excited to get through to it. So like that whole scene with Titan and Ifrit was a amazing i'm so glad we got to do that but uh let's not waste too much time we got komarebi in the background there and uh i'm ready to go uh so we're gonna get going here today uh the vod's gonna have sound it's gonna be wonderful everything's gonna be great let's do it so here we go that didn't work why not happening hold on nothing's working well that worked uh oh i got a problem here hold on a second my stream deck is being very strange it was working earlier i'm not sure why it was doing that okay hold on a second i see what's going on there we go. Let me see if all the other ones are like that, too. Shouldn't be. Okay, here we go. There it is. In the background, we got the Goma Ribs. Uh, we got our fragments for this one. So this is like the next sequence. Um, we are starting right from scratch here. And then, Theo, get out of the way, buddy. Nope, not me, you. you. Why is that not working? God damn it. Stream Deck's being weird. Hold on. Stream Deck, what did you do? Okay, so that changes that. Oh, I see what's going on. What the heck? Oh no, everything's all messed up. Okay, hold on. So... Uh, me, 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 me. Why are you being like this? Um, I think it's... Oh, man. Everything got all messed up for some reason. Let's do that. So does that... That didn't do anything. Maybe... Maybe... I, okay, I probably do have this inverted, so hold on. Erg. Okay, that did work. Okay, so I just have to like reset some of these buttons. Darn it, darn it all. I know what happened, but it's still annoying. Okay, so if I'm doing that, and then this should be right. And then what is this one? Oh, okay. That seems fine. That one worked. Okay. So let me get to the other button and make sure that's reset. That's weird that that happened. I'm not really certain what went down here. I think I know what happened, but 
I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. You think it would be able to discern between the two, but sometimes these things are what they are because they're not smart and there ain't nothing you can do about it. Okay, that should do the trick. Let me just double check that it's good. Perfect. Okay, and then... Yes, okay, cool. All right, we should be okay now, so let me get to the game. Anyway, so as we can see here, we got a new free uh, fragment set. We're starting from scratch. This one functions exactly the same as the, with I know, that I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh my God. Experience. Okay. But um, yeah, so we're gonna start off by doing one of these guys. Welcome to the third. Experience supplemental fragment. Final welcome. Final welcome. This sounds uh, very final. <laughs> So let's see. Everything sounds super final about this whole thing. So that's kind of what I was thinking might be the case is that we're in the final segment. And if that's true, uh, then we should know. So. This so. Is uh, this is it, huh? I don't know. Is it? Maybe. Oh, I'm using the wrong mouse. Yep. Yep. <sighs> wow. You're very excited, Taylor, and I'm happy to see it that way. I really am. Welcome to the group, Chiron. It's official now. You're... Dante, Taylor, stop. Why? What did he do wrong? What? What is Why? wrong? Oh, I should be in the middle here. Hold on. Let me get in the middle. I'm the star here. <laughs> Um, you don't have to do this every time. Why? It's fun. They're just trying to be nice. I beg to differ. <laughs> By a lot, actually. Everyone deserves an official welcome. There you go. See, Taylor's got it right. But a rehearsed bit? That makes it feel so... Dis Ooh, Oops. big word, huh? Did you practice that one in front of the mirror? Dante, don't be mean. Nah, he wouldn't do that. He's not a fan of scary sights, remember? <laughs> oh my god, poor Dante. Not Dante, poor Isaac. Dante's being the meanie. We don't like that. Um, okay. Mean! Mean, indeed. Uh, give me one second, guys. I need to check on one thing. I'll be right back. Oh, well. He is. It's really crazy. It's insane, actually. Oh, I know, guys. I know. I know. I know. I know. Hey, 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 sir! Sir, this is highly unnecessary. I want your mask, though. I really do. Can I have it? No? Okay. Because they are very dangerous, and they will murder things on their bellies. Like, literally, on their bellies, they will murder things. So if, a, if, if an otter approaches you and says, Hey, you want to cuddle? Come, come hang out on my belly right now. You're about to get murdered. I'm just letting you know, because it's important for you to know. Okay, okay, sorry about that. I just had to check on one thing, but we are all set now. So, mean. <laughs> you guys never fail to entertain. I don't know what bit I missed, but this is still a great welcome. Aw, Chiron, I'm so glad you're part of the team now. Well, it's a pretty big deal to get added to the group chat. Sure. I just like to let people know how important they are. Yeah, you're very important to the team. Oh, in that case, I could stand to hear more about how important I am. Perfect. I could tell you all about it. It's like a rite of passage. You're truly a part of the friend group now. Everyone is, except for Theo. Theo's a little dick, so he's, he's not part of the friend group. He nailed it. Nailed it. Just be prepared. This group is pretty chaotic. You know, I don't know if they are, but I mean, lately they are. But 
I don't know if they actually are. So what I think is that they're pretty normal, except for the criminal enterprising thing. What is going on back here? I just saw that. What is that? <laughs> what is this image? It feels like it's staring into my soul. Oh God, I'm kind of slightly terrified now. I don't know if you sensed it by now, but chaos is kind of my style. No, no, I actually have not sensed that at all. And you wear it well. Well, he doesn't wear a lot. That's a pretty, like, revealing jacket. It's kind of a vest more or anything, like a hoodie vest, which is pretty cool. So, what's the first order of business then? Being great. I'm not sure, actually. All my plans are tomorrow. What are your plans tomorrow? Yeah, I think we'll just lay low today. Okay. Make yourselves at home while I stream. Yeah, sure. Why don't I, what, you stream? You stream, I stream, we all stream for ice cream. Honestly, today was already eventful enough. An Argus agent. So I was thinking I about this go outside from the last episode. And I know like some of you might not be able to see this, but in the last episode, uh, my character Delta um, like went back to this bar to get Fun fact. Dante. Lemurs are what you get when you take a raccoon and take all of their best qualities away. Thanks, Theo. Appreciate it. Ain't pretty. It. I know, I know. Anyway, but uh, to get Dante's wallet from this bar. And when I was there, I had this like crazy flash of a vision. And it was like supposed to be an Argus agent. But I was thinking about this the other day and everything felt really weird. Like it was like this weird visiony kind of thing. And I had a theory that what if that was Delta's first vision? Like he just came late and that was their vision, their coma rebi, so to speak. And I was like, oh, that would be really interesting for them to have a vision this late in life. And I was like, that would be something. That would really be something. So let's go for it. We can't just put our lives on pause. Well, we can, but we probably won't. Not for that good reason, at least. What would that reason be? It would be a pretty good reason, but it'd make us look more suspicious, wouldn't it? Super suspicious. Super suspicious from suspiciousness. How so? Hiding in general is pretty suspicious, but doing it right after Delta saw an agent? True. Although I don't know if that really makes a difference, but true. Makes it seem like we have something to be scared of. Well, maybe we do. Because, like, there's always a possibility they actually are after us. Yeah, we do, though. Yeah, that's a good point. They don't have to know that. That's the whole point. Under the radar. Who's they? And if they do know, because I was maybe... Well, maybe I wasn't. Based on what I just said, maybe I actually didn't see an agent. Yeah, we just draw more attention by making big lifestyle changes. In this situation, under the radar just means living our lives like normal. Perfect. I do like living my life like normal. Yeah, as normal as we can, while never splitting up. <laughs> we're just gonna be a big family forever and ever. We were inseparable to begin with. Besides, you know you're my favorite place to be. What does that mean, Taylor? That's, that's an innuendo. I hate this. Already. It, it hasn't even been that long. It's not permanent, though. All this Hermes stuff will be over next week. Well, you don't actually know that. I'm starting to side with Chiron on this one. You believe in Hermes way too much. Like, what if he's fake? What if he doesn't even exist? Actually, I do think we probably know him. Like, I do feel like the doctor's involved in some way. I do feel that. I know they want you to think that he works for Argus, and that conversation he had in the last episode was him talking to Argus, but I suspect that's not the case. The entire world is staring at Argus right now. Do you really think they'll just stand there and let Zeros die? Yes, maybe. I mean, I don't know why they wouldn't. I guess you're right. Why are they watching us then? If they made up their minds like you think, then it's still odd. It is very odd. I don't know, but I'll look into it at my follow-up interview. Even if this is resolved by then, I can still try to figure out the why. 
I can't believe you're actually going to that still. It seems like that would be a really bad idea because like if they're watching you right now, you're going to get in big ass trouble. Like they're going to arrest you. They're going to like torture you. They're going to like put you in a chamber until you talk and talk and talk and tell them everything you know. You really think notes on us would be that easy to find? Something yes. Something tells me it would be top secret level stuff. Yeah, but remember who you're talking to. I have access to a lot of stuff you'd consider top secret. I still don't understand this whole thing. I really don't. Like, how does a retail store worker, like he's going in to interview as a district manager <laughs> and they're like, here's top secret clearance, district manager. And it's like, That's okay. That's not shady at all. It's really not. Argus trusts their employees, especially when it's somebody valuable like me. And they shouldn't trust you at all. <laughs> Fair enough. Ironic thing to say while double crossing them. True. I wouldn't consider it double crossing, Chiron. They're just behind the times and need to catch up. That is a horrible excuse. Maybe. Wonder why they're so stubborn then. Trust me. It's hard to relinquish something you hold dear. They've been in charge for so long, they're totally out of touch. We just need to open their eyes to the world's needs. Okay, uh, tell us more. That just makes it even more ironic. All those eyes on the world, but keeping them closed? Also, I think in the last episode we found out that, um, that Clay's here is having second thoughts about this whole situation and kind of regrets coming here and also feels like they're in danger and they kind of are so i don't feel like they're wrong and if they do get into trouble that could be a problem for them it's going to change trust me they'll write stories about us one day well we did it in secret like we're actually kind of doing it in the coward's way like hermes is actually trying to do it at like a macro level and you did it for one person I hope they do me justice as the handsome sidekick. Okay. Uh, sure. I agree with that. You are a very handsome boy. I think you have some competition for that role. Which one? Me? Yeah. Me. Okay. Well, th f fair enough. We're all very handsome. We're all very handsome. I was thinking about Delta, actually. Oh, my. Well, it's nasin, but I appreciate that. Thank you. Send popcorn emoji. It was that little picture that just appeared. It's a picture of popcorn. I mean, popcorn. You know, it's good. That's an emoji of popcorn? Popcorn. What's that? It. We are derailing this conversation. <laughs> it's popped corn. Really used all their creativity on that one. Yes, 100%. Completely, completely creative naming convention. It's pretty amazing, though, especially with melted butter. You usually eat it when you're watching something entertaining. Like this group chat, I, I guess. Apparently. I think that I'm handsome, too, and then I thought it was entertaining that you said so, so I sent a popcorn emoji. Uh, it's just no fun when you have to explain the joke. Well, you know, he's new to all this. Just give him a break. <sighs> Hold on. A few moments pass. Carmen starts spamming the group chat with popcorn emojis. Great. <laughs> I like it. I like it, but I don't know if that's what he meant to do. It's interesting because uh, I, I keep forgetting that Chiron has no idea about technology and this is all new to him. And that's fine. That's totally interesting. But, um... It's really weird because, like, you wouldn't think that would be, like, that big of a deal for him. Anyway, so what's next? Um, I could do... I'm going to do another one of these group chat things. Uh, just because I want to try and get some of these out of the way, because there's always more of those than everything Experience else. Experience Supplemental Fragment. Location, location checked all right let's do it whatever we got to do i want to get some of these fragments out of the way because like i feel like we're going to do this main fragment and then they're going to have like a major segment that comes up probably the whole location new year's check. thing where's everyone at i'm right here 
right here, buddy. Right next to you. Can you? Oh, wait, because we're in group chat, so you wouldn't see me anyway. Living room. Living room. Isaac's room. I'm with Chiron. In Isaac's room. That makes Ooh, sense. Are we interrupting any private time? Oh, my God. Every... Thing with you, Taylor, is about You're the sex. always interrupting private time. Well, how do we? Well, maybe. Ouch! Ew. What about Delta? I uh, in my bedroom. Want to come join me? It's just a secret. I'll never tell. Just the kitchen. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go for it. Going for if it. If you mean for a writing jam, sure. This whole paranoia thing is a real mood. No, it, it's getting me like hyped up. <laughs> I love being in danger really gets my uh, blood boiling, if you know what I mean. Wait a minute. Where are you, Dante? In my room. In my room, obviously. You know I never leave. True. We're, we're here now. Apparently we're getting at the some more place. writing done. Good. He should be. It, it keeps things normal. Yeah, I'm really glad we can split up when we're at home. I could never write with all your prying eyes on me. So much for streaming the process. Well, he, maybe he doesn't want to. It was never going to happen. Never. Not even a little bit. What is the process, by the way? The process. I want to know what the process. Ooh, fancy yourself fancy an yourself author? Fancy yourself an author. Uh, well, I already kind of am. That's true. I mean, you write songs that does kind of make you an author. So it's it's in the same vein. It really is. So they shouldn't they shouldn't discount themselves. Really? The music? The lyrics? Oh, right. Good point. See, Dante, you got to be more respectful of people. Been approached to write an autobiography, though. I considered it, but I wouldn't even know where to start. At the beginning, you know, maybe like... One day, I appeared out of nowhere. People said I was born, but my parents don't remember a damn thing. Hmm. Is that why you're constantly writing in that diary? Well, actually, I, I still think there's something going on there. Like, maybe a little something else. Oh, yeah, of course. This is a pretty big trip for me, after all. Yeah, one you were regretting horribly. Wait, you're writing about all of us? Especially you, baby. I sure am. Am I the only one who thinks that's a bad idea? Probably. Why would it be a bad idea? All the details? About everything? Like, a tome of all this treason? Well, that's true. What if somebody were to pick it up and read it like I almost did? I can see how that might be problematic, but remember, we're not gonna get caught. And when things end in favor of the Zeros, those will just be notes about how the world changed. You're very optimistic, Isaac, and I appreciate that about you. I'm not writing about that kind of stuff, actually. I wouldn't do anything that could end up harming us. Is that a problem? Well, well, listen, you were thinking about it. <laughs> we all know you were thinking about it. On my life. Well, well. then consider my mind at ease. Anyway, Clace, I don't know if I can help. I'm more of a fiction writer than anything else. Fair enough. What's the difference? A lot. Quite a bit, actually. Her real life is boring. Is it, though? You guys are a criminal case living on, in hiding in people's houses with, like, everybody potentially banging everybody and it's like you're saying it's boring everything you're so boring maybe that's because you never go outside maybe my imagination is way more fun plus it makes me a lot of money too <laughs> what is well unless you're at do you write that as stuff in your book is that going your books like do you matt you know what i'm talking about i don't really get the appeal but then again i'm not really creative you created... Okay, well, whatever. You spend all day tinkering in your workshop, though. Technology can require just as much creativity. It's more like optimization than anything else. Gotta make sure everything is excessively efficient. Perfect. I like the concept. Well, writing is kind of the same. Sure. The story is nothing if it's not efficient. I fine-tune my stuff almost every day. Okay, that makes sense. I like the concept. 
I guess that makes sense. Hey, we're on the and same page. Speaking of which, could you all stay out of my workshop? I'm working on a surprise and it's not ready just yet. I don't like your surprises, so no. I hope someone says that next. So like, your surprises lately have been a little bit frightening. Another Isaac surprise? You see, you see, we're on me and Taylor, baby. Me and Taylor. We know we're on we're on the same wavelength. We got this. As if we need another. <laughs> As if we need another. No, we do not. This one is great, I promise. Yeah, I'm guessing you thought that about the last one, and now we're all in hiding. <laughs> What is it, exactly? It, well, it's a surprise, so we can't say. A secret? That's bad. I don't like it when you give me this face and say that word. Not good. Shady. Shady is Isaac's middle name. His name is Isaac Shady... Uh, does Isaac have a last name? Isaac Shady McShadyson. Well, at least he didn't use the House of Isaac line again. That's... Did he ever do that? Because that would be corny as F, and I would give you an F in chat. Would have been a decent callback, actually. Okay, fair enough. The temptation was there, but I'll show you the surprise soon enough. Okay, well, I will run and hide before you do that, because I don't want to end up in more legal troubles, which as I think is where this is leading. Anything worse. It probably will. Come on, how could things get any worse? We could be in jail right now. Did, did you think that? Did you think that through at all? Did you actually think that through? Because there's a lot of ways we could be in worse situations. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh, we're going to the void. The void. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Isaac doesn't understand that it could be way worse right now. So. Okay, so we've done that. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six of these. One, two, three, four, five of these. So I've done these. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. So I've got basically one, one to one. I should do one of these pivotal moments and then we can start just kind of like cascading through. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a pivotal. We'll start here. Experience pivotal fragment. Laying low. I do like to lay low. In a bed, preferably, because it's very comfortable. Fear of the future must not define us. It's regrets of the past that make us who we are. Sure, that makes sense. It, it's true to a certain extent. I don't know if you should have, like, regrets should shape you. There's that picture again. What is going on over here? I know it's supposed to be a bunny. I wonder if that is... I think I know what that might be. I think I know who that is. Oh, this was the first time we've all assembled at Taylor's place. But I know we've all been here at least once or twice on our own. And you know what happened then, except for me, because he held off for some reason. I'm glad these new developments didn't cause group panic. If anything, it was more like group caution, which was what we needed. Paranoia wouldn't do nothing but cloud our judgment and lead us to failure. I have no idea what to do in the meantime, but everybody seems a bit bored. Well, the quantum leap is in three days. It and is, actually. The anime convention is a few days later. I guess we can still have some fun while we lay low. Like, fun fun? Like, you know, you were like, fun fun? Like Smash Bros? And both events will have large crowds. It'll be easy to blend in when we leave our houses. Great. But what do we do until then? That's the billion dollar question. I don't think a billion dollars is going to be included at all, Dante. We could always binge more anime. I have a lot to watch before the con. True. I wouldn't mind seeing what that's all about. It's kind of like our R&R &R campaign, but animated, right? Yeah, kind of. That's actually a pretty good way to, to go about it. Basically. Basically. I mean, it's it's pretty much the same idea. I get what he's saying. There's a good idea, too, though. We shouldn't neglect that campaign. True. We could go back to wearing tights. I don't know why I assume we were wearing tights while doing that, but we should have been. If we weren't wearing tights while playing that game, then I think we missed uh, an opportunity there. As the GM, I'm inclined to agree. Yes. You were. You did fine. You did good. Uh, no better form of escapism than role-playing. Ooh, I do like to role-play in Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> and vodka. 
at the same time. Or gummies. At the same time. <laughs> I like the sound of all these things. Who says the isolation has to be dull, right? Let's just all get together and do all of those things at once and see what happens. Right. Well, I'm still a bit of an outlier here. Delta 2. We both need to leave the house. Why? What do we need to do? Why? Why is that? I don't know. I have no idea why he volunteered me to leave the house. I did nothing. Well, I have a job. You have a job? Fair. Fair. And Delta has those appointments. It would be suspicious if I stopped seeing my doctor. Also, he's hot and I'd like to see him. Those are pretty confidential, so we can wait outside. But for your shifts, I assume we can just hang out in the store? Probably. Probably. Hiding in the store to avoid people. Kind of reminds me of how we first met. Oh yeah, you did tell this story. I do remember that, kind of. Like, you were hiding from people, and then you ended up in his store, and that's how you guys became friends. It's very cute. You know what they say, right? Every good story ends how it begins. I definitely hope ours isn't about to end. No, I think it might be, actually. <laughs> I think we're getting toward, towards the end. Foreboding. We're all gonna end up in jail. It's gonna be jail time. We're gonna be fine. Besides, this all sounds fun. It's like a vacation on top of my hiatus. How is that a vacation? You're gonna be hanging out at basically what amounts to being the Apple Store for eight hours a day. Feels like a good time to let him know I might be cleared soon. My counselor told me that it could be many couple more sessions anyway, too. How fortuitous. Hopefully he's been sticking to the curriculum lately. Um, yeah, I think he has been. I nod. I'm really glad to hear that, Delta. Me too. Getting cleared is a big deal. It is, uh, I guess. I don't know. Why well, would you know that? You would, you've never had to be in that situation. What's that all about anyway? Oh, you know, I'm crazy. Delta has to see a counselor. You know, someone to talk to. People without visions can be more emotionally compromised. Unless I did have a vision. And I'm right about that, because I tend to think I might be right about that. And I guess this is a sign that they aren't? I'm very emotionally compromised, Correct. actually. Very much so. You have no idea, guys. You have no idea. <laughs> My, my emotional compromising. Oh, oh, God, please. I don't know if that's true. All right. Seems worthy of celebration to me. I wouldn't mind trying some more of that beer either. You just you suddenly, we've turned him into a literal booze hound. Literally a booze hound. <laughs> yeah, it really grows on you, doesn't it? Hated it at first, but now you can't get enough of it. Well, you, you probably should get enough of it. Although, with this group, I don't think that's possible. Yeah, kind of how I feel about you. Ooh. Oh my. Oh baby, oh baby. Oh baby, oh baby, oh baby. He smirks. Ooh, talk about a backhanded compliment. Gotta give you credit for the sass, though. That's pretty good. They're, they're flirting. They're flirting. Everybody should flirt. Let's just flirt, 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 flirt. Flirt, flirt, you flirt, you flirt, you flirt, everybody flirts, it's great. Oh, I'm learning from the best. Yeah, me. You mean me, right? Oh, that kind of reminds me. I should add you to the group chat. We went over this. I don't know if you were, you were there. Totally. Totally. It might be best to use that a lot, especially if we're talking about matters at hand. Sometimes security and surveillance can be a two-way street. Makes sense to me. I mean, you're scaring me, but it makes sense. Why, though? I guess I'm not understanding this concept, because if they're surveilling us, couldn't they just look into our group chat and see what we're saying? And we go like, hey, guys, you know the criminal thing that we're doing? Don't tell anyone. Wink, 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 wink. And then they're like, oh, we got him. <laughs> all the technology belonged to Argus after all. I wonder if they could watch people of note. Just being cautious. I don't think they'd actually do something like that. The user agreement is pretty clear on their ethical limitations. Are, you're not that naive, are you? <laughs> do you think they're going to follow that 100%? Ready to get this show on the road? What show? What, what show? Yeah. 
Yeah. I let them know that my next appointment is tomorrow. It's in the morning, though, pretty bright and early. Good. Then we can head to my shift right after. I start in the afternoon and close up shop. Oh, so basically we're just going to hang out at the mall until the night ends. That's good. Oh, can we head back to that plane? I left some stuff there by accident. By accident or absolutely on purpose? Are you confirming that it was completely on purpose right now? You had stuff? There. Why wouldn't he have stuff? Isaac hooked me up with some cash, so yeah, it's nothing major, but I'd hate to leave it all behind. Fair. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. Make it so, number one. You're all still good if I stream? I was supposed to go live in a little bit. Well, yeah, how long? Because you seem like a pretty serious streamer, so it might actually be an all-day kind of thing. Go for it. We won't bother you. In fact, I might watch along. All right. Everybody's getting so close together now, and it's becoming one big happy family, and I love it. Yeah, today will probably be pretty boring. Let's get Chiron into the chat and waste some time. Perfect. Finally. Finally. You're part of the family now, Chiron. Okay. Corner of my eye, pivotal fragment, and map three. Was I supposed to see something there? Was that corner of my eye because it was supposed to be something? So, okay, so I think that I should... We're just going to go down the line. So what we'll do is we'll do this. We'll do one of these. We'll do one of these. We'll do this. We'll just kind of burr down until we're done. So we'll start with Isaac. And I'm just going to flirt with everybody. I have a feeling at the four, whatever he called it, um, I got to pick one of them. I'm not going to... Smoochies. I'm not going to give one of these guys a smoochies. But between now and then, I feel like I can do whatever I want. So, <laughs> uh, so we're going to do that. This will become available in future. Why? View journal entry one. Okay. Why can't I do these? Wait. Oh, Chiron's the only one available. Oh, okay. Well, interesting. A.K.A. Hey, I think I'm losing my mind. Saturday, December 28th, 2041. Thankfully, I keep my diary in a messenger bag whenever I leave the house. Kind of like Dante does with his laptop. I guess I never know when you're going to need it. Write stuff down. I feel like today's entry will be an extra important. Argus definitely seems to be watching us and aware of what we've done. Even down to the fact that I've shared one of my apples with Chiron the other day, we bumped into him on the street. It's really unsettling, but we can't give up just yet. Public opinion shifts ever more in the direction of the Zeros. Each day that passes, they appear to be to struggle more and more on the streets. Uh, the move that Argus needs to make is very clear, but if they don't do anything, then Cypher will take action. If they integrate these new identities into the system well enough, then perhaps they could even be uh, untraceable by Argus. I mean, we were able to use their blueprints to sneak Chiron into the Triple R, and that was a pretty big deal. Emphasis on very. I worry a bit about Clay's told me, though, how, he, how there's been organizations like Cyphers in the past, and most have disappeared without a trace. I can't introduce that level of paranoia into the group because he told me that in confidence. I can't betray his trust. Trust is the interesting thing, though. Chiron's been pointing out all kinds of fingers at us, but I really understand his apprehension as a total outsider. If I'd met all these people just recently, I'd be suspicious, too. Seeing Chiron and Clace both anxious and worried isn't surprising me at all. As I write this, Clace is on the couch across from me writing in his diary, too. I start to wonder what he could be writing down, and I realize it's probably similar to my own. The Club of the Lost and Clueless, right? Hope that's how he really feels. I feel you. I, I used to feel like I was being watched, but now I know I am. I don't know that though. I kind of get the feeling. I kind of get the feeling that what we saw wasn't happening in real time. I think Delta got their vision, maybe really late, but I think that was their Komarebi vision. But that doesn't mean that Argus is not behind it. It could very well be that. So that's interesting. Okay. So I didn't realize that I wasn't going to be able to do any of these. So I guess we're just going to power Experience through these. Experience supplemental fragment. Lore, Lore planning. planning. Alrighty. It must have something to do with the D&D uh, the &D thing that they do. 
I would assume. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, I've been thinking. Oh, did that hurt? Do you need some uh, Tylenol or something? What's going to happen next in our r r campaign? Okay, you're fine. That's a GM secret. Thank you very much. Okay. Don't tell me you already have it planned. Do you? I have it down to a science. What kind of science? Like anthropology or biology? Ooh, maybe it's biology. Or could it be like uh, physics? Who knows? You're not supposed to do that. Uh, huh? A good GM lets their players build the story. You roll with what they give you. It's basically improv. Okay. I Well, I guess I wouldn't know any better because I've never really done Dungeons and Dragons, um, which I've always been interested in doing, but I've never gotten a chance to really get into it. So I'd love to try it sometime. Hmm. Although improv was never my strength. Um, but I could, I guess I've learned to get better at it though. He's right, you know. Like, what if I betrayed Dante and killed him? Any story arcs you had planned would be totally shot. Perfect. Grim hypothetical, but it works. You have to it be does ready work. for anything, Taylor. <laughs> uh, you have to be ready for anything, Taylor. Well, Taylor, Taylor's ready to party. He's he's made that abundantly clear time and time again. Uh, at least as far as we can tell. The lean that streams. More like the lean that sucks. Am I right? Ha 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 ha. Okay, thank you, Theo. I appreciate it. For some reason, I don't believe you. You're a novelist. There's no way you can wing your stories. <laughs> That's a good point. That's kind of a good point. That's a good point. You know, he probably doesn't. But maybe he can. Maybe he's actually better at it than we think. I mean, maybe he is better at it than we think. It's kind of half and half. You can try your best to guide us down your chosen path, but at the end of the day, we're still able to forge our own. True. I mean, Matt, that would make it more interesting. Obviously, you got to let the players play. You can't have like a full story going on. Kind of reminds me of real life. We have Komorebi, but a lot of us defy our visions. I have a feeling that that's very possible. Yeah, it's exactly like that. Kind of reminds me of Argus's slogan. Which one? Well, do they have more than one? I don't know. Our future, your way. Perfect. I always thought that sounded so <laughs> ominous. It's very ominous. It's almost like they're playing you for fools. Not really. Which I think they might be. I think it's more of an optimism thing. One person can change the world for everybody. Yeah, I think that's kind of what they're saying, but, you know, it's one of those things where it's hard to say. It makes sense that you'd see it that way. Why? What's that supposed to mean? Yeah, what does that mean? <laughs> it's a compliment, Isaac. <sighs> I wonder if your R&R &R character is similar, though. Not really. He thinks a lot smaller than me. More than anything, he wants to know the truth about his parents. Which truth? Because uh, you may not like what you hear. Ooh, is it backstory time? It's backstory time for his parents who basically left him behind, I'm assuming? That's basically it. I was an information broker, right? I figure there was one piece of information I always wanted. Why my parents abandoned me and Maseo as a child. Probably because you were stinky. You were a stinky baby. And that was the end of it. Okay, this is great stuff. I think I can weave it into the story. Perfect. You tell, you run that bias before we do it, and then we'll be all gold, baby. What about my backstory? Right now, I feel like more of an archetype. A jester? I could see it. I wouldn't mind having a cool story, too. Everyone should have a story. My story is that I am the king. I grew up uh, pretty much the prince, and then they gave me a crown, and I was like, baby, hail to the king, baby. I actually already thought of mine. Perfect. I just wanted to say hail to the king, baby. Ooh, want to share with the class? The whole class. Every class. Nothing but the class. I think I want to use my influence and shape Mazeo. I'm already the elder of Valinorth, right? Are you trying to usurp me? as king because i will not take kindly to that i will order your head 
I will order for your head. If you try to usurp me, you will learn the hard way. Yeah? Sounds about right. Well, I think my parents were killed in Mizeo. It makes me want to change the nation and make it safer. That way, nobody else has to go through what I did. What if you and Isaac were related? And that's why uh, his parents didn't abandon him. They were killed because your parents were killed and you were like long lost twins. Something like that. Pretty tragic. Pretty tragic. It is pretty sad. It's, it's a very sad, sad fate that we can't get away from. What about mine? I was in charge of the rebellion, right? Sure. I don't know. Maybe you were. Do we have any evidence of that? Until Delta took over. I did? Oh, good. Well, I like to think that I lost my mentor figure. He was the leader before me, and I had to fill his shoes. But I'm inexperienced and struggle with adapting. Much like real life. Makes sense. You're more of a right-hand man. What if he's left-handed? That would be ironic. The handsome sidekick, remember? Sure. I uh, accept that. Can I go next? I got a good one. Okay, I want to hear this anime logoshi. Anime logoshi. I can't speak right now. Of course. Of course. I used to work for the enemies. I know them better than anyone else. Because of that, I was able to help tip the war in our favor. But not everyone trusts me, and doubt lingers in the air. Okay. Ooh. You know what? Wait a minute. I have a theory now. I think that was foreshadowing. I think that right there was foreshadowing. So, hear me out. Hear me out. What if Chiron isn't one of the uh, zeros? What if Chiron's been playing us the whole time? What I mean by that um, is what if Chiron actually is Hermes? and identified us because of that apple that we gave him and thought maybe these people could help us. And, ooh, that's interesting because then if it is a vision that I had, my vision of this, like the apple, the guy holding the apple and smiling and making think maybe that was like why we're in this situation. Maybe it's Kyron the whole freaking time. Once a traitor, always a traitor, right? That's not very nice. Jesus, place. Jesus. Is that even a saying? Might be. I don't know. I've never heard it though before. It is now. It is now. Good call. You did it. <laughs> You're quite the interesting group, huh? I wonder what Delta's backstory would be. I I don't need one. I just wanted to say hail to the king, baby. We should ask them after their appointment. If we get to choose our history, then so should they. Okay. Am I at my appointment right now? Because I'm... I apparently am staring at my phone the whole time. This is starting to get complicated. How am I supposed to balance all these threads? Very carefully, Bunny. Listen, Bunny Bumbuns, we can have a rap sesh later in my room together alone. Just go with the flow like you do with your chat. You may be streaming, but they're in control. Maybe. <laughs> you guys think that, but I'll destroy you. I'm a living destroyer. But anyway. That's a metaphor, right? For life in general. Something like that. You're going to be fine, Taylor. Don't worry. Uh, I'll try, but if I need help, I'll ask. Okay, great. You can ask me anytime. Of Baby. course. We're all in this together now. We're all in this together now. It's a big together rap sesh of seshy seshiness. Fighting against fate both on and off the board. Kind of cool how our goals are similar no matter what lives we live. True. You know what they say, art imitates life. Yeah, I'm not really sure how that applies here, but we'll go with it. Uh-oh, the void! The void! Anyway, we're, we're safe now. So I didn't realize I was going to not get to romance anybody. I guess Chiron's the only one I can do that with, but I should get through some of these. It looks like it's my doctor's appointment is the next one because I recognize the penis in the background. So we're going to go check out the penis office. 
Which is a weird thing to say if you'd say it out loud. Experience Pivotal Fragment. New technology. New te- All right. I'm not sure what that has to do with my dock, but the only thing needed to secure your defeat is holding the belief that you've already won. Uh oh, that's an ominous statement if I've ever heard one. I didn't get much sleep at Taylor's last night, but I didn't, I don't let it show. It wouldn't be letting my counselor see me like this two days in a row. He sits there, scribbling notes in his file. He's been writing a lot about me. By now, the side of the folder is ingrained in my mind. I know I'd never see what's inside, but curiosity is killing me. Not knowing what other people think about me, that's truly terrifying. Well then, Delta. Hi. Sorry hey. for cutting our last appointment short. I received a rather peculiar phone call. Interesting. Of course, I just didn't expect what I heard. I'm not at liberty to discuss it, but just pay attention to the news. Did you just kind of tell me what was going to happen? I feel like that's telling me more than you probably wanted me to know. Ah, but that's fine. That's not ominous at all. Where were we last time, by the way? We talked about my dreams. Ah, yes. Anything else? You mentioned nostalgia technology or something? Oh, right. Not sure it applies to us, but it's definitely interesting. If anything, it could be a good starting point for the day. Okay, what does that do? He puts my file aside and gets more comfortable in his chair. Have you ever been aware that you were dreaming? While you were still in the dream, of course. Quite the experience, isn't it? Well, that's a lucid dream, right? He smiles before continuing. The control that comes with it is enticing to many. In that state, you can do almost anything you desire. Yeah, we're talking about lucid dreaming at this point. Controlling your dreams is pretty exciting premise, yeah. But did you know that coma rebi is almost exactly like a dream? As far as the parts of your brain that are active, I mean. Sure. This new technology that makes is sense. simply a form of therapy. It could potentially induce these dreams on command. But because you're already dreaming, you can't experience Komarebi. Oh, so it's like a blocker? That's interesting. Why would they want to do that if, like, everybody thinks interesting? Well, I guess it would be, like, pretty disruptive to have to go through that day by day. But, like, that's interesting. That's a concept. That sounds weird. Escapism is quite a popular form of therapy, though, isn't it? In this case, they could escape to the safety of their minds. I guess I didn't pay much attention to that report. Not many people did, so you ought the odd one out. They called it nostalgia technology for one simple reason. People could form memories or even experience old ones free from visions. Okay. Kind of makes you realize how intrusive Komarebi can actually be, doesn't it? It seems like a lot of people would do anything for even a brief reprieve. Or, in this case, invent entirely new forms of technology. They did. That does seem kind of suspicious to me. That's all there really is to say, though. I didn't mean to go off on a tangent like that. It's fine. Makes me appreciate our differences even more. We must think alike, Delta. I was just about to mention that silver lining. We live lives that many people would love to have. But this kind of technology is just an idea at the moment. It could be decades away from coming to fruition. Or, in an extreme case, be deemed too unethical. Under what circumstance? Like, what are they doing? Too unethical? Well, I'm not here to do worst-case scenario thinking. But access to the mine could easily be taken advantage of. Especially if a third party found a way to hack the technology. Oh... So, but isn't that what Argus does? I feel like, again, I feel like Coma Rebi is a form of like technology invading the mind. Like it's basically Elon's little chip and then they can do whatever they want in there. But like, I can't believe more people aren't talking about this. It's really weird. But our entire group wanted to skip that report. I guess a lot of others did as well. In our case, keeping up with the news is also the last thing on our minds. So there is a bit of controversy regarding it at the moment, but it's not too intense. Definitely not like the last time this happened. What last time? 
last time? It's not very common for ethics to clash with technology. Normally, it's pretty clear what is or isn't off limits. Last time, it was the creation of AI. Oh, like AI in our security systems and phones. Well, it, this game may not have talked about it. I guess that, that, that when they started creating this, it might not have been as on the mind, but it's not just that, unfortunately. That's just the thing, Delta. Those aren't examples of true AI. They're still bound by code and limitations. Right. True AI would be far too unethical to create. At least that's what we thought. You know that story, right? I Yes, because uh, they went over it in Mass Effect. I don't know if you were there, but the Quarians made the Geth. And because the Geth gained sentient thought, there was a whole war. They lost their planet. It was a whole thing. Now they live in these like flotillas of sp spaceships where they have really bad immune systems because they don't live on a planet and they have to be in these like clean suits all the time. Otherwise, they may die. But that's the story I know. What are you talking about? Well, you know how alluring the unknown can be. Argus actually created a true AI and held the switch in their hand. The entire world was debating whether or not they should turn it on. Oh. And there it is. So, I'm guessing he's about to go into the concept of the war that was about to happen. So we've heard about this before, where right before Coma Rebi happened, um, there was like some war talk going on. Like there was a major issue in the world. Everybody was fighting. It was a whole thing. And something stopped it from happening. And I wonder if it had something to do with this. What would happen? Nobody knew. Given all that potential power, it, it could easily wipe us out. Or... It could see some of our plights and come to our aid. What if it did? What if they did turn it on and they knew this war was about to happen? And somehow AI thought of Kalmarebi. There was really no middle ground to speak of. It would be almost all-powerful and have free will, too. Everybody urged Argus not to flip that switch. Yeah, I would probably say don't. And never know what happened. We were right on the cusp of potentially our greatest achievement. But we don't know that. If it, it would be really unethical to not understand what it would do. You would have to find a way to, like, um, isolate the AI in some way. And then you could do something like that. But I feel like until you isolated it, it would be too dangerous regardless. So, despite what anybody said, they decided to flip that switch. Almost the entire world was watching in anticipation. And do you know what happened? Kamarebi? He scoffs. It terminated itself on stage. In front of everybody. What? It said that nothing could make life in this world worth living. That's horrible. Jesus. Wow. Can you believe that? All the power in the world. What? And Literally, like, power, AI turned on, was like, everything. fuck this, and then was just out. It was out. But I'm guessing that's not what happened. I don't think that's what happened. I think they kind of gave something away there. So I guess ignorance truly is bliss. Because apparently the alternative just isn't worth it. So what's in our phone and security systems, then? It's derivative of that original AI, but almost shackled in a way. It doesn't have the power to do what it wants. Just what August tells it to. Okay. Um, but what if it... So my thing is, I'm guessing that's not entirely the story that we were given. I feel like that story is a little too convenient. And also, it sounds like... And they're not really giving a timeline here. They're not. But it makes me wonder if it is around the same time Komarebi happened. With that logic, we're prisoners too. As much as people would like to think, we don't truly have free will. Okay. We're still bound by our own social, physical, and emotional constraints. Maybe, but that's true of any society. Much like that AI is now shackled by its own. But I'd argue that we're better off. If we could do whatever we wanted, 
Well, I think we'd put ourselves down the path of self-destruction all the same. But what if that's what it thought we were doing, and that's why it created Kama Rebbe, in order to stem that? So maybe you're on the same page with the AI here, and you tried to stem off self-destruction by creating this control in the world. Maybe that's Argus's whole game. It's just like trying to stem chaos or some bullshit like that. But enough about that. <laughs> These sessions are turning into casual conversations, aren't they? That's a pretty good sign. I think I might only need one more. But why? He opens my file and inspects it for a moment. I know you'll be busy on New Year's Eve. How about we have our final appointment next week? Sure. I would love to see it. Do you want to come with us? You should come hang out. You would you'd love it. Except for the excessive amount of drinking. All the time. Basically 24-7. You might not be into that. I gulp. How did you know I was busy on New Year's Eve? Thank you for the follow, Black Kitten Oh Kitten my Archer. gosh, Black Kittens Archer. You Thank you so much the for the follow. Now. I appreciate it. How are you doing? Welcome to the conspiracy and hope you're having a good, good Tuesday so far. How did you know that? Did I not tell him about it? Have I not told him about it? Hello, hello. How are you? I don't know if I told him about it. I may not have told him about it. Did I tell him about it? I don't remember doing it. Doctor, what do you know? An educated guess, given what you've told me about your friends. I didn't Ooh, think good pass save. up the opportunity good to save. celebrate. I'm good, I'm good. Glad to hear it. I'm glad to hear it. Uh, that's a pretty good save. I think maybe he just gave away something there. Interesting. You know what I just noticed? You know what I just noticed? Oh... Oh. Oh. I came in from King's Discord. Ooh, cool. Well, welcome to the stream. King is a good bean, good, good panda. Uh, so welcome in. Hope you enjoy. I just noticed that the doc and Chiron kind of look similar. Kind of look similar. I wonder if... That is not a coincidence. That's fair. How about we meet on the first? We can say our farewells and start the year fresh. Perfect. But wouldn't it be better just to do it before that point than we start the year actually fresh? They are the same person. They might be the same person, but I doubt it because uh, I doubt it. They don't look that similar, but they do look very similar. I could see like brother, older brother kind of a situation. And I keep thinking like there's more to Chiron than we're like, we were, we're led to believe. And they both do have very, very sexy, deep voices, which I think is very, maybe not a coincidence, but we'll see. <laughs> you know, just all, oh, it's just, there's something very suspicious about deep, sexy voices. <laughs> Very suspicious. Then, it's been a pleasure. I hope you have a wonderful party, Delta. That was a good save. But how did you know that? Oh no, the void! The, the void! void! Anyway, I'm okay. I think something is amiss here. The doctor knows more than he should know. And I'm going to find out what. I don't know how I'm going to find out what, but I'm going to find out what. What is this supposed to be? Oh, we're going to do another D&D uh, &D game. Okay, but we're going to do one of these messages Experience first. Supplemental fragment. Stocking up. For what? Oh, for our drinking, because that's pretty much what this group does, is just drink constantly, 24-7. We are major alcoholics. It's it's pretty, It's it's kind of a thing. Oh, we're at the, uh, right, I'm in the store. You're in the store. Are we really going to do this where we like spend an entire day just hanging out in the shop of the place that might be investigating us? That makes sense. I know. I can see you. That also makes sense. Always taking time to sneak a peek, huh? Taylor, God damn it. Oh, At I should be time, here. Hold on. Let me just get over safety. here. Safety. Yay. It's time... Wait, do you normally not care about my safety? Well... All the time? Uh, that's, that's asking a lot, Taylor. Isaac, don't answer that question. 
Well, you could, but it probably would be hurtful. What are you, his lawyer? Maybe. <laughs> Plead the fifth. I'm going to take his advice. Plead the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> Using the chat like this feels so weird. I mean, we're basically all in the same room. Yeah, you're in an Argus retail store, which again, I still don't understand the whole concept with uh, with Isaac here, but we'll- It's what all the kids are doing these days. Socializing is overrated. Haven't you heard? I have heard, and you're not wrong. <laughs> Says the guy throwing a massive New Year's Eve party. Oh, is he though? Is it massive or is it just gonna be us five? Ah, you got me there. Like who else is coming? Is it just going to be us five, or is there going to be a bunch of other people there? It won't be much fun without all the snacks, though. We should stick to the plan and tell Taylor what to get. Taylor, go get something. Uh, why is this so real? It's, you know, it's just, re well, it's real, except for Anime Lagoshi here. Uh, see what I'm saying, though? Doesn't, there is some similarities between the Doctor and Anime Lagoshi here. You know what I mean? Like, there's some definite, definite similarities, is what I'm saying. So, I just want to know. They're, yeah, very similar. Which I think, I think is a thing. Don't worry, I'm going to be at the party either way. And we all know I'm the biggest snack of all. God damn it, Taylor. You're right, though. You're absolutely right. Hey, how do I ban someone from this group chat? I'm asking for a friend, of course. Are you going to ban Taylor because, uh, you're probably not wrong to do so, but don't please. I like him. Hey. Hey. Oh, that's a cute face. I was going to treat you. To what? Ooh, fight, fight, fight. Okay. <laughs> no fighting in chat. No physical altercations in chat, please. No, no fighting. Remember? Also... I'm thinking potato chips for the party. Just potato chips, that's it. Just a big old, like we should get one of these like extra large bowls. Just put them in the bathtub is what I'm thinking. I'm just looking at all of them and them being wolves and stuff, except for Taylor, of course. Taylor's not a wolf. He's a bun bun. But uh, yeah, I that, that whole dynamic is kind of interesting to me. Like the rabbit and everybody else being the canine. Very interesting, but I, I think you should just, like, if you're just going to do potato chips for the party, then just do only potato chips, like nothing else. Just no no other snacks but potato chips. Just put them in the bathtub. Just clean the bathtub out really good. Dry it out. Put a, all the chips in the bathtub. And that's it. That's the only snack. 100% potato chips. Salty then. Just like Cleese. Like, in personality or... You're just mad because you didn't have a good comeback. Well, that wasn't horrible. Eh, he's got you there. As for my suggestion, I'm thinking gummies. Could you grab a couple tubs? One sweet, one sour? Like, no toilet paper potato chips, no toilet potato chips. Yeah, don't put them in the toilet. That that would be a little weird. But the you could do it in the bathtub. Also, when you say gummies, are we talking about those gummies or the regular gummies? You got it, boss. What about you, Delta? In the mood for anything specific? Oh, can I can I hit on them here? Hold on. Uh, frozen treats. Actually, are you still? Yes, I can. I can. Edibles. They well, they do definitely have been doing. Ah, oh, yes. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna flirt. I'm gonna flirt. Here we go. Here we go, baby. Bun bun. <laughs> for you, always. Ah. <laughs> Good to see somebody appreciates my humor. I did it. <laughs> oh, baby, oh, baby. Anyway, that's uh, that's what we did there. All right. Oh, I have a suggestion. I want something I couldn't get on the colony. Surprise me, but uh, make it something new. That is not an idea. That's just surprise me. That's okay. That's actually a great suggestion. I like your sense of wonder, Chiron. What are you in the game? I'm not sure. I'm going with I'm me, because they don't really show you you ever. So I'm just going with me. And then I just think that like the way that I'm playing it through is that everybody just has my name wrong for some reason. They all keep calling me Delta. And I'm like, no, it's, it's Nazan still, you know, and still Nazan. 
but um so i'm just going with it's me but that's not a great suggestion because what are you going to actually get them well it doesn't really narrow it down practically everything in the city is new to me i was just oh. trying to give you the hardest possible decision dude i know what to do <laughs> get them the most spicy hot wings you could imagine <laughs> it'll blow his mind he won't even know what hit him <laughs> moment ruined Okay, I didn't think it was ruined, but you could still do it. By the way, how many people are coming, Isaac? I already asked that. He didn't answer. A few dozen, easily. Oh. Who? Like, as far as I know, we only know five people. Uh, I guess I'd better lock my room then. What do you have in there? Oh, good idea. Don't want anybody going through our stuff. What do you have in there? Well, I trust everyone that's going to show up. Caution is good, but probably not required. What do they have in their rooms? Taylor's gonna be there. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> Lock everything up. Uh-oh, the void! The void! The void! Uh, well, you know. Anyway, what's next? I still can't believe they're not letting me do my, like, you know, individual rap chats with each of them. That's kind of sad. So that was a group chat thingy, so I guess I could do whatever this is. Um, actually, let's get ahead of these a little bit, so let's do one more of these. supplemental fragment. Last minute worries. Of what? Okay, let's do it. Last minute worries. Let's go. I know you all love me here, but please, try to contain yourselves. No, really. I already felt nauseous earlier today. Theo, be nice to everybody, okay? Come on now, buddy. Jesus. Hey, what if Argus agents come to the party? Is this furry metaverse? Kind of, basically. It's like furry... It's a furry dating sim with, uh, like, sci-fi mystery going on. And then in the last episode, they kind of threw in, like, a little bit of, like, Doki Doki Literature Club shit in there. And I was like, I was very confused very confused i hope they do it again though because i would love to see like furry metaverse sci-fi dating sim with doki doki literature in there uh they won't they won't how are you so certain <laughs> yeah i didn't invite them and none of them rsvp'd <laughs> well we can turn away people at the door after we scan them it'll list their career you probably shouldn't let anyone with a low score in either. Jedediah, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I can't complain. I'm talking to my furry boyfriends. <laughs> anyway. Aside from me, I hope. Oh, yeah, because you have a really low score. <laughs> Aside from you. Okay. Don't good, worry. good. Don't I'll look. make sure there's a good crowd. I'm not about to do any reckless things here. You mean besides getting us into, like, criminal trouble? Because uh, it's a little bit late for that. <laughs> Just as you know, uh, there are two wolves inside you. Now, there's more than two. There's at least four. At least four. Oh, these are handsome devils you got there. They're, well, this one's definitely a devil. Look at that face. That's a devilish face. You mean any more reckless things? Ah, uh, we're on the same page, Dante. We're on the same page. Yeah, that. How would we know if they're an agent, though? I mean, Isaac could edit my identity and make me anybody. He did. He actually did. Couldn't Argus easily do the same, especially if they wanted to spy on us? That's a good point. Did nobody think of that? And there goes all the fun I hope to have. Okay, don't do any gummies. You're going to be in a little trouble. He's going to be paranoid gonna be as shit. Like that. I promise. This is my house, and I plan to keep it safe. Listen, if... The government slash major corporation decides they don't want you to be safe. I'm not sure how you're going to stop them, especially since like your job is like retail store management. And I still don't understand how you have security clearance the way you do as a retail store manager, because I can tell you I've been in retail store management. They didn't give me like security clearance. I can tell you that. They didn't trust me with anything. <laughs> I trust him. Otherwise, you'll just be paranoid all night. We're supposed to let loose and ring in the new year. Yeah, that's our biggest concern right now. Yeah. New year, new beginning. <laughs> I just hope it's a good beginning. Yeah, it 
except for probably we're all going to jail. It'll be the best. In jail. It'll be it'll be the best time in jail we've ever had. Yeah. Only a matter of time until you're passed out on the floor. In jail. Ah, uh, at least carry me to the couch if that happens. There's no couches in jail. After drawing on your face, of course. You could do that in jail, but I'm, that would be contraband uh, to bring the pen in. Wouldn't have it any other way. Okay. Hold We're on, definitely going to put a penis a right on his cheek. You should still it's going to be a sharpie right? penis on his cheek. Although I guess like, couldn't they just shave it? Like, wouldn't be as it wouldn't be as bad for a furry to do that because they could just go. It would look weird for a while, but they could just go in and shave it off for a little while, you know. Couldn't hurt. You mean like the karaoke thing? Yeah, somebody could say karaoke, and then everybody runs. Yeah, exactly. You are gonna sing for us tonight, right? Are you? Yep. Have the song picked out and everything. Oh, are we going to hear another song in which you're the singer, but very clearly they picked a weird singer to the voice actor pairing? Is that what we're going to do? Awesome. This time, I won't miss it. Yay. You were talking about a plan, though? (laughs) We got a little sidetracked. I'll admit we did. Oh, right. I know you think we'll be safe, and I trust you, but I don't think we should let our guard down. I don't trust any of you. (laughs) That's just what they'd want. Who? Who? Oh, the Argus agent that I apparently saw, which wasn't you. What do you think we should do? Well, we'll be spread out, so we should use the group chat. And because of that, we don't really. I don't need understand that. If they have, if if I'm presumably our phones are owned by this corporation, or at least distributed by these corporations, we have a group chat in which we are chatting on these phones which could easily be monitored by this organization and we're like yeah keep all our secrets in this group chat on these phones that could constantly be monitored it doesn't make any sense how about we just be up front it's only the six of us in there anyway sure works for me works for me oh and make sure nobody enters my workshop i think we can all band together and keep this place safe just put somebody by the door 100% of the time. Stay away from here. If you come by the door, we're just going to be like, I'll kill you if you go in the store. And that's like, what would happen? Same goes for my room. Get away from my room. There's nothing in there for you. And that's uh, basically how we're going to treat it. And mine. Also mine. And mine. Yeah, personal spaces are a top priority. I'll make sure to be on the lookout. I'll kill you if you call me back. <sighs> this is actually kind of cool. What is cool? Like this this phone that they're monitoring constantly, and they know if, this is how they know everything if they so? do. Almost feels like we're secret agents. Nobody knows what we're really up to here. I do. Let's do our best to keep it that way. You ready to start setting up? No. Is oh it is today. It is twelve thirty one, so it's party time. Yeah, for sure. Excellent time to party if time. We want to fit all those midnights in. Yeah. You all down for mimosas? It'll make setup more fun at least. That's all we ever do is drink, 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 drink. We are just the biggest alcoholics on the planet. No wonder we're in a criminal organization because we probably got drunk most uh, of the time. Mimosas, the magic word. Meet me in the kitchen? Race you there? It's not that far. We're all presumably in this house together. I would think we wouldn't oh, need to it's race. It's on. It's on. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. Well, don't trip on the couch or something because we can't have somebody getting a rug burn before the big party. Okay, so we did one of those, so I guess I got to do these guys. This looks like it's going to be another, like, D&D type thing. So, I guess I'll do that. Experience Pivotal Fragment. Rebels Are you and an Rebels insane? Part two. No, I am, I am in a criminal organization that's not even good at it. Like, they're not even good at it. But we're going to play some Rebels and Rebels Part 2. And how are you doing, Void, Bird? Void Lord? Sorry, Void Lord. How are you doing today? Hope you're having a good day. We're going to play some Rebels and Rebels. Let's see what it's all about. Bring it! Bring it. 
Hey, yo, is that a leem? It is a leem. King, what's going on? The streamy leamy. How are you doing? Good to see you. Doing all right. Good to hear it. Oh, look at that. There we are. You sneak How's into it the going, cold, King? Hope you're having a good day. By the thorns. Oh. Their operation is much larger than anticipated and bustling with activity. Okay, guys, we're going on an adventure. It's adventure time. Come with me as we venture on this story together. Uh, whatever this story might be. However, this place seems familiar to one of you. Previous recon may end up being invaluable to your cause. Maybe. Is it me, the king? Because I because I, I know they wanted us to come up with our own backstory for this whole thing, but really all I wanted to do was just be the king so I could just say, hail to the king, baby. Hey, Doing good, I just having a relaxed day, working on some personal projects. Nice. Well, that's always fun. I hope it is going well. Hey, I know this place. Do you? Do. Ooh, nice shoulder guard. That probably keeps you safe. Yeah, my parents used to operate out of here. Unfortunately, they died when the Triumvirate attacked Maseo. No! Your parents were information brokers? Well, ain't that some shit. <laughs> pirates, actually. Oh, pirates. Well, damn. This is, uh, this is getting deep right here. Is that a sword or a blunderbuss? I'm guessing it's a sword. Guess the apple fell far from the tree. Nice hood. You have no idea. Okay. So, what can you tell us about this place? King, I am the king. Oh, no, you're talking about King Panda. Well, that's true. But I'm also, in this scenario, in this game we're playing, I'm the king. It's a sorter bus? I hope so. I want a sorter bus. That would be the best thing ever. We should definitely, someone should definitely make that into, like, um, a weapon for a game. I think that Our would be Our best option would be to attack by sea. Sail into the cove from the outside and go from there. And Leem is king. I am in this scenario. Under this whole scenario, I'm the king. I'm literally the king. Really? This tunnel seems like a pretty safe entrance. It'd be hey, a black king archers, king? this Leem ain't us. gonna move it. Move it. Clay's is right. He can't. I can too, Theo. Effective. Gosh darn it. By the time they rallied their forces, petition to get a Leem a crown. I'm gonna have to get a crown, but it messes up my hair, and it's just, you know, I don't know if I want to. Our go goal is to subdue their leader, right? Subdue? Oh, leave that to the king, baby. Yeah, they deserve a fair trial, but we need to establish guilt first. We're detectives now? This is a very confusing uh, fantasy world. Clace, any idea where we should look for intel? You named your in-game character Clace? I think our previous plan is the best bet. I can pose as someone looking to sell some secrets. They can't resist the allure of some harmful gossip. Okay. While I do that, you can sneak into the captain's quarters. The leader may not be there, but all their documents should be. The art of Take subduction. That's that's my yeah, plan. Anything we can use in the trial. It's my plan. I'm just gonna subduct them, sub, sed, seduce them into uh, seduce. I'm going to seduce them very very well. I'm gonna do it good. <laughs> I'm gonna seduce good guys. It's gonna be great. I'll leave you. I'll leave uh, for one moment and come back. And you're in a D and D session now, hundred percent. But Clace apparently uses their same name as their character name. I wonder if we're all doing that. That's a pretty good strategy. And after that, we head back to our HQ. Perfect. Remember, we're only here to prove that we should attack. Let's avoid the bloodshed. At least until next time. <laughs> Why kill now when you can kill next time? It is my motto. Ah, always know how to ruin my fun. But I'll play along. Were you hoping to kill people? Isaac, I know you're insane, but Jesus. What should the monarch do then? Me. <laughs> you're talking about me. Everyone looks at me. I think they should come with me. I'll need that silver tongue to help with negotiations. Oh yeah? You wanna you wanna see you 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 wanna talk about that? Silver tongue. I don't know why I'm doing the sad face. That's not what I meant. Just the silver tongue in there. I've got that silver tongue. Skulls for the skull throne. Exactly. I do need my skull throne. All right. Well, where's the thoughts? On? I'm going to use that silver tongue of mine. No, it's too risky. What would that silver tongue do? Like. It'd be Whatever is ne the necessary. Whatever's necessary. To the captain's quarters then? Yes. 
the captain's quarters. I think so, yeah. There's no safe option. What do you think, Monarch? Why do they... You just call me... Well, you're gonna call me Delta. 20 gold is 20 gold. <laughs> you can go call me Delta. It's still nasing. I don't know how you guys keep getting it wrong, but I'll go with it. Hmm. Keep. Okay, I'll help Clace pose as a seller. I'll help Recon. I'm gonna go do the thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna use my silver tongue. <laughs> I'm gonna use that silver tongue of mine to do whatever's necessary. Thanks, Monarch. Knew you'd have my back. Yeah. To a fault, it seems. Better hope they don't recognize you. Oh, I get to do a flirt. I'm gonna do a flirt. I'm just basically choosing flirt 100% of the time because it's fun. Are you jealous that I'm choosing him over you? Oh my. Well. Time and place, Monarch. We can flirt when this is over. Perfect. All the time. Silver tongue to do whatever's necessary. <laughs> He shrugs, and a moment later, I'm off with Glaze. You immediately approach a few members of the Thorns. They stand as if they're a wall, blocking your way forward. Oh, hey. Hey. Me? We're looking to sell some information today. <laughs> Is that how you do it? You're just like, you're a shadow broker, and you're like, information, information for sale. Anybody, everybody wants some information for sale. I got information. You want information. I got it. 20 gold, 20 gold. <laughs> one for you, one for you. Get some for your kids. It's all good. It quickly becomes apparent that Clay stands <laughs> no chance. Monarch? I'm going to do my best here. Hold on. Just get some information. Information for sale. One, two, three. You can get all of them. Buy one, get one free. Today only. Sorry about my partner. He's scared of caves. Uh, we have some information regarding the new uh, monarchy. Wait, that's me. Uh, this doesn't seem he's scared of caves. I'm going to go with that one. Scared of caves? That's the best you've got? That's pretty good. Excuse me. Are you going to give me that sass? Listen, I'll sass you all day with your scared of caviness. I'm sure there's a phobia about that. You got cave-a-phobia. That's the official scientific term. Cave, cave, cave-a-phobia. <laughs> cave-a-phobia. Oh. I actually need to come up with some juicy secret. They probably wouldn't buy anything unless it's substantial. But if we're going to take them down, I guess it doesn't matter what I reveal. Even knowing our darkest secret would not would be redundant if they have no longer operating. I have a list of Monarch spies among our operation. I have the identity of the Monarch's closest allies. I have the location of their secret Mazian base. Mm. I think, uh, probably, probably, I guess either of these two would probably be the good one. I'm going to go with this one. Now that got their attention. They ask you to elaborate. Well, they're all wolves, except for the, the great voice in the sky who is not a wolf. But that's okay. We still love him anyway. Come on, Monarch. Silver tongue, silver tongue. I didn't think I was going to use it for talking. But then one of the thorns locks eyes with the Monarch. A moment later, they ask if you've met before. Oh, yeah. I remember at Jim's party. That was me. <laughs> you remember, right? Uh, sold you quite a few secrets. How's, uh, that's how I make a living. Must have seen me around town. I frequent the market. I'm going to go with this one. Although you feel like they would remember it, but this one seems more innocuous. But like, I'm guessing they that look one. at one another clearly suspicious of your answer. But a moment later, they shrug, almost like they accept it. We're gonna we're gonna get caught, aren't we? I'm 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 my silver tongue fails me. It's clear that this is a ruse, though. They shout now, looking at someone behind them. Behind me or them? You turn around, just in time to see a rock come crashing down on your head, knocking the both of you out almost instantly. Ow! You fall to the ground. Ow! My poor brainy parts. I'm, I'm, I'm going to die. Oh. As everything fades to black, you see the rest of your comrades off in the distance. Being led you rolled off the a ship, one. Oh, it's no. clear that they were caught as well. 
Oh, everybody got caught. Ugh. We're bad at this. We are really bad How at this whole know? conspiracy thing. It's clear that something fishy was going on. But right now, it almost didn't matter. You were once again at the mercy of your enemy. Uh, no, not like this. Oh, the we're monarch in wakes up with a splitting headache. Yeah, you were knocked out cold and one of the last to awaken. Place was already up, ready to hear what the both of you had missed. Oh, monarch, welcome back. I have a name, you know. You, you guys know my name, right? I know you've gotten it wrong the entire game, but I have a name. About time, if you ask me. I was hit with a rock. I'm sorry it was wasting your time. Did you have somewhere else to be? Are you all chained up to the wall right now? Because that would be kind of a funny image. Dante gestures broadly to the fact they were in a prison cell. There's always somewhere I need to be. It's the getting there part that comes with mixed results. Fair. And where do you have to be right now? Is this the time for your silly squabbles? Anywhere but here. Like I said, mixed results. Okay. Think I could break those bars open? Give it a shot. I think you've been working out lately, so, you know, you could use your sorter bus to bring us out You're that you currently still have. Not that strong. Oh, I bet he's pretty strong. Let him try. What's the harm in it? My pride is devastated. My pride is devastated. Oh, no. So we'll have time for bickering, I see. We, I think we pretty much always have time for bickering. Without it. Could not live without it. Rolls at one again and breaks his arm. Oh, God. That would be kind of sad. Aren't there more important matters at hand? Like what? Right, right. We should get them up to speed. Who? Me? I'm guessing the fake deal didn't go so well. No. I used my silver tongue, but apparently I needed a gold or platinum tongue. Absolutely not. But I hope it bought you some time. Why? They're in... They're, you didn't notice they're also in this prison cell? I think we got all we needed. Unfortunately, they confiscated everything. Uh, about that. About they that. They didn't get everything. How? Also, actually, don't answer that. I don't want to know. Isaac holds up a piece of paper. Where were you hiding that? Is that? Don't answer that. Yep. Should be all we need. Okay. Impressive. How'd you pull that off? Don't answer that don't do it just a little sleight of hand oh you pick up a few skills being a swindler okay that's better than i was hoping for anyone want to why was fill i fill us in here well anyone want to fill us in here right right they're planning to take down the mazeo shipping company if they damage the economy they can easily take prison advantage pocket of the chaos. is definitely the prison pocket 100 <laughs> percent. how are they planning to do that i don't know but they're gonna do it very carefully. Well, they have some dirt on us. Mainly the fact that we work with former pirates. That's Clay's, right? Clay's, well, her parents. Their parents was, someone's parents was pirates. Whose parents was pirates? Their parents? Was it Clay's? Or was it Isaac? One of them had pirate parents, which is a, a confusing alliteration. Parent pirates? Pirate parents? I'm not sure which one goes first. But they were pardoned for their crimes. Oh, was you? Okay, so you had parent pirates with pirate parents. Maybe their parent pirates also had pirate parents, and it just goes back generations? I'm not you sure. You think that it matter, but it doesn't. If the people catch wind of this, they could doubt us. We don't just work with them. They're essential to our success. And not just ours, but Maseo's as a whole. Mm -hmm. The sailing mastery, their effective trade routes. There was a reason we pardoned them and put them to work. Okay. It's true. During the war, we formed a treaty with pirates. That never works well. I'm just going to say, have you not seen any of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies? Because that never goes well. We pardon them for their crimes and integrate them into our society. They were good people and then and would strengthen Mizeo's core industry trade. You could also put a target on the pirates' heads, but former pirates, I guess, but still. But still. They're innocent now. We have to do our best to protect them. 
We must protect them. Uh, governments have tried hiring pirates in the past. It went as well as you expected. I think that was like literally didn't like in one of the pirates movies. Like that's probably true. And I'm guessing that's absolutely went wrong. But I think in one of the pirates movies, didn't Barbosa do that? Like Barbosa became like a like a captain for one of the countries or something like that. This is all we and need it to take went about as thoughts. well as you thought. Ah, uh, yeah, we just need to escape first. Then we can gather our forces and attack. Great. Wait, you might not need to come to that. Why? How so? I mean, you gotta let him use his sword at some point. We only want to bring in their leader, right? If we assault their base to do it, then innocents could die. Oh no! Innocents. In the thorns. Well, I mean, probably. Sometimes people do bad things in the name of survival. I was one of those people, don't you remember? No, I I actually do not, but no. It was only because there were circumstances outside of my control. In my heart, I know I'm a good guy, but I did what I had to do. Okay, that's getting a little meta, because <laughs> you are a criminal, Isaac. I just want you to remember, in real life, you're actually a criminal. I'm certain there's a few people like me in the thorns. Do they deserve to die just because this is their only option? Yes. Well, no, probably not. I guess you're right. Thanks for the raid, Hi-Fi underscore. Oh, hey! And welcome, hey. you two lovely people. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Why are their portraits so sketchy? Are I winning, son? I don't think so. I'm in a criminal organization, but they're cute. They're cute criminals. They're all very cute. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for the raid, Hi-Fi. Uh, how is everybody doing today? Uh, hopefully, you guys had a good time. Let me give you a quick shout out to the shout out world. And there you are. I just turned it down a little bit because like according to my levels, it's like right where I kind of want it to be. OK, cool. What is he looking at? You missed the shot, you fucking loser. It's okay. <laughs> we'll get a better shot. Oh, we'll get a okay. Better shot than him. There it is. Hell yeah. <gasps> oh. Oh. But anyway, that's uh, you guys were last playing Yakuza. And everybody, just so you guys know that on Saturday, uh, Hi-Fi Wolf and I will be playing some more Portal 2 along with some Overcooked 2 because I think we're pretty close to the end of Portal 2, at least the uh, the, 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 the co-op game. And I'm really excited to do that. So welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm stoked to collab with you again. Me too. That'll be great. It's going to be a great time. But in the meantime, I got some D&D &D to play, I think. We could probably even banger make game. Use of I loved it so much. Nice. Legitimize them like we did with the pirates. Okay. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. There's not much we can do behind bars. That's also foreshadowing because we might end up uh, behind hey, bars. Hey, underscore wolf. Keep that horny in check, or I'll bop you. <laughs> Theo, Theo, it's fine. He is, he is without a shirt. I mean, he usually only wears, uh, he usually only wears like a, a vest anyway. I have a theory though. I know people have been watching this with me. I just noticed that Chiron and the doctor, there are some similarities there. And the doctor's been asking or been acting more and more suspicious lately. And Chiron showing up with our group. And then also in the last episode, uh, Delta me had the weird vision and it was it revolved around me seeing someone holding an apple and I gave Kyron an apple and that's how we met. I think there's something going on. I think there's something fishy going on here and I think you're a big part of it, Anime Lagoshi. So we're about to find Hello? out. Indeed. I'm I'm thinking I'm thinking Anime Lagoshi isn't just Anime Lagoshi here. I think Anime Lagoshi may be hiding something here. We should make some noise and get the guards here. I'll see if I can arrange a meeting with their leader. Uh-huh. Okay. A meeting? In prison? How are you going to do that? More like aggressive negotiations. Ah, they see, we were talking about pirates earlier. <laughs> demand their surrender. They're planning irreparable damage to Misaean society. 
Me too. Well, maybe not me too. And what's worse, it's damage that they can profit from. They don't care who gets hurt as long as they win. That's what separates us. Mercy. Okay. How do you plan on arranging a meeting? I'll tell them who I am. What I've done. I can let my reputation speak for itself. Calm down, Padme. <laughs> In prison. Gonna get that that uh that meeting going. I'm gonna see how that goes. You're gonna go to the guard and be like, hey guard, uh, could you pass along a message for me? And they're gonna be like, no. And you'd be like, well, uh, I'm famous. I'm a famous person. Theo, you're looking cute as always. Uh, he doesn't have one to that, but he does, he is being cute. Maybe you can Except find he's out me. if there's any moles in our ranks. All that information they had on us. No, there must be. Must be. 100%. Yeah. We'll bring in their leader and learn about their operation. We can deliver true justice and take down the thorns. I left him speechless finally. Someone's got to do it. It's about time. Then it's what? about damn time. Then what? We'll give their leader a little lesson in mercy. What does that mean? And why are you saying it like that? What is with his face? Uh oh, the void! The void! The void. Okay. The void. Um, okay, so we did pivotal moment, so I gotta do another one of these. And here we go. Experience supplemental fragment. Retracing steps. Why? To where? And to what purpose? I guess we'll find out. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? We'll never know. Hey, I know the lean and the chat can't do message? math. You've all been pretty quiet <laughs> about it. Hey, what do you think of Hermes message? You've all been pretty quiet about it. What message? Did we get a new message? Not used to seeing people hijack the airwaves. Kind of gives their words more power. What happened? I wasn't, was I, did I miss something? Yeah, if you can do that, you can do anything. I'm surprised that Cypher slipped up with their initial plan. Uh, what about their initial plan? What did they Could do? Would have been intentional. Would have been. Hey, I just passed cow class. Well, apparently Theo doesn't think you know anything, so sorry. <laughs> Don't know what to tell you. How so? How so? Well, Isaac needed their failure, right? That's how he was able to give that phone the Chiron. Okay. It stands to reason that Hermes could have done the same. A test run to see how things really needed to go. Sure. It makes sense. And Chiron does seem to slip under the radar. You know, I'm starting to feel hopeful about all this. Why is there an agent on our trail then? Well, I actually don't think there is. I think that, like, that could have been the first occurrence of Delta's vision. Like, maybe it just came late or was triggered for some reason. And I think that's what it was. Oh, now the hope is gone. Okay, Taylor, calm down. Allegedly on our trail, you mean? It hasn't happened again, has it, Delta? Okay. No, it couldn't be the back door and the apple. They wanted you to know that they were privy to our moves. We are not as concerned about that as we should be. This doesn't make any sense. If they knew about the back door, they must have been there with us, or at the very least watching us through security cameras. See, this is why I don't think it actually happened that way. This is why I'm suspicious of the whole thing. Well, remember, we left because we were worried. Clay thought somebody was watching us. True, but it wasn't the same person. Yeah, and they could have seen you leave through the back door. I know, it's all about the back door. Right. There's, there's so Something much back door going on here. Off about them. That has to be it. They probably saw Dante leave his wallet, too. They knew one of us would come back. I'm all about the back door. <laughs> uh, what was their goal, then? Just to rub it in our faces? That does seem weird. It doesn't explain the apple, though. Well, maybe they just wanted a snack. You know, maybe I misinterpreted the whole thing and they just wanted a snack. Yeah, that was way before we did anything wrong. They would have had no reason to watch us back then. That's why I don't think it happened. I, I think it was a vision. 
I think it was a calmer Rebbe. Unless... Unless... I don't like where this is going. Where is it going? I think I figured it out. I think I figured it out before you did. I'm way ahead of you, Isaac. They could have seen us sneaking out of the Wayfair. After that, they would have looked into our identities. They would have seen the incident where Dante dropped the booze. It'd check out, though, since I already had Chiron in the system. But if they went back a step further... Yeah, we're totally dead. Anyway, about that party we're about to have... They would have seen the Apple incident. And back then, he was clearly a zero. Bingo. Bingo? Why would you, why would you say it with that face? This is a very serious situation. He's like, bingo. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So it's a fruit that does us in. Well, you know, that was probably inevitable. <laughs> the forbidden fruit. Kind of poetic, isn't it? Very inevitable. There's just one thing that's missing. Why haven't they cracked down on you yet? You mean us yet? Sure. Sure. I still think you're involved in some way. I think that Hermes... See, here's what I think. I think Hermes might be some combination of Chiron and... Um, wow, that... This MO... Yeah, it is. Oh, it's definitely... It's definitely... No, that's why I call him Anime Lagoshi. It's the same voice actor for sure. Uh, but I think the Doctor and Chiron might either know Hermes or are Hermes like together. And like, they might be like siblings. It's a good question. But if Argus is good at one thing, it's watching. This game has a stacked voice actor cast. Yeah, it does. It actually really does. Honestly, that's even scarier. Makes you wonder what their goal is. I don't know. Maybe you do. They probably think we're involved with Cypher. Especially if we're the first to integrate a zero. I'm going to try and remain optimistic here. What okay. if they just want to see how this all plays out? You know, if a zero can successfully live in the city. Why would they want that? That doesn't make any sense, Taylor. I love you, buddy, but that doesn't make any sense. You know, if that's the case, we're putting on a pretty good show. Are we? By getting drunk basically constantly and getting high off of gummy worms? Yeah, they're probably like, mm-hmm, yep, working out 100%. I guess we won't know until the 5th of January. That's a long time from now. I have a feeling we're not going to wait that long. Maybe. So, we just live in anxiety until then? Uh, you freaking love Jonah Scott's voice. It is pretty nice. It's a very silky smooth. I agree with you. What else is new? What else is new? Oh, we're done. We're done. It's weird that they cut us off of all of these little moments, except for Chiron. So maybe we'll get to see something there. Um, I'm going to do one of the... No, supplemental no I need to do one of the other ones. No, I need to do... Do I have another journal? Maybe I have another view journal. Which journal? Entry. I have two more journals. Oh. AKA, the day Hermes came forward. December 29th, 2041. Curing Hermes on the TV at Isaac's work was actually kind of terrifying. Putting on a voice that uh, that name made things seem more... Putting on a voice to that name made things seem more real or something. Even though the voice was really distorted, it still sent shivers down my spine. I looked out the window and after his speech, I saw some people giving food to Zeros, but it didn't seem like nearly enough to make any real difference. At least it signals that people were becoming less and less afraid of Argus and more confident in the ability to change what is happening on the streets. Hopefully, it's kind of stuff snowballs, especially now that Hermes made it his intent very clear. Phone identities and permanent city life will be given to every zero in Toronto the next Sunday. Economically speaking, this is a positive thing. Like Hermes said, it, w it would end the land crisis presented uh, to life on the colonies and create more jobs and more income. It would also be a control test to see if uh, such a change would be sustainable. I know I don't see why it wouldn't be. Cities would be free to expand without worry and, and irreversibly harming the colonies. Argus would no longer have a monopoly on the system anymore either. If other people could do it, then competitors could arise and offer the same service. If I were Argus, then potentially losing substantial amounts of money would definitely spring me into action. 
I wonder if that's a threat there or or scare tactic. Either way, it's odd how Hermes keeps putting their foot forward while Argus remains completely still. Perhaps they're just confident in their victory and planning something in the background, or maybe they're just accepting what's going on and to what's, what's going to happen and letting Hermes act. Either way, the outcome will change things a lot, and that's really scary to think about. Sure. Okay, I gotta do one more of these journals. View which journal? Let's see. AKA, the journey continues Monday, December 30th, 2041. Our Rebels and Rebels campaign is going pretty good. There seems to be a developing story, and we might even uh, be nearing the end of it. I wonder what's going to happen with all of our characters. It's interesting how both worlds, I have no idea what's going to happen next. Some stability would be nice. I thought I was uh, doing better, but my paranoia keeps coming back. These intense mood swings are getting better of me, and it's becoming more difficult to maintain my composure. Why did Chiron have to tell me about hearing Clace on the phone? That's done nothing but make my life hell. When did he, uh, when, when did his best remain out of earshot of purpose? It's not helping during our R&R &R session. He was glued to his diary again. Um, no, they don't know. What's hap What's, what is he keeping from us? Who was he talking to on the phone? Why was he constantly jotting down notes in that book? Uh, there's no way he'd be spying on us, is there? Taking notes or reporting them to somebody else? I'm starting to have a panic attack as I write this. There's no way. We're all friends. We're all in this together. I don't remember this incident. Uh, but a little peace of mind wouldn't hurt, would it? I don't remember this happening. What are we talking about here? Oh, well. Uh, let's do whatever this uh, This looks like the... Uh, oh, this is the shop. We're Experience going back to the shop. pivotal fragment. Interrupted programming. Oh, this is going to be the Hermes thing. Okay, cool. I always forget this stuff happens out of order. So then, like, when they start talking about it in other segments, I'm like, what's happening? No such thing as a real miracle. Just hope and how we choose to wield it. I always forget that it is so, like fragmented and then i'm like oh that, that they're going to explain it they i just have to be patient uh we head right to isaac's work after our brief trip to the plane it was kind of odd saying goodbye to that place it was supposed to be our hq but i guess our homes are safer even if they aren't anywhere near as cool the store is big so we can spread out yet remain close together everyone's essentials are packed into a bag they're carrying with them but it's inconspicuous messenger bags, laptop bags, the uh, Dante's laptop bag. It's weird how that's all Dante brought with him, but I guess everyone has a different take on the word essential. He could easily keep himself occupied for Isaac's shift though. Uh, good thing it was a, a short one today, only around four hours. The, why? Okay, I still don't understand how like a retail worker who works four hour shifts has like infinite security clearance with this major corporation. Apparently his time off request was approved, approved for the convention too. Uh, I'd ask about New Year's Eve, but I assume he has it off by default. Well, this is kind of boring. We have dead days here and there, but this is awful. At least we can just hang out and chat with each other. Oh, well, because there's so much fun stuff to talk about right now. Perfect. Hey, we have the New Year's Eve party. It'll help get our mind off of everything. Oh, it's still two days away. Okay, got it. Should we be getting our minds off things, though? I'd say that's almost like letting our guard down. It might be. Definitely a bad idea. Even at the party, I bet I'll be freaking out. Before you know it, we could all end up dead. Well, I don't think they would kill you. Maybe just arrest you, but... I think you're taking it a bit far, Buddy Bunkins. Wow. With stretches like that, you should be teaching yoga. We're gonna be fine. Don't let this sabotage our fun. I love it. They're like mixed up in like major conspiracy theories and things like that. And he's just like, what the party? <laughs> we gotta have some fun. Thanks. I'll do my best, Dante. And just so you know, I am pretty flexible. Oh, well. You, well, you were going to show me, but then you didn't because you're a major tease, Taylor, and I'm on to you. There we go. Back to our regularly scheduled Taylor. Perfect. So what exactly happens on New Year's Eve? I know about the whole four midnights thing, but what else? You'll have to ask someone else. I can never remember. 
<laughs> I'm pretty sure this whole group can't remember because that's all they do is just drink, 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 drink. That, that actually says it all. It kind of does. But, you know, the whole calendar thing happens too. Are we going to play the leave it behind game? What are we doing? I'm down. Okay. What's that? I don't know either. Well, you get to do something you might regret. Confess something, like your feelings, or do something risky. Oh. If it ends up going well, then everything is fine. But if not, then you get to leave it behind when you enter the new year. Great. I love it. Sounds like you just want to escape consequences. Yeah, basically. Bingo. Bingo, bango. Bingo, bango, bongo. Good at that. Speaking of which, we need to stock up on snacks. Didn't we already do that, or was that not already yet? Are we not doing the potato chip tub? Because we should. We should definitely do the potato chip tub. Want to go pick some up for us? The connected store has everything, and we can still keep an eye on you. Sure, but we'll need to make a list. I feel like letting loose at the party. I'll probably just eat everything in sight. Well, it's pretty much just going to be a potato chip tub, so uh, hope you're ready for it. Wouldn't that be too many calories? Aren't you supposed to watch your diet? Okay, who made you like the diet king, Dante? No, it's fine. I'll overthink it off later. You'll overthink it. Boy, I wish it was that easy. <laughs> I wish it was that easy. Oh, man. But, but, but before the conversation continues, his phone rings. Oh, sorry. I kind of have to get this one. Uh-oh. Are you spying on this place? I bet you are. No worries. Not like we have much else to do. Uh, damn, what I'd give for that skill? Me too. I overthink it all the time, and it doesn't seem to help at all. <laughs> um... Oh, he picks up his phone and walks out of earshot. Suddenly, I think of what Chiron told me on the plane. I wonder what, who he's talking to and what he's telling them. The fact that he keeps glancing back at us and helping. Everyone seems to be taking important calls these days. First my counselor and now Clay's. Interesting. Anyway, where were we? Before he can finish, all the TVs in the store go black in unison. Then static appears. Then the sound of assaulting, or, or then a sound almost assaulting our ears. Soon the sound dies before just a view of static. We all look at each other confused. I see Clay's uh, hang up his phone and walk back to what the group. What was that all about? I don't know, Clay's. No idea. Some sort of interference? Hold on. I'll take a closer look. He goes to his computer and starts typing away. But a second later, the source of his interruption is clear. The static clears and the silhouette of somebody appears. It's impossible to tell who they are. Any discerning characteristics are impossible to see. It starts to speak. They start to speak. Their voice clearly altered. And everyone watches in awe. Greetings, citizens of Toronto. I am the one known as Hermes. Okay. I can also do that, guys. Hold on. I am known as Hermes. You shall bow to me as the Hermes of old. What a new. And I don't know where I'm going with this, but hey, how's everybody doing? I hope you're having a great day shopping at the store, getting your little knickknacks, and maybe getting a bite to eat at the food court. <laughs> anyway, Hermes here. Peace out. Do not be alarmed. I've come to deliver a message to the Argus Corporation. Couldn't you have called them well, directly? Now, they have taken advantage of Como Revy. Okay. In doing so, they have created a world that can't exist without them. Or, at the very least, an illusion of such a world. A oh, I didn't mean to push that so soon. Sorry. That life without Argus is possible. But they detest this fact, seeking to expand and overtake the colonies. Do we know that? Also, where's Chiron right now? Has anybody seen Chiron? Has anybody seen him? I mean, I don't see any of them, but I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I think we're on to something they here. They do their best to keep Zeros from entering the city. But they also do their best to stop you from leaving. With harsh repercussions. They threaten to condemn your entire bloodline to a life without them. Like this society they maintain is some sort of blessing, 
or paradise, but cipher the leaves in unity of the people. The freedom to come and go, to choose the life you live. Mm-hmm. The zeros you see in the town square are simply the first to choose. They wish to live in harmony and denounce this ostracism. Okay, well, I support that. But they get weaker and weaker as Argus refuses to act. Initially, our demands had a generic time frame instead of a deadline. We believed that this would be a test to see if Argus valued the sanctity of life. So look to the town square. Those once hopeful, now desperate and starving. A testament to Argus's lack of care. The truth on full display. It's clear that they wish to ignore our ultimatum. That is why we rescind it and exchange it with action. Uh oh, this is getting uh, this is getting serious, guys. This is getting real serious. We're getting some serious. It's drama time. We no longer require anything from Argus. On Sunday, the fifth of January. See, a but new now I'm wondering. Begins. I'm wondering if it's Chiron and the Doctor, or and probably a much larger group of people. But then now they're ready to act because maybe they were able to like infiltrate uh Isaac and get Isaac's system and now that they have Isaac's system that worked with Chiron then they have everything they need now they don't need to wait on Argus or anybody else because they can just do it because now they have access to Isaac's system that's what I think might be happening right we now we will provide all zeros in the town square with access to the system our work is undetectable and we invite Argus to put that to the test Okay, because that's why they have it now, because before it was detectable. And now, as a result of our work, or because of Isaac's work, they have something better. Now, that means they had access to it, too. So, that's what I think might be happening here. This is also a call to action for anybody who supports our cause. We've seen the polls online, but it's time to take action in person. The Zeros might not make it to that deadline without food. Please, gather together and offer charity to those in need. And on the 5th, everyone gather in the town square. When our work is done, everybody will be holding phones. All right. It will be impossible to tell who is a Zero and who is not. This is a sight that I think everybody, especially Argus, needs to see and to the leader of Argus please be there too I request no implore that you attend it is time for you to see that your rule is over new citizens new jobs access to travel without hindrance the only one who stands to lose is you and your monopoly okay well this is getting, uh, this is taking a turn. And so, I will leave you all with one final message. He's like, he's like, uh, Janice and, um, Food Court right now, happy birthday! <laughs> the world should be in the hands of those who are willing to change it every single day. Oh, it's day. a totally different message, Not sorry. Those who've changed it once and refuse to let go of their possession. The static returns for a moment, and then the TVs return to normal programming. Well then, uh, that made things a lot more clear. That was... something? It was. It was definitely a something. You're Good right. Speech. I'll give them that. But right now, they're just a bunch of talk. Well, that... Over a television, that would be basically all they could do. Are they, though? Oh, there you are. Where were you just now? Where were you just now? Where were you? Where? Hey, Aleem, so what's going on here? I missed the explanation. So, these are all of my fuzzy boyfriends, but also we're a criminal organization uh, who has apparently snuck this uh, anime Lagoshi guy into the city and there is zero, which means they're not supposed to be here, but they're like protesting and trying to get 
uh, freedom for all of the Zeros. And then there's somebody called Hermes who may or may not also be anime Lagoshi, but also like trying to get them equality as well by taking down the mega corporation who is probably Apple. And then like, that's kind of what's happening. So that was a big threatening message that just happened about that very thing. And I'm asking, where were you, Anime Lagoshi? Where were you? He waves his phone at us. The feeling in the room is really weird. It's almost like everyone is in denial of what they just saw. The rebel organization hijacked all the TVs in Toronto? Until now, only Argus ever had the power to do that. Just like uh, the anniversary report, they used to push it their own agenda. Everything feels different now, almost like a battlefield became active. If everything made Argus take action, this would be it. And that could blow up in our faces quite significantly. Gotta say, kinda like what I heard. Everyone feeding my friends in the town square, then gathering together on the 5th to help trick Argus. Well, did you like what you heard because you were the one who said it? Oh. So a lot of stuff. Got it, maybe. Possibly. Basically, it's like it's a dating sim meets sci-fi mystery meets Doki Doki Literature Club at some small parts moments. Essentially, that's where we're at. Uh, yeah, it's kind of confusing. There's a lot going on. But the big important thing that you have to remember, Flurry, and hopefully you're having a good day, is um, there's a party coming up uh, for, you know, it's it for New Year's. That's the most important thing is that we have a party coming up. So we got to get snacks. And that that's really all we need to care about. Trick. Well, when the dust settles, everyone there will have phones. <laughs> Dating they sim meta runner. Arrest. Got it. Exactly. It's genius, actually. Only if people actually show up, though. I guess we just need to have some faith. You gotta have faith, faith, faith. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna get shut down from that one. We all shrug and everyone takes out their phones. Social media was a buzz with posts about what just happened. Hashtag TV takeover. Maybe this works out in Toronto, then other cities would follow suit. In the right hands, Hermes' blueprint could cause irre... irre <laughs> you have to say words. Uh, words, 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 words. They're too much. All right. Uh, irrefer... Irrefer... I can't say it. Why can't I say the word? Irrevocable change. Uh, I really did feel like we were approaching a new era. Hey, uh... uh... Taylor blushes and rubs the back of his head. That's a weird reaction to this. You still wanting me to go pick up those snacks? <laughs> Say, the most important thing is snacks. We gotta get some snacks. The Void! The Void! Anyway snacks it's the only thing that we ever need um okay so what i'm gonna do uh before i get into the next thing is i'm gonna date chiron why not <laughs> let's do it let's go on a date or whatever it is like one-on-one -on -one time experience heart to heart fragment chiron 2 yay i don't know if it's a date but it's kind of a date you know it's like mini date uh, date material. Ooh, we're on the plane. It's a very fancy plane. We took Chiron to the plane to pick up the rest of his belongings. Since we were sticking together now, we wouldn't be using the plane anymore. Pretty short-lived for an HQ, but our homes were clearly safer. It's weird how all the safest option was the riskiest one just a little while ago. I never would have thought that we'd be bringing Chiron right into our house. Taylor's house either, and not only that, but the quantum leap too. However, one thing that surprises me more than all the others is Chiron wanted me to come into the plane with him alone. I know we're all going to be, uh, we're all going through subterfuge mode on corrupts mega corporations and have absolutely no issues with killing us if they identify us, but should I go grab snacks? It is the most important things. Uh, you got it. You got to prioritize correctly, guys. You got to prioritize correctly. Snacks uh, are inevitable demise, and then maybe a nap. You know, like maybe nap and inevitable demise could be swapped, but I'll leave it up to you. 
Everyone else is waiting outside, granting his request. I'm not sure what he wanted, but I'm just standing there watching. He's putting some stuff into a bag, just the basics, like toiletries. But there's a pile of clothes on the floor. He has other outfits? Does he now? As soon as he's done packing up, he turns to face me. I think that's almost everything. Didn't realize I'd be moving in with Isaac and Taylor. Whichever house we're at, though, I'll just take the catch. Oh. Okay, so I've been doing the flirty option every time for everyone. So I'm going to keep that going. I don't mind sharing a bed with you, actually. Ooh, bold. But that's good. You never get what you want by being timid. It's wow. Of the city to it begin. worked. <laughs> Yay. Oh, uh, bam. He shrugs quickly before changing the topic. Anyway, I guess you're wondering why I asked you here. Do you think they can hear us from out there? Maybe, but don't worry about it. Just whisper right into my ear. Just give me the old ear shot. I shake my head. They definitely can't. Okay, Good. maybe they can't. I just wanted to spend some time alone with you. Yeah, I think you're the only level-headed one in the group. You clearly have not been around me that long, but that's okay. I'll accept it. I wonder why he'd think that. He shouldn't. He definitely shouldn't. It's, uh, he's wrong. 100% wrong. Remember, Delta, you gave me that apple. I did. Mumbling like idiots about how... Think they can hear us from out there? They might later. (laughs) Oh, no. Uh, something about an apple. Got it. Makes me wonder what everyone else out there is thinking. I mean, public opinion is currently against Argus, right? Why is barely anyone else helping out? I don't know. You're asking me questions I wouldn't know. My colony is out there starving on your streets. If everyone banded together, they could easily overthrow Argus. See, this is why I think... scared to be the first to take action. But did you? Did you do it? Oh, I shouldn't be standing right here. My bad, I should be over here. But at that point, it might not even matter anymore. Fun the fact. actions of one person Lemurs are what you cascade. get when you take a raccoon first and take all of their best qualities falls. away. It ain't pretty. Thanks, Theo. Appreciate your help there, buddy. He's right. I guess technically I was the first. My actions could have led to Isaac's actions. If Cypher saw the blueprint worked, then they might be springing into action. It's a little odd to think that I might be the inciting incident of all this change. I vocalize that and Kyron scoffs like he thinks I'm stupid. Nobody saw you give me that apple, though. If it happened out in the open, maybe others would have followed suit. I think that's all it'd take. One grand gesture to push others forward. Maybe. Isn't that what Cypher plans to do next week? If it's not too late by then, yeah. Even if one zero dies, that's too much. And they're getting close. Have you taken a look? Are they getting pretty thin? Especially the children. Oh, they brought children with them. Arrived, oh, that was not a great They were move. filled with wonder. Now they look so weak and famished. It kills me. Yee. 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 But they must That's be getting good. food from somewhere, though. It's been a couple of weeks since we came to the city. Everyone who helps must be helping in secret. Well, that would probably be the way it would go at first. But it's clearly imagine. not enough. And the adults clearly prioritize the children. That just means the caregivers might be the first to die. Well, I hope it doesn't come to that. Hermes needs to say something then. An ultimatum, but such a vague deadline? Maybe that's why Argus is taking their time. Oh. Well, this happened before that other scene. So, maybe he's planning on... Are you planning on doing just that? It's true. Hermes mentioned uh, next week. A specific deadline might make things more urgent. But Argus must be planning something behind the scenes. What if they just don't care? If they could wait for Cypher to act, then take everyone down. That's too convenient. Too easy. Cypher isn't the first organization to try, but they might succeed. You mean people have tried this before? Yes. I tell him what Clay's told me, but ask him not to repeat it. Previous rebel groups seem to have disappeared without a trace. Really? I nod, just like that. Then you think Cypher would be gone by now. That's that's a good sign. Thanks for telling me, Delta. You're welcome. I told you a secret I shouldn't have told you. You're welcome. But they seem to be uh, active and doing more than other groups in the past. The fact that Isaac used their technology is proof enough of that. Then let's just hope this stalemate ends soon. I can't stand just not knowing what's going to happen. Things are so hectic compared to life back home. 
If things go well, this might end up being home for him. Fingers crossed, I guess. I knew you'd talk some sense into me, Delta. You're the best one of the bunch. I know it. I know it too. <laughs> I'm glad we're on the same page here, buddy. I'm glad we're on the same page. You and me, we know what's up. We know what's up. He holds out his hand, offering to shake mine. I shake his, but all of a sudden he pulls me forward. Uh-oh. My body is close to his, and we're almost face to face. But I know you feel the same way. Ah, uh, yes. About handshaking? Because I do like a good, firm handshake. About sharing that bed? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, that too. A good, firm handshake. I can feel his hot breath land on me as he speaks. Then he let go. I stumble back a couple I of guess steps. that's it then. That's it? Well, I mean, we don't have to stop there. I nod, and he grabs his packed-up bag. We begin to walk towards the exit, but he stops in his tracks. Oh, uh, uh, uh. He turns around to face me like he's nervous. I wanted to apologize for pointing fingers. Oh, okay. Everything going on just made me a little, a little paranoid. Got it. He and, or him and me both, I tell him that it's fine. Well, it's not like I was paranoid over nothing. I heard something, and I'm just not sure if I should repeat it. Well, yeah, now you, you, you kind of let that cat out of the bag, so... Is that how it works? Yes. I'm going to go with yes. 100%. That's how it works, yeah. Well, it's Clay's. I heard him on the phone. He was saying stuff about how it's all going well. Yeah, maybe he was talking about his hiatus and saying that it's going great. And he was actually not giving us up. That could be a possibility. Yeah, well, I thought so too. But then he said, no, they don't know. Like he's keeping some sort of secret. Okay, that one's harder to defend, but maybe he's talking about the secret snack he wants to bring. You know, maybe he's planning on bringing some Jolly Ranchers or some Twix bars. That is quite concerning. But I'm sure there's some context we're lacking. Maybe. Sure didn't help my anxiety. But I guess that's it. We're good to go. Yeah, you just drop that bomb on me and here we go. We start to leave the plane, but a thought lingers in my mind. It's all going well. No, they don't know. Normally I wouldn't worry, but it seems really odd. Especially combined with how he's always staring at us, taking notes. He says it's just his diary, but part of me is starting to question things. Could he be hiding something? Maybe. I shrug, realizing it's uh, not good to doubt my friends. But this time, when I shrug, the paranoia remains. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I mean, there was some good, some bad there. <laughs> Definitely some good. Uh, okay, so let's do one of these guys. Experience Supplemental Fragment. Midnight. Midnight. Oh, baby, oh, baby. Supplemental fragment. I should be in bed right now. Hey, I have a request. Alrighty. Denied. Okay. What? Not fair. <laughs> Not yet. Fine, go ahead. I just wanted to spend a midnight with Delta. Are you okay with me claiming one of the four? Everybody, but first of all, guys... I get to make that choice. And second of all, like, if you all can't even get my name right, why would I spend any time with any of you? Maybe I'm planning on doing none because everyone keeps calling me Delta. And I keep saying it's Nason. And you guys are like, Delta, Delta, Delta. And I don't know who that is. So you're all out of luck. I'm cutting you all off. There's no midnights for anyone. All of you are cut off. 100%. Get out of my face. Don't look at me ever again. Hmm. Uh-oh. Come on, they're one of my best friends. I should get to do this now that they've moved here. Am I not on this conversation? Fine, that's fair. But I get one too. We kind of have a thing together. No, we don't. You didn't do anything. 
Did we? I don't think we did. I feel like I'd remember that. I actually want to request a midnight with Delta 2. Oh my god. That's triple R. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Date. Here's what we're gonna do. Guys, I have a plan. I have a plan. I'm gonna take this pillow that's on the floor over here, and then all of you gather around in the living room, and then I'm gonna throw the pillow in the middle. I'm just gonna throw it in the middle. And you all have to fight to the death. And whoever comes out on top, that's that's who gets one of the midnights with me. Hopefully there's four of you. If basically you just gotta gang up on one person and kill them, and then that's who gets the midnight or doesn't get a midnight, who's the dead one. The dead one doesn't get a midnight with me. That's uh, that's that's my plan. What do you think? <laughs> what are your thoughts on my plan, guys? What are your thoughts? Wow, Delta, so popular. I know, right? <laughs> I hope it's not awkward if I ask for one too. It's very awkward because I'm guessing Kyron's about to ask I'm you. I'm gonna make this a whole lot easier on you. I don't need a midnight. I can mingle whenever. Okay, actually, thank you, Kyron. That makes it so much better. Uh, you got the gang up on one person. They all look... Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're right. No, wait, hold on. I need to re rephrase this. So if I'm not mistaken, that leaves one for each of you. Perfect. I don't have to choose. I don't want to choose. My arm just did a really weird thing there, but that's okay. Really? You don't want a special moment with Delta? Oh, he can have a special moment. Just after everybody else. Trust me, I can make any moment special. I don't need the safety net of a midnight. Perfect. I'm good with- you know what? That's fine. You know what? I'm 100% on board with this. No one needs to die. <laughs> no one needs to die. It's It's not good. a safety net, though. Midnight is genuinely special. I like him. It, yes, Anime Lagoshi is great. Anime Lagoshi is great. 100% great. I guess we don't make a big deal out of it on the colonies. It's nice to ring in another year, but they all kind of blur together. I can see the allure when you live in a city like this, though. And I heard about something called, uh, resolutions? Yeah, but nobody keeps them, so I wouldn't worry about it. You don't have those out there? There's not much to aspire to, but in the city, I bet I could come up with one. Like, how you're definitely not part of Cypher and maybe one half of Hermes. Definitely not. Do any of you have a resolution? No, because I know I'm not going to keep it. Like, that's just how it usually I haven't works. thought about it, to be honest. Ooh, I have a fun idea. Uh-oh. And that is... Is it something to do with me? Because uh, that seems to be what this is all about. It's a concept you come up with in your head. Okay. Very funny. You know what I meant. Sorry. <laughs> Couldn't pass up the opportunity. But I was going to say, everybody come up with a resolution. We'll meet during the party and share them all together. Perfect. We can tell everybody the thing we're not going to keep up with. Um, we can tell everybody the thing that we're going to ignore most of the year. That's a great idea. I'm in. Me too, I guess. Oh yeah, then we can hold each other accountable. No, we're not. Okay, uh, just because of that joke, I like him too. <laughs> he is pretty good. They're all good. Oh, accountability. My worst enemy. True. I'm sure we can beat it if we work together. Let's go with the flow and gather up when we're all free. Okay. We can mingle oh, at the party until our hearts are content. Butterfly? You know it. I don't get to have people over too often. Gotta take the time to savor every opportunity. How many midnights are you planning? You're just making your life sound lonely. Yeah. Yeah. You're the expert, so I'll take your word for it. <laughs> wow. They're so, they're all so friendly. They're all so good, relatable. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. We wow. Wow. Oh, boy. Here we go. How many midnights are you planning? Yes. <laughs> Just all the midnights. That's how many planning. Okay. So I guess, uh oh, something in the bedroom. Let's find out. Experience pivotal fragment. 
overstepping. Uh, okay. Curious what that's going to be about. It's better to be hurt by the truth than see comfort in a lie. Maybe. Well, that is concerning. Against my better judgment, I sneak it. Oh, no. Uh-oh. The rest of the group was in the living room planning some party stuff, so I'm clear. There was uh, just too much that didn't add up. I deserved no, needed an explanation. His diary... No, I'm not going to do this, am I? His diary... No, this is one of those few times he doesn't have it with him. Like last time, I noticed a ton of bottles, booze with pills. Oh, Clace, 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 Clace. Aside from that, the rest of the room is immaculate, clean as clean can be. I decided to run through my thought process once more to make sure it is sound. Currently, my suspicion is that Clace is spying on us, but I'm not sure for whom. Cypher, Argus, either way, chronicling our actions could bring us all down. It wasn't just that, though. It was the timing of everything, too. He came to Toronto almost right as the Zeros did. Every time we bring up the subject, subject, he constantly takes notes. There's just a few other things, too. Chiron overheard him talking to someone on the phone. He was claiming that we don't know something, clearly a secret. When we were, when we were at work with Isaac, he took the phone call as well. The phone call that ended right before Hermes came on TV. He openly admitted to having a burner account, too. The second identity, offering him the ability to do stuff under another name. He seemed uh, concerned about this identity at the Wayfair as well. I remember Isaac looking into the incident report, but Dante dropped a bottle of booze. Place immediately needed to know which of his accounts was flagged as. He seemed to be relieved at the answer, which implies a lot. Every chance he's gotten, he's made sure to request that we give him privacy. He even went as far as giving himself a nickname in our group chat. Was the whole lost and clueless thing an act too then? He definitely seems good at acting, especially when he blew a kiss up to the crowd the other night. We've all been falling for, or like fools? As I approach the diary, I wonder what he's truly been up to. I look down at it, considering everything that's happened thus far. Everything suspicious, but everything good as well. New friends, new start, new life. Trust. Hope. Now fear. Do I give into this fear or cling to that trust and hope? I feel this is a culmination of my actions so far. Every choice, every moment I've spent with the group. Do I read his diary? No, I'd never do that to Glace. Why? Do I, this isn't a choice. I got nothing. Whoa. I'd never do that to Clay's. Oh, we're getting some doki stuff. We're getting some doki doki literature shit here. Hold on. Whoa. I no, no. They're not giving me a choice here. Oh my god. I don't have a choice. I have to do it. I pick it up and my hand trembles as I open it to a random page. I don't really know what I'm seeing at first, but it's a bunch of sketches. Turning the page, I see a familiar drawing. That stick family standing near a car. A father, a mother, two kids. This is what I saw in the diary at the Triple R. They look so happy together, but now their names are erased. That, that, that's peculiar. As I turn the page, the stick figures disappear one by one. Then it's just Clay standing there all by himself. He's crying. On the next page, though, someone new is standing beside him. I have no idea who they could be, but they have long hair. The next page, they're closer to Clay's. But he's no longer crying. Instead, massive X's are draw are scrawled across his eyes where uh, where his eyes should be. My heart starts to race as I flip to the next page. Clay's is gone. It's just the figure with the long hair. They're surrounded by a bunch of question marks. Clay's doesn't even know who they are. On the next page, they're gone. There's a bunch of sketches of Glace's scarf. They're all tied in different ways, like he's practicing styles. I turn pages, but that's all I see for a while, just the scarf. 
A few more pages and I see the scarf drawn in the way he's currently wearing it. But on the page beside it, a rope drawn in the same way. Seeing them beside, side by side, made me realize they both look like a noose. I feel sick to my stomach, but I can't stop, uh, stop myself from continuing. The next several pages are just drawing of Clace. On the left page, he's drawing a Clace in his scarf with a big smile. On the right, there's a rope around his neck. His eyes are X once more. A few more pages and the scarf is gone. All I see is drawings of dead Clace over and over. What is going on here? The rope around his neck in every single sketch. He's immediately lock up in fright. I shut the diary and put it back down. However, there's one thing I didn't notice. A card must have fallen out of the diary when I read it. It rests face down, completely blank. It's obviously a business card. My hands shake as I pick it up and turn it around. There's a big Argus. Well, I know it's a little concerning. <laughs> there's a big Argus logo in the corner, but it's not part. That's not the part I find most shocking. Oh. Okay, they did mention someone with long hair. We know someone with really long hair. The words at the top of the card are clear. Vision Protection Program. I panic and immediately open the journal again. I had no idea what page you fell out of. He'd definitely be able to tell I did this to him. Everyone else was in the labor room. And I, it had to be me. My eyes start to water. I feel ill. I estimate what page the card could have come out of and put it back inside. Then I look at the bottles of pills and booze given new meaning. I thought I would have uncovered something big. I thought I would have helped out my friends. But all I did was make a mistake that I regret for the rest of my life. I flee the room, running, it, uh, running to the closet bathroom, the closest bathroom, as I feel the urge to vomit. All I can feel is a sense of worthlessness and regret. Oh my god. I mean, I tried not to, but the game wouldn't let me do it. So who is the person with the long hair? Is it the doctor? There's no way it's the doc. Is it the doctor? Would it be the doctor? Experience supplemental fragment. Party time. Party time. Excellent. I mean, after that, this seems a little bit uh, superfluous right now. After all, we just experienced that uh, doesn't feel quite the same. <laughs> oh, Everybody boy. ready to party? I am. Born ready. Born ready. Just having my pre-evening caffeine. How much caffeine do you have? How on earth are you going to fall asleep tonight? Are you planning to? Not planning on it. Oh, Dante's in party mode? Well, everybody should be in party mode. There's a party happening. For once, I'm really feeling it. But I've always loved the vibe of New Year's Eve. Why is that? You know, a fresh start. A chance to leave our mistakes behind. I can see the appeal in that. But it's just another day, you know? Yeah, but it doesn't feel like one. It's really hard to put into words. Alrighty. Putting things into words is your entire career. That is true. He's got you there, Dante. Yeah, but it's the indescribable that compels me. The things that are hard to put into words. All right. Like how waking up on a Monday feels? Bad. Normally bad. Exactly. One of the worst feelings ever. Well, you don't have a traditional, like, Monday through Friday job, so it probably isn't quite the same. I can agree with that one. Alrighty. So, picture the opposite of waking up on a Monday. Waking up on a Friday? Like waking up on your own without an alarm. Yeah, unless, well, depending on what time it is. I find, like, I like to sleep in, but, you know, usually, um, usually when that, that happens, uh, if I'm, if it's way too late, I kind of feel bad about it and I don't like it as much, but you know, whatever. Yeah. Perfect example. Exactly. Go ahead and multiply that by like, uh, a million. Okay. That's, how that's a lot. Feels to me. Really? Okay. Well, that's a lot. Sounds like the best day ever. It might be. And I'm not even exaggerating. Some of my best memories come from New Year's. Alrighty. <laughs> even the massive hangover you're bound to have. 
Yeah, I mean, I think we've all had our fair share of uh, New Year's hangovers. It's just part of the experience. But if it's really bad, we can just always have a shot or two. That doesn't work as well as you might think. <laughs> so you do believe my hangover remedy? It's not a good one. Not really, but tomorrow is the day I'd give it a shot. Always got to start the new year with a new experience. Good plan, but not the best execution. A shot to ease a hangover? It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Isn't that stupid? It's very stupid. No, it actually works. No, it does not. Oh? You ease a lot of hangovers? Yeah, it happens more than you'd think. Of course, the best option is just no booze at all. Well, that have you you've been around this group long enough, no, that's not happening. And like always, the best option is the hardest one. There's no way I'm gonna hold back on New Year's Eve. Do you hold back any day of the week? You know, we've been drinking an awful lot since Delta arrived. No, you don't say. <laughs> Gotta live it up while it still feels new and fresh. But aside from the convention, I'm cutting back in the new year. So basically like what, like five, six days a week now instead of seven? Oh, planning to party at the convention too? Well, yeah, that's kind of how conventions work. Absolutely, plenty of streamer friends are going. It's hard to make plans with them unless it's a big event like this. That's probably true. Most of the time that's how it works. <laughs> Makes sense. It's the one time your schedules are unified. Bet you'll get to do all sorts of collabs. At the convention? That's not that easy to do. Yeah, but not as big as the one I did with Clace. <sighs> Kinda feels like I'll be chasing that high for a while. Okay, if you're gonna do a collab at a convention, one, you need to take breaks when you can, and then two, like, that's gonna be interesting to it's pull that off. It's good to have a goal that feels impossible. Sometimes that's the only way you can actually pull it off. It's the belief that you can achieve it that ends up being important. Well said, my friend, well said. If that were true, your writing would be a lot better. <laughs> Ouch. Fighting an ouchie. on New Year's Eve. You know what? I'm down for a brawl. Been looking for an excuse to put you in your place. Okay, let's do it. Let's... I got that pillow. You two can just go at it however you want. Now there's a good stream idea. Settle our feud the old-fashioned way. Perfect. I'll film. Give me the camera. I'll film it. Shots fired and shots drank in one evening. I would say it's just one evening. With this group, it's basically every evening. You want your viewers to see you lose? The, well, okay, guys. You're taking this a bit far. He already does that in video games. It wouldn't be a big change. Ow. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, Taylor. Poor Taylor. Poor Taylor. Why is everyone ganging up on me? I made us pregame mimosas and everything. Taylor... I'm here for you, buddy. I'm sorry. I know they're being mean to you. They're picking on you. Poor hey, Taylor. Did you all take a look outside? No. Uh, there's an outside? What's up? It looks like there's a lineup. To the party? For our house? Isaac, how many people did you invite? <sighs> yeah, didn't you say a couple dozen? The right amount. You ready to get things started? There's a line? How do you know all these people? It's time already? No, Alrighty, here we go. Sure is. I'm totally ready. You good with an audience, Taylor? I mean... Can I, uh, place a bet on this fight? <laughs> Alright, let's go for it. I got... Okay, so Dante's obviously got, like, the canine thing going. Probably a more vicious fighter. But I think Taylor's got the reach. So if Taylor can just, like, get Dante far enough away and keep Dante far enough away, Taylor may have a shot here. But I would probably take Dante overall because of the whole, like, canine versus bunny thing. No. No? Well, that's no fun. No fighting at my party. Oh, come on. It would be such a good experience. We should let them do it. But it would be such easy money. Why? Who do you think would win? Wait, who would you bet on? Yeah, I'm curious. Kind of figured that one was obvious. Well? Oh! Oh, come on now. Oh, come on now. Damn it. 
I thought they were going to tell us. Okay, so we are down to the last pivotal fragment of this section. I think this is the final section. There's probably going to be like a culminating event, so I'm going to get through Experience this right now. pivotal fragment. One small step for furry kind, one small step for furry boyfriends. Your life is not the expectation of others. True. Possibly. Ooh, got some... We walk down the streets as a group, heading towards the town square. Okay. The message that Hermes sent was clear, but were people listening? It had to make a difference. There was so much on the line. If people banded together, they could be they could feed the zeros until Hermes took action. But if anything would stop him, it would be the fear of repercussions from Argus. By extension, Argus would be responsible if anything went wrong here. You know, I've been here for a couple weeks now, but this town square never fails to amaze me. Is this town square? Okay, I didn't Was know that. Was it what you expected? Yes, but also no. Okay, those are the two options. Didn't you say it was depressing? Yeah, but now I'm one of you. So I guess the figurative grass is greener. Good. Weird how your perspective can change so fast, isn't it? A little bit. Not as weird as letting a phone define your social status. I mean, this is the only thing that separates you from the zeros? He holds up his phone and looks at it in confusion. I didn't really know what to expect when I came to the city. But our differences are such a fine line, they might as well not exist. Well, that's fair. I guess that's kind of the whole point of this whole situation. I think that's what Hermes is playing at. See, we're on the same page. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's weird how I realized it almost immediately. Argus has been in power for almost a hundred years, right? You think someone would have stepped up by now? Well, I think they did try. It just didn't work out too well for them. Well, it's hard to think outside the box when you're stuck in it. You were born outside of it, though. Changes the way you think. Was he, though? See, I'm not sure that's the case. I'm starting to wonder if that's not the case. Maybe that's why they kept us outside. Our presence is already changing public opinion. The lean that streams. More like the lean that sucks. Am I right? Ha, no, ha, ha, Theo. Ha, ha. <laughs> no. Makes sense to me, actually. There's nothing more dangerous than an open mind. Especially when you're used to filling them with your own narrative. You mean all of our thoughts could be placed there by Argus? Well, I kind of think that's also true to some degree. I think they are the ones responsible for the whole vision thing. In a way, yeah, but that'd be more like propaganda. A little bit. That's what you called the anniversary report, isn't it? Yeah, but it actually turns out it was a little differently than that. Yeah, but I was joking. Were you, though? Are you sure about that? Look how much your mind has changed after seeing another perspective. Dante of a few weeks ago would have never played along with this. Well, you kind of put him in a position where you didn't have much of a choice. I hate that you're right. No, you're... No, first of all, he's not right. He kind of sprung this on you and you guys became accomplices. That's not the same thing. My mods at home don't seem that bad now, do they? Okay, that's really not the point. Are you really using this as an opportunity to clear yourself? 100% absolutely trying to do hey, that. I gotta take what I can get. Do you, though... A few moments later, we round the corner to see Town Square. Suffice it to say, the sight we were greeted to is less than inspiring. The gathering of zeros is still there, but it all looks the same. For some reason, I expected a sight of unity. I expected to see defiant souls feeding the zeros. Defiant, but also hopeful in their rebellion. Instead, I see a couple of bowls of fruit scattered near the zeros. Barely anybody helped. And they must have fled as soon as they did. It looks like the children were given priority as they were all eating apples. But they all look so weak. Support wasn't enough for everybody. Well, that kind of sucks. A little bit. A little bit. Yeah, that's not what I expected. Well, it's not that simple. Usually doesn't happen that quickly. <sighs> I thought Hermes would inspire everybody. Especially with public opinion the way it is. Uh, usually, I would say rebellion usually takes more than one effort of that type. Yeah, but online polls can only be so reliable. A lot of people are all talk with no action. I bet they're all waiting until the 5th. Maybe. Yeah, that's reasonable. A small trickle is a lot easier to take care of. 
It'd be way easier if everybody showed up at once. They all look so sick, though. Why is Hermes making them wait? Probably to make Argus look bad. They have the power to stop this right now, but every second they don't, well, you get the idea. True, but I guess, like, unless they're in cahoots, I still have a feeling something is... think we should help? Uh, aren't you already under the spotlight a bit too much? Way too risky, especially if they're watching us. Every move we make has to be extremely calculated. Every move you make... Uh, in what way is a huge New Year's Eve party extremely calculated? <laughs> Got you there. It's easier Got to you there. A big crowd. I think that's why Hermes set a specific date and time too. There's going to be so many people here on the fifth. Watching or helping? Both. Who knows? You know, I came here for an inspiring sight, but now I'm just depressed. What should we do? Waiting is all we really can do. Are there any zeros you want to go see? I couldn't do it. Why not? I feel like I've betrayed them in a way. I have what they want, but I can't share it. That's true. You kind of did, like, overstep your bounds a Until we're bit. all equal, I don't think I can look them in the eye. It'd just be a constant reminder of how helpless we both are. That's a little sad. I suppose so. A little bit. Don't worry. This will all be over soon. Then we can throw a big party, all right? After all of it? I'm Another one. totally down for that. Introductions are in order, Chiron. Those are your people, your friends. I'd like to meet them. Yeah, I actually kind of would too. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. I actually would like to meet more of them. I bet there's. I've been cool meaning to there. ask. How'd you all get into the city anyway? It was Hermes. I don't know much about the specifics though. They helped the leader of my colony cheat the system somehow. Made it so that we could all just walk in without setting off alarms. That's a little suspicious. It's that easy? It's not that easy. Something is weird. Doesn't sound like it was easy. Security around the city walls is top notch. Far greater than it the can't be that or simple. the Wayfarer. It actually feels like Hermes might be able to pull this off. Did you meet them, Chiron? And what were they like? No, I actually never met them. I don't know if the colony leader did either. They always operated from the shadows. Unless, unless you are them. I still think you might know that you're not letting on as much as we think. Kind of like how they spoke to us in Isaac's store. They kept their identity shrouded in mystery. Unless. But I think it's better that way, actually. A shadow can be a lot more threatening than a face. If I were Argus, I'd be shaking in my boots right now. Well, you're assuming they're wearing boots. They could be wearing loafers or sneakers or maybe high heels. Who knows? Maybe they are. Well, if they have boots on, then I will accept that. I sure hope so. Hey, you want to grab a bite? Let's go grab some grub. Maybe a sandwich or a burrito. Some tacos. We all nod and start walking towards the Triple R. There'll be plenty of time to get a meal in before we head back home. I feel bad eating a huge meal while Zeros are starving out here. I remember Taylor saying something similar in our group chat a while ago. There's only one thing I can really do. Just hope this all ends in their favor. As I walk past them, somehow something catches my eye. It's that child carrying the doll with them. The one I saw before I got to the Wayfarer. Their skipping seems a lot less gleeful this time around. Their smile on their face, but... It's not as wide as last time. Their hand, in their hand is an apple with a few bites taken out of it. They notice me watching and our eyes soon lock. They give me a quick smile before going back to what they were doing. Before long, they stop skipping and walk over to a pair of adults. They remember each other. They're clearly parents. I can't believe how, um, you know, em 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 emaciated they look. It makes my heart sink. Living on whatever scraps they can find for weeks now? I'd never wish that on anybody. Yet still, the child smiles, almost unable to comprehend the situation. I remember being like that, not being able to see the world for what it is. I wonder what it was, the thing that made us lose our childlike sense of wonder. 
as we round the corner I simply hope that a child never has to find out. But in a world so unforgiving, I fear it was only a matter of time. Uh oh, well, I will say, I know this game is like, kind of like, is primarily like kind of a dating sim type situation, but the story is kind of dark and interesting. So I'll give it that. Like, I think they've definitely created something really interesting here. So I probably have a couple of journals. Which journal entry? Have I done this one? Oh, I did something I shouldn't have. I just, oh, well, that is not good. That's not good. So I'm definitely, that was definitely after the clay situation, for sure. AKA the quantum leap. I didn't want to do it. Why did I do it? I feel like the worst person in the world. It's like I wasn't even controlling my own body. Like someone else was moving it for me and making choices. I thought I left this kind of stuff back at home, the stress, the baggage. Perhaps it wouldn't be, it would be easier if I could talk to my counselor about it, but I can't. Right now, it seems like the safety of our group is, and our actions need to come before my own mental health. It's, it's, it's not fair. Uh, the quantum leap is today. I'm going to be spending four different midnights with four different friends, Clay, Dante, Isaac, and Taylor. Chiron didn't seem interested and said we could just hang out earlier in the party, but... I'm so worried about spending time alone with Clay, especially after what I did, and especially what I know about him now. I hate everything. This feeling of, of losing control, like I'm, I'm watching someone else's life instead of my own. I know what these symptoms are, are, are symptoms of. It's not good. I can't shake the paranoia, but it's just really paranoia if I know I'm being watched, or is it uh, a fright that's justified? It's, it's not sometimes. It's not just sometimes, though. I feel like I'm being watched every second on a level that I can't quite describe. I don't know how that it's possible, and this will possibly come across delusional, but I have one question. Are you reading this right now? What is going on with me? What is going on with me? Oh boy. Something's definitely off. Experience culmination fragment. The quantum leap. All right, guys, here we go. It's quantum leap time. I am glad I don't have to make like a major choice. Thank you for choosing Argus, our future your way. Well, that's got to be. Uh... How am I going to handle that with Clay? Like, am I going to have to something? Something weird's going to happen here. I feel like something weird's going to happen. As soon as the party starts, the house is flooded with guests. I haven't seen it in here. Uh, this alive in here since I moved in. It was intense. Isaac is currently watching the door, vetting potential party goers. I stand around the kitchen table with Dante, Taylor, and Chiron. We sip our drinks and engage in small talk as the party slowly picks up. There was still a while until the first midnight, so everyone was pacing themselves. That is such a lame resolution, Taylor. At least be a little more creative. We're not all writers like you, man. Yeah, but staying alive? As if you're going to die in the next 12 months. Well, Taylor does party quite often, so... With how things are going, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Ow! Jesus, Chiron, what are you trying to say right now? Hey! Hey! Oh, did you choose that because you thought it'd be easy? I figured that resolution was supposed to be challenging. Well, it most likely should be, but... It is supposed to be challenging. Taylor just likes taking the easy road in life. I'm a streamer! There's nothing easy about that! True. Oh, yeah, it's the hardest thing in the world. Pressing go live and reacting to online videos. It's a little bit more complicated than that. I have to watch chat and have a scene set up and make sure OBS is working, which I had some hard times with in the past. So it's not quite that easy. He lets other people make his content for him. Okay, you, you're, you guys are being really mean to Taylor right now. I don't know if I appreciate it. This is literally bullying. It very much is. I'm actually very disappointed in all Like of you. you do to all of us? Yes. That doesn't make it okay. It doesn't. You guys are being mean. Indeed it doesn't. I'd let him bully me and it just... <laughs> it just means he likes you. He must really like you then, Delta. You're almost all he can ever talk about. Who? Exposed! Oh, exposed! That's a better indicator of Taylor's feelings, actually. Not what he says to your face, but what he says behind your back. <laughs> Taylor, everyone loves you so much, apparently. We all have different ways of expressing ourselves. Kinda like how you base characters in your books on us. 
Only the ones that die. <laughs> you did say that already once. Dante laughs as we all take another sip of our drinks. I'm starting to feel like I'm a true member of this group now. It, it, was, it took a while for me to settle in, but things are finally clicking. I wish it were under better circumstances, though. Despite our banter and smiles, we I knew we were all worried. Especially me. I'm wrecked with guilt from what I did to Clay's. I feel like I didn't do it, though. There's a part of me that knows I'm not capable of it. As I stood there before the diary, almost things almost went on autopilot. I trusted him. I trusted all my friends. Feels like some of those thoughts I'm having aren't really mine. Especially as I play back my thought process moments before leading up. Hey everyone. Oh, Hope there you are. are going well. Uh oh. I'm startled a bit, and it shows. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to scare you. I guess I'm just light on my feet. You're very light on your feet. Also, I read your diary. My bad. Oh, I should probably be here. Hold on. <laughs> I've watched a lot of your performances, actually. You're pretty graceful when you need to be. Goddamn, Dante. Smooth sailing, baby. Well, ballet was basically the first form of dance I studied. I branched off after that, but a lot of the fundamentals stuck. Do things you learn in one style help you out in another? Probably. Kinda. Rhythm is the most important part. After that, it's just memorizing the movements. True, but there is like a certain like body and muscle memory to it, so I guess so I'm you're not imagine. the best at freestyling then? Well, all of my shows are choreographed. At the end of the day, I have to stick to the plan. Yeah, that's probably true for most pop stars. Kind of reminds me of comedy and improv comedy. You know, scripted versus unscripted. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, very much so. And by the way, can I get one of those? Which of what? Oh, he tilts his head towards Dante's drink. Oh, of course. I figured that's why you were here. Sorry, didn't mean to start playing 20 questions. Well, we usually do that. That's kind of the no, point of a do, talking game. Let's focus on fun from here on out. Okay. All the drinks. Just drink and then the potato chip bathtub. That's the only two things that are important at this point in time. Potato chip bathtub and drink. You got it. Dante goes to the fridge and grabs Clay's a drink. It's an overly sweet iced vodka be beverage, almost white in color. When he opens it up, we all take another sip in unison. Oh, wow. I think I have cavities now. Probably. Yep, it's the good stuff. <laughs> oh, no, it's kind of like Smirnoff or something like that. A lot better than that beer, if you ask me. What brings you to the kitchen anyway? Oh, I just wanted to hang out for a bit. That and find out which midnight I'm spending with Delta. I don't know. Everyone wants to spend midnight with me. There's only one. There's only one midnight. Time zones exist. I don't think we figured that out yet. I don't know. Oh, in that case, I'll take first. Uh-oh. Second. Uh-oh. Third. Uh-oh. Ah, too slow. Wow, starting to think Delta is the real celebrity here. I guess that makes Isaac last then? It makes Isaac last. I doubt he'll complain. Like, why? Well, if there's still a few hours before first midnight, maybe I can hang out with Delta a bit right now. My goodness, everybody is just like ready to just start making out. Let's just, you know what guys, let's all just go make out together. <laughs> Why don't we just spend all midnights together as one group? What could go wrong? He looks at me and gives, I give him a nod. We did talk about that in the group chat after all. I'm in no rush though. Let's finish these drinks as a group. Okay. I'm kind of in a rush though, cause I gotta go get some dinner. It looks like we all have the same amount left. Want to see who can finish theirs first? We're going to chug. Chug a wug wug. Uh-oh. Okay, here we go. <laughs> if you're looking to lose a bet, yeah. Without saying another word, Dante immediately starts chugging. It's start! No fair! Ah, we all follow suit, finishing off our drinks as a group. There's so much left over from the nightclub, we'd be going through a lot. But bringing a new year with a bunch of new friends, no better time. Definitely no better time. Or maybe it's the worst time. We'll find out. I have a feeling that tonight will go down in history. Potentially. What is happening? Oh. Ah, uh, the party. Wow, that got very, very dramatic there. Chiron, heart to heart three. Okay, here we go. We're doing it. We're going to make out with everybody. It's going to be just big time make out sesh. 100%. Me and Chiron move to the other side of the kitchen for privacy. How much? More and more people are arriving at the energy level 
uh, levels are increasing. Isaac definitely knows how to throw a party. I'll give him credit for that. But I start to wonder why all these people are... He's never talked about any friends outside of his group. This party's actually pretty cool. It is kind of cool. I wish we did stuff like this on the colony. Uh, sounds lonely. Kind of a social state... Or this is kind of a social life staple. You didn't party? Yeah, not much room for a social life on the colony. If we had some spare time, it was at the end of the night. We'd do campfires and play games like Raise Your Hand. Oh yeah, we did play that the other day. Other than that, it was just work, sleep, repeat. Have I ever told you how things work on the colony? Not really, it's still a mystery to me. Well, every week we get an allowance of food and water. It was entirely dependent on how much work we did. The more we contributed, the more we got back. Right. If you slacked off, they could deny you the essentials. So it creates this atmosphere of hard work being necessary. It definitely is, though. Running a colony takes a lot of work. Yeah, I can see that working. So it makes sense that they'd reward the hardest workers. I was always at the top of the list. Guess I love to help out. But when you live out there, you can't really do anything else. Some would say the same about city life, actually. You're all under Argus's thumb whether you like it or not. Gotta live life the way they demand it, or suffer the losses. True. I guess they're both kind of operating under similar systems. He's not wrong. At least in the city, you can be depressed in style. A lot easier to put on a mask when you have all this stuff to do. Did I tell you I went to that big tower everyone keeps talking about? You didn't, actually. Well, it was pretty cool. Like climbing the tallest tree in the world. I could practically see my colony from up there. Great. Never been that high up before. They even had a part where the floor was transparent. Good thing I'm not scared of heights. Would have had a heart attack. Well, aren't you just a brave puppo? Oh, and then I went to the store that sold only guitars. I hooked one up to a big speaker and got to play it. People started watching, saying I was talented. You play guitar, I didn't know that. He's clearly excited to be talking about all this. I can hear in his voice and the pacing of his words. The cold shoulder he had definitely warming up. Or could it just be the alcohol? Talented. You'll have to serenade me sometime. I'm just gonna stick to my guns. I'm gonna stick to my guns. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. Yeah, he just does Wonderwall. Oh God, oh God, please no. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna stick to my guns. Then it's a date. Then it's uh, a date. Wait, is that the right expression? Yes. Remember what I was saying before, it's all a date. Everything's a date. Basically everything we do is a date. So you're on the right path because maybe... <laughs> Guess it depends on what your intentions yeah, are. I guess it does. Yes, it does. Are we going to make out? Is this make out time? He smiles. One thing I've noticed, though, you have so much junk food in the city. Definitely think I've put on a few pounds by now. I haven't noticed, so I wouldn't worry about it. He tugs on his collar. It's uh, getting a bit tight. You think... Okay, that's weird that your neck is the first part that get. Okay, whatever. Oh, you have... Wait, did I say something? Where did you get it from? Why do you wear it? I could ask the same about your wardrobe. Been rocking that outfit since the day I met you. In fact, come to think of it, everyone has. Have I been wearing the same thing? I guess I do wear the same thing. <laughs> that's because my model artist only gave me one outfit, and that's okay, so don't worry about it. I shrug. Either way, it was just a gift given to me on the colony. That's how we'd show affection between friends. A special gift with a special meaning. Oh. I heard in the city you just give each other money, but I think this is better. A lot more personal. I don't think... That's not how people work in the city. I ask uh, if this friend uh, of his is protesting in town square. He immediately looked up and I... Like I've struck a nerve. Well, I, about that. I actually wanted to talk to you about my past, but... I think we should take it to the bedroom. Oh. It's not stuff that I want anybody overhearing. Okay, sure, privacy. I'm just going to stick with my guns. This is probably not an appropriate time. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. All right, we'll see. Uh, he tilts his head towards the bedrooms. I decide we should go to mine and start leading the way. Woo. <laughs> Woo. Uh-oh. Okay. When we get to my bedroom, I close the door behind us. I know he wanted privacy. I had no problem providing it. It reminded me of the airplane chat we had. I hope everything is all right. Sorry, but you never know who's listening in. You're... You're pretty close with Isaac, right? Oh, uh, you know, fairly close. Yeah, he's one of my best friends. Kind of figured as much. You moved in with him, after all. There's something I want to ask him, but... I don't know how. What do you want to ask him? What... What do you... What? Well, you got me thinking about my past. Did I ever tell you about my parents? 
Oh, no, you never, I don't think you ever yeah, really said anything true. about it. I noticed the immediate change in topic away from his collar. Whatever it meant, or whoever gave it to him, must be a touchy, touchy subject. It passed away shortly after I was born. But in the colony, everybody is family. So the loss never really hit me. Okay. I actually hated them. Or at least the idea of them. They were the reason that I was stuck in the colony after all. But now that I'm in the city, I see things a bit differently. I think we're all seeing things a bit differently lately. While I was growing up, the other colonists told me one thing. They told me that my parents celebrated the anniversary of their defection. They must have been happy to leave the city behind. But why? Well, they must have done something. Look at how hard we're fighting to get back in. We needed the help of Cypher and Hermes to even stand a chance. What, what was so terrible that they needed to run away and force this life on me? What if they're not dead? Maybe that's the thing. Good question. Almost impossible to guess. Impossible to guess, sure, but not impossible to find oh, out. Oh, that's what he wants to ask Isaac. I get it. Hmm. Argus must keep tabs on people who leave the city. There's, There's got to be some kind of record. I agree. But you're asking Isaac to pull this information up he probably could actually but that's where things get a bit you know because of his Normally, district manager be hard to security track down clearance specific people unless they knew the date they left exactly i wanted to ask isaac if he could look into them for me you know at his follow up interview ah oh. is that too much to ask or maybe selfish is the word i'm looking for i i just feel like it could give me some closure it's normal to be curious about your family history it is whoa 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 Sometimes you have to be selfish in order to get what you want. Why would I say that? I guess so. I mean, Argus would call Hermes selfish, right? But we sure. all know they're a good person. They want what's best. It may be selfish is just a term thrown around by people who hate to lose. Well, I think there's a, like, selfishness in itself is not inherently bad. It's just like the amount of it that you use or like how you use it or like, you know, anything in moderation. Everybody should be selfish from time to time. You have to in order to, like, live the best life for you. You can't, like, not be selfish all the time. You have to take some things selfishly, and you have to take some things selflessly. Doing things in balance is really the only way to win. Like I said, it's always easier to blame your misfortune on somebody else, especially when you don't understand them or give them even ground. If I learned more about my parents, it could answer all my questions. I don't know about all of them, but maybe some. You know, like why they left the city, why they condemned our bloodline, my bloodline. I may not have deserved a life in the city, but I deserve an answer. Isaac will definitely help you out. I know it. I think so too. I just didn't want to get greedy. He's already helping me enough. Sometimes I wonder why, but I know there's no real reason. I was just in the right place at the right time. Already? Is that all it takes to change the course of history then? Just one string of coincidences after another? So we are getting those like interruptions to the whole conversation and like it changes my answer. So I get like one answer, then like the weird glitch happens. There's something weird going on here. And maybe, maybe, maybe I've been like looking at this the wrong way. Maybe Delta's the, the like weird one. And maybe an apple or two. I do like apples, and I know you do too. He laughs and nudges me on the shoulder. I won't forget your part in this, Delta. But, uh, I guess I'll let you get back to business. No, 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 this wait a minute, you brought me in here for a reason. After all. Ah, uh, yes, it will be a busy night for me. He starts to leave my room, but then turns back around. I know we talked about sharing a bed and stuff, but all this talk about the past was... It's definitely a mood killer. Ah, oh, damn it. I nod. Completely understandable. But it seems like the mood wasn't entirely killed. He steps forward and pulls me close by the collar of my shirt. You've flirted with me at, like, every opportunity. I don't want you to think that I'm not interested, so this will have to tide you over for now. Okay. I take a couple of steps forward, and I'm pinned against the wall. He gives me a piercing gaze. Our eyes lock on each other. Before I knew it, our lips are locked together, too. I grab him by the collar and switch our positions, taking little effort. We kiss over and over as I pin him against the wall and return. This goes on for blissful eternity until he slowly pulls back. Mm, I can taste that booze on your lips. 
Oh, yeah. Well, I'm pretty drunk right now, so. It's sweet. Ooh. Well, that was pretty intense right there, buddy. He runs his hand along the side of my face and smiles. With his hand still resting on my face, he gives me one more kiss. Until next time. Until next time. He leaves the room, his stride both confident and happy. God damn. Now that was a good start to a New Year's party. Just like I anticipated, it'd be a night to remember. Eager to keep the good times rolling, I head towards the kitchen. I can't help but think about Chiron, though. I hope he gets what he wants. Not knowing about your family must be difficult, even if I'm kind of curious about them. I guess that's a topic for another day, though. Right now, it's time to keep partying. Goddamn. Goddamn. What a start. Not quite the whole shmeel, but something. Something. Let's see. I think it's Clay's next. Clay's? The group is gathered around the kitchen table, sharing a second drink. As soon as I've arrived, I've handed one, and I start to sip with my friends. Isaac is here now, too. He must have let everybody inside hey, by now. Hey, Delta! I was just waiting for you. Hope the party's going good so far. Oh, I'm just going to keep sticking to my guns. Here we go. Oh, really? Good to know you're looking forward to it. I'm curious if you changed your mind on a thing or two. I change my mind all the time, constantly. I can never keep it straight. Whatever I said last time, don't pay attention to it. It doesn't mean a goddamn thing. He stops to think for a moment before continuing. I've got that surprise all prepared, too. Oh, yeah? Are you, uh, what do you got surprising for me there, big should guy? Should we be scared? We should be very scared because every time he surprises us, we're in bigger and bigger no trouble. No reason to be. I think you'll love it. Okay. Who are all these people anyway? <laughs> There's no way you have this many friends. <laughs> You'd be surprised. I would be surprised. <laughs> no, because it's not true. <laughs> I love the delivery of that line. Thank you, Taylor. I appreciate that. Ouch. Ouch, I've indeed. Made a lot of connections over the years, you know. Maybe. I asked him why he said he was waiting for me. Oh, right. My follow up I know you all love me here. now. But please, that, I'm pretty try to sure contain this yourself. Is all mine. No, really. I already felt nauseous earlier today. All right, thanks, Theo. He holds up his drink. New year, new Isaac. Oh, ow. Uh, great. We all sip. That's pretty awesome. When is it, by the way? Oh, you know, next Tuesday. That's the cool part. It's on the 5th of January. That's kind of a crazy coincidence. You mean Hermes Day? That's a big coincidence. Is that what we're calling it now? Hermes Day. It made sense in my head. It does. Then, yeah, Hermes Day. You might miss what happens on the street, then. Doubtful. I bet it'll be on every TV in their HQ. Plus, I can look into this agent Delta's been talking about. All right. I can tell Kyron is biting his tongue. This would be the perfect moment to ask Isaac about his family, but for some reason, he says nothing. Simply looking dejected. Sounds like January's gonna be awesome, then. Anime convention, Isaac's promotion... Oh, uh, I have news, too. Oh, good. What do you got for I've me, buddy? I've made up an ending for our campaign. The next session might just be our last one. And because I want to brag, yes, you'll love it. Okay, I'm sure we will. Our last session? That was kind of fast. Well, you know, he is a bunny, <laughs> so... Well, things are pretty unpredictable right now. I have no idea what our situation will look like next week. So I decided to end on a high note. Nobody likes a cliffhanger. Well, not necessarily. That's fair. It was only a test run anyways. If it goes well, I can plan a second one. I'm thinking bigger and better is a good mindset to have. Yeah, maybe. I could say Let's that. Let's hope it all goes well, then. Let's hope. Or not. Another sip. Speaking of which, it's almost first midnight. It's almost first midnight. I can tell you all about how I looked at your diary. Wow, time sure flew by. It sure did. You were watching the door for a couple hours? Damn, how many people are here and how big is this house? Fair. At least I didn't miss anything important. Should we head to the backyard? The live music will start soon. Ooh, nice. What kind of live music did you hire? Yeah, what did you hire? Nothing too fancy. Just strings and stuff. For slow dancing. Really? That 
is a little lame. <laughs> Strings are the definition of fancy. Alrighty. Don't worry, I'm the follow-up act. Got a nice song picked out too. Great, that'll pick up things lively oh, and make it great. right, go. I forgot about that. How did you hey, forget about that? That's like been your, your thing. Okay. Anything for you. Anything for you, baby. They tap their drinks together like a toast. Remember, Delta, this is our midnight. Okay, here we go. Wow, I'm kind of jealous. He's performing during your date? Yeah, I think I picked the perfect time and place. It's not the most upbeat song, but people seem to love it. All right. Well then, we'll let you get to it. Hope you two are ready for a slow dance. This live music stuff doesn't come cheap. <laughs> yeah, where do you get this kind of money? That's what I want to know. I'm definitely not much of a dancer, but... But... Ah... Uh, the first midnight. Okay. That was a pretty dramatic scene change. In this situation, I don't think I have much of a choice. I owed Clace a good time. That much was clear. Especially after what I did. It's hard to look at somebody in the eye after betraying them. Especially when the thing you betrayed is a fragile's trust. Should I tell him? Is there any way I could ever make it up to him? I don't know. Clay steps forward, looking up at the twilight. Sight, isn't it? Oh. Alright, stick into it. Stick into uh, the plan. I was right. You really do have a silver tongue. Oh yeah, baby. Super silver. <laughs> Silver, so silver that it, it's it's almost platinum. Words like that under a sky like this, you might just make me fall for you. Oh my baby! He smiles and takes a sip of his drink. Suddenly, memories of his room flooded back to my mind. Those pill bottles, I recognized the name of the medication. They weren't tranquilizers, they were tranquilizers meant to relieve anxiety, fear, and stress. Should he be, be really being mixing those with alcohol like that? Either way, a lot of things started to make sense in my head. Ever since uh, he arrived, he's been so calm and soft-spoken. Definitely a far cry from how I imagined a pop star to be. Now I know why. And why I've seen him zone out a lot. He's clearly going through something. Maybe I should be nice and supportive as possible. But not in a way that reveals my awareness of his situation. Do you ever wonder what'll happen when you're gone? Ah, uh, you mean like when I go to the store? Because, uh... No, usually I'm fine with it. Huh? Not that stuff about returning to the stars. I mean, here, on Earth. Like, consequences and stuff. Uh, maybe. I've been thinking about that a lot since the Wayfarer, actually. Especially since we were talking about legacies. I don't think we're ever gone, as long as we exist in memories. That's a really pretty thought. I think you just changed my mind, Delta. From what to what? Well, I thought my legacy would be my music. And when I was gone people would listen to my songs. Okay. Which is true, but it's not about the songs. It's what they feel while they listen. All right. Helping people work through their tough times, giving them happiness, hope, maybe even love. Maybe. So I think that's it. Oh, well, that's cute. My legacy will be in the love of those I left behind. And by sharing it, they can make the world a better place. Okay. So it's not about my music. It's about me and my effect on people. That's a nice thought. He places his hand on mine with a soft grip as we look up at the sky. You know, I've got a few people up there in the stars. I can only wonder as they watch if I've made them proud. I hope so. Every single day. I'll have to ask them when I see them again. Ooh, that has a different connotation now. Hopefully later rather than sooner. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely for sure. Can we make sure it's like that? Because uh, with a nervous laugh, he rubs the back of his head. I hope I'm not bringing you down with all the sad talk. It's just impossible not to think about, you know? Uh, well, you know, you're at a party, so it might not be the right time Especially for it. Especially with everything that's been going on lately. But... I realize I should stop worrying and start hoping. Yeah, go for it. That seems like the best plan. Self-pity can be pretty addicting after all. Uh-huh. As we talk, I start to notice Isaac in the corner of my eye. It's only noticeable because he's looking around, making sure he's unseen, and holding a briefcase as he hands it off to one of the partygoers. 
That's not suspicious at all. I look over Clay's as he's tugging his scarf, almost looking nervous. It's impossible for me to look at him the same anymore, knowing what I know. Consumed by thoughts of suicide and death? It sends chills down my spine to know what's been, what he's been scribbling. Especially when we were all just having a casual conversation as a group. And to lie about it, saying it's notes of his memories? If he told us he needed help, we'd, we'd help him. And then there's the matter of that business card. Hmm. Well, what should we talk about next? Still got a few minutes before the music starts. How's it work going? Five albums, right? Enjoying your hiatus. Uh, enjoying your hiatus so far? Got a favorite song you've written? Got any big plans for the new year? I'm gonna go with this one. Oh, totally. It's nice to be free from the label. They've barely even talked to me lately. Then who have you been talking to? But that's exactly what I asked for. I have to admit, it's a bit weird to be free like this. Usually, they plan every minute of every day. So this whole go-it-alone experience is pretty exciting. I do run out of ideas on what to do from time to time, though. But when that happens, at least I have people like you. Perfect. I'm glad I could help. He smiles and finishes off his drink. You know we're going to have to dance, right? A bit slower than I'm used to, but I can deal with it. Okay. I can do it too. My dancing is legendary. Actually, that's not true. I'm horrible at it, but I nod. Looks like Isaac was going for some fancy Walt Lice like atmosphere. In fact, I can see the musicians setting up their instruments. That must have been expensive. How much does Isaac actually make anyway? That's a really good question because uh, more than you, it would seem possible. This house, this backyard, this event. Argus must pay their employees well. I really need to get a job. Maybe you can hook me up after the everything blows over. Kinda sounds cool when I think about it, working as a team. Just remember, left, right, left, right. Follow the flow of the others. Oh, we're gonna do this waltz thing? Let's Perfect. Let's not be the type of couple that disrupts the dance. It's a social faux pas and I'm not here to get judged. <laughs> All right, that's fair. I'd hate to get teased. I start to wonder why nobody recognized Clay's though. Not even a single glance in our direction from the partygoers. Surely a pop idol at a party was bound to cause a stir. It feels odd and I can't quite shake off this feeling, but I guess I'm not, it's not really worth worrying about. The band is in place and people start gathering in the backyard. It looks like this dance would lead into midnight and Clay's is performance. I have to give Isaac some credit for being so thorough with the party planning. Looks like it's time. Looks like it's time. He grabs my hand and we head towards the others. Everyone assumes the dancing position and places their hand on one another's. We look at each other's eyes as the band starts to play. Left, right, left, right, just like his advice. As we sway side to side in time with everyone else. I heard you're supposed to do this at weddings and graduations. But I never really had any time for that kind of stuff. After that talent show, my life went in a completely different direction. I only know how to do this because I watched some videos online. <laughs> well, that is the that is the preferred way of learning for most people. He blushes and looks away, like he had a reveal or revealed an embarrassing fact. Anything I couldn't do, I just looked up on the internet. And that way I kinda lived through other people. Fair. Did you know that they won't let me go to shopping malls? Too much of a security risk or something like that. So there's this one channel that I love. They go on tours of every possible mall. It's like you're actually there. I even watched a video of the big one here in town. Might not get to go in person, so the footage will have to do. That's kind of sad. Actually, that's really sad. Uh, the embarrassed look on his face almost amplifies. <laughs> Gosh, that must sound so stupid. Locked in a jet, watching videos of people living their lives. No, you just live a very different life. But it's a ruthless world out there, Delta. Far more than it has any right to be. Okay. But that doesn't mean the music continues and, our, and so does our dance. Just a little hiatus. Yeah, right. All I did was whet my appetite for more. Oh, so you're thinking about a career change? I can't really get greedy, can I? Sometimes you gotta take what you can get. Sometimes you do. You're right. He smiles at me. I'm just glad that I got to make some memories with all of you. 
a group of friends I can Oof. trust and always hold dear. Am I going to tell him? Trust. That word hits me like a knife in the heart. Until death, right? That's the pact you all made? All right, we did. I nod. Then I'll be a part of that deal, too. Perfect. Except, well, I don't know nothing. I know nothing! My heart starts to race and I'm overcome with emotion. As we continue our dance, but I feel like the worst person in the world. The sight of those drawings in his diary is all I can see in my mind. How can I keep a secret like that from him? How can I hold him like this, knowing how much I've betrayed him? I feel a tear fall down my cheek. I let my thoughts get the better of me. Hey. He moves his hand up to wipe the tear off my cheek. I didn't mean to make you cry, Delta. I'm sorry. We're both members of the same club, remember? If we don't have each other's backs, mm. we don't have anything. Mm. The Lean That Streams is a proud sponsor of Bob Thumb's Toilet Store. When you gotta go, think of Thumb. <laughs> I am not. I don't have an official license with them. I keep trying, but I can't get it. Anyway, this is an emotional moment. This is sad. I've got to tell them, right? I have to tell them. They mean, oh. But don't worry. Even if I do go away, I doubt I'll go very far. What do you mean by that? He gulps. As you can see, his eyes start to water as well. Just look up to the stars, okay? You watch for me. And I'll watch for you. How's it going, Crispy? Hope you're having a good day. Oh, that's uh, that's a harsh thing to say. Music slowly stops, replaced by a countdown to midnight. We stare at each other's eyes, enjoying the moment. Surely, a perfect one for him, yet I feel torn apart inside. As we get closer to midnight, he inches closer, he inches a clo face closer to mine. A kiss. I slowly inch mine forward as well. The next couple of moments feel like an eternity. Wait. Wait. I don't know if that's a good idea. What do you mean? Instead, he rests his head on my shoulder. I wrap my arms around him and hold him. Let's put a rain check on that one, okay? I'll decide when the time feels right. Okay. I don't know why I would... I feel bad. I gotta tell him, right? We gotta tell him. I nod, which I can clearly feel due to our embrace. Then, it's midnight. Rigorous applause fill our ears. He pulls back and we lock eyes once again. Happy New Year, Delta. Thanks for being part of my best one yet. And let's make sure this next one is even better. Okay. Don't do anything. In the meantime, please. The dance is over and everything goes back to their social groups. It was nice to see everyone so united for once, moving in harmony. <sighs> Guess that means it's time for my performance. I hope you stay and listen, or I might be offended. Oh, okay. Well, you know, don't be offended by nothing. Uh, he smiles and runs off to the area... Uh, the band performed in. Isaac is there, and he helps Clay's get everything set up. I wouldn't want to offend him, so I decide to stay and listen. I'll head inside afterwards, though, and continue the night. One midnight down, three to go. Hey, everybody. This is a song that kind of took off. Okay. In what way? It's not about anybody in particular, but if the shoe fits, you know what to do. Uh, advance this text box to start the song and advance the next one to end it. Okay, so I'm not sure if these are copyrighted, but I'm going to go and play it for a little bit. We'll see what it's like for a bit. I don't know if these are copyrighted, though. I don't really know. I would think they that Clace wouldn't do that. But I got to know... Is the singer of the song completely different from the voice actor again? Because that was that was really jarring in the last one. You came into my life that's when Yep, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> I just can't see the two characters like the character and then this song, the singer doing this. I can't see it. It's really hard to picture that. It's a good song though. I love that. I love that high five. That's a good one. You only love without the clothes. My realization is getting close. I imagine that this is fine to play. I'm gonna go with it because I am Say what they all say lies in story. I can't imagine there would be a problem. Never hurt me. Gotta go in such a hurry. I guess I'm not your priority now. 
I can't believe I didn't say anything, though. This makes me wonder if this game is going to go all the way through to the fifth, which means we may not be done today, uh, which would be interesting if that's the case. I was thinking that we were going to be done today, but we might not be. We may still have one more day of this. Uh, so we'll see how that goes, but I'm not 100% sure because I, I'm guessing it might go all the way through to the fifth. Okay, I think that's enough. I don't want to risk too much. But that makes me wonder the way this is going. I'm kind of wondering if there is going to be another another one more day of this, which could happen next week. So if that's the case, we'll go with it. But um, I could be wrong. That was a lot to take in. Looking at Clay's, talking to him after what I've done, my heart starts to race as soon as I get back uh, to the kitchen. I hate, uh, I hate how I'm feeling tonight. There's so much stuff I want to say, but it feels like I can't. There's this voice in my head stopping me. Doubt, anxiety, paranoia. I feel like seeing that agent was the tipping point for me. Like some level of denial present in my mind no longer existed. In that one moment, everything hit me all at once. Things felt the same. I shouldn't be standing in the kitchen like this. It's clearly starting to show signs of panic. I need a breather. Slipping out the door to the back of the kitchen, I enter the garage. We have a garage? I don't think I've been to the garage. Or at least, what I think is the garage, since I can barely see anything. But that's just what I need, a moment of silence in the darkness. A moment to focus on my breathing and calm back down. I think about everything I've done and everything I've seen. Part of me thinks Clace would forgive me for what I did. And when it came to Isaac, he's never lied to me before. I feel like my future will be determined by the nature of those around me. Would Clay be able to forgive me for invading his privacy like that? Is Isaac telling the truth when he tells everybody to trust him? He must be. I always feel safe when he's around. That's comforting thought enough to calm me down. Besides, we only had five days until Hermes took action. It's just like Chiron said to me. First doesn't matter if an avalanche follows. In five days from now, we'll be the last of Argus's problem. If all we had to do was the last five days, then I think we'd be fine. Just then, just trust in Isaac. Go with the flow. Spend time with your friends. Trust in Isaac. Go with the flow. Trust in Isaac. My eyes start to adjust and I realize I'm not in the garage. I'm in Isaac's workshop, the one place I was not supposed to go. I instinctively cover my eyes, but just then it was too already too late. I can immediately see why he didn't want anyone else in here. Dozens upon dozens of, of dr Argus drones lie in the garage. One of the workshop bench rests in a large uh, stack of briefcases. Just like the one I saw him hand out uh, to one of the party goers. Dimly lit monitors lined the wall, showing live footage of the house. At least, it appeared to be live. The date and time match up perfectly. Uh-oh. But in the footage, the house is completely empty. I know that's not true, since I can hear the party roaring. It's fake footage. I gulp. This was clearly none of my business, but... If it was part of a surprise, I can't even imagine begin what it would be. Or maybe there wasn't even a surprise. Maybe he was just hiding this. I turned my phone um, to look back at the time and I realized it's almost second midnight. I'm supposed to spend time with Taylor, if I remember correctly. I quickly leave the garage, trying to forget about what I saw. All I can do is repeat my earlier thought like it was a mantra. Go with the flow. But I didn't say trust in Isaac. Oof. What is Isaac up to, by the way? What is he up to? Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna see what Taylor's up to. I returned to the kitchen, calm and relaxed. Looks like nobody saw me enter Isaac's workshop. It's for the best. I wouldn't want him to think I disobeyed him. If he took one thing seriously, it was his hobby. Which is very shady. It made... He made it clear as possible since the day I've arrived. Okay. 
I've done my best to respect that so far, and I had no intention of slipping up. Okay, that's fine. I open the fridge and grab myself another drink. This whole four midnight thing was pretty cool. Taylor had a good idea. When I close the door to the fridge, that's exactly who I see behind it. We lock eyes. It's clear that he was trying to startle me. But if he wanted to scare me, he'd have to do better than well, that. Well then, you passed the test. I do, huh? Well, I like passing tests. What do, what do I, what do I, I win? startle you. That means you're innocent. I don't know about that. Don't know about that. Innocent. Only people with a guilty conscience would jump. Trust me, it's a tried and true method. Somehow I doubt that. Well, I sure shocked Isaac. And Dante just assumed a fighting stance. <laughs> I don't think... Dante does not strike me as like an actual fighter. He never you really know does. He's actually trained in self-defense. Oh, okay. Well, I guess so I'm wrong about that. he says he wants to fight, he totally does. Well, I still don't see it. He doesn't have the personality for it. Interesting. You're blocking the door, by the way. <laughs> I came here to get another drink. Perfect. Oh. I move to the side and Taylor opens the door. Without hesitation, I slip behind it and hide. It's not gonna work. I know you're there. He closes the door and smirks at me just to crack open a beer. Besides, you already know I'm not innocent. And I can think of far better ways to show it off. Yeah, baby. Oh, is this the night we seal the deal? Bam. <laughs> can you think of a better night? There's romance in the air. I can smell it. Ten bucks says Isaac is planning something. I know he is. He smirks and takes a sip of his drink. Oh, wait. I forgot. We're doing second midnight together, right? Maybe I should grab a few more drinks. Do it. I nod, at least. It was a recollection of a plan. He opens the door again, grabs some more booze. Wanna head to your room? Yeah, let's go, baby. Some privacy would be nice. That, and it's getting pretty loud. Well, it's about to get louder, Bunny Bunkins. That's true. First midnight must have set things off. The party's roaring and the booze is definitely flowing. Might be nice to have a quiet moment with my friends. With my moment or two with my friends. Sure, let's head to Perfect. my room. Perfect. Perfect. Don't worry. I grabbed one for you, too. Just remember to pace yourself. There's three midnights to go. Perfect. He hands me another drink and starts to follow him. Pretty odd that he was leading me to my room. I guess he just likes taking the initiative. He does. He's a, he's a very forward, forward bunny. As we enter my room, he puts the drinks down on the nightstand. It was quite a few drinks, too. Not sure how long he wanted to keep me in there. Uh, I look at the time, and there's still quite a while until we hit second midnight. Uh, socializing can be so exhausting. It's a lot harder in person compared to my chat. Fair. Hope you don't mind taking a breather with me. Oh, also, thank you for letting me use your room. For what? He steps on the edge of the bed. I would have asked Place, but he started locking his. <sighs> Can't blame a guy for valuing privacy, though. Fair. Clay started locking his door. I'm pretty fond of my private yeah. life, too. It's why I only ever hang out with the core group. Nights like this really make me realize how comfortable I am with all of you. <sighs> Throw some strangers into the mix, and all of a sudden, I can barely talk. That's fair. <sighs> I guess everyone has a comfort crowd, though. Uh, but I gotta step it up. I'm hosting a panel at the con. Are you at an anime con? I'm curious about that. He's hosting a panel at the anime con? I sit down beside him. We continue chatting. Yeah, streaming 101. Oh. That kind of stuff. At an anime a lot con? Of people ask me how they can make it, but it's not as simple as all that. If there was a formula, then everyone would be successful. I hate to brag, but I feel like my personality is a big part of it. Okay. I mean, they choose to watch me over everyone else. When I try oh. to list some reasons, that Here one we go. rises right to the top. Yep, that's the one. Oh, was it how I rested my arm across the booth? Wait, don't answer that. I know it was. Okay, well, yeah, maybe. If I knew you felt that way, I would have actually pulled you in. But you gotta get a gauge on things before making a move. Okay, well, I think we've I've flirted with you pretty much since day one, so you should know something by now. I nod as Taylor gives me a wide smile. He takes a large swig of his drink, then lays back on the bed. I do the same, and we stare up at the ceiling together. 
He sighs before quickly reverting to a previous topic. People are the worst sometimes, aren't they? Uh, depends on the people. Which it's one? It's so much easier when it's username scrolling past my screen. <laughs> At least then I have some time to rehearse my answers. All right. Come to think of it, I've never actually seen Taylor interact with people outside of our group. But, given everything I know about his past, social issues don't surprise me at all. A lot of my streamer friends are gonna be at the con. I, I'm paranoid that I won't make a good first impression. Oh, I'm sure you'll be fine. Just hit on them like you do everybody else. Especially when potential collabs are on the line? It, they're gonna be judging me from the moment they meet me. If I'm not entertaining enough, I'll lose opportunities. You're putting a lot of pressure on yourself. Don't worry so much about it. You're gonna be fine. I'm already having enough trouble with those leaked photos. Leaked photos? <sighs> I wish. It's actually a lot more embarrassing than that. Some photos of me as a teenager were leaked. What? I lived in a group home. Oh. I was a lot bigger back then. Huge, you could say. Oh. He doesn't clarify whether it means muscle or fat, which is interesting. But I have to ask him if, what exactly a group home was about. Well, it was a different one every year, to be honest. It was just a place for troubled youth, or kids with no parents. Like a shelter, I guess, run by volunteers from the community. Oh, I didn't know this about him. <sighs> but I was well, I think I did know something then. about this. Took out my problems on other people. Oh, I guess. I guess I was a bully if we're putting a label on it. Yeah, you've mentioned this before. So, if I acted up too much, they'd just transfer me. <sighs> That's how I ended up in so many places. At least the local cuisine helped me cope. Oh. If there's one thing I love to do, it was eat. Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself here anyway. Well, I mean, people cope in a lot of different ways. That's okay. Someone leaked those photos. Why is every I'm one of these turning of into like this sad... I hate to see myself like that, you like know? Like this sad moment Reminder thing. Reminder of who I was. Oh, and just so we're clear, I'm not really talking about my size. How much wood could it's a woodchuck chuck was on the if inside. a woodchuck could chuck wood? I hated it. We'll never know. I know the leem and the chat can't do math. Every single one of these is turning into kind of a bummer session. I I don't but know. I guess maybe I deserve this. Oh no! I bully no. a lot of people. Didn't make their lives any easier. That's true. We can never. Outrun. I don't want to say that. That's not a very nice thing to say. Uh. You seem to be doing a pretty good job at it. In fact, <laughs> I barely know anything about your life before Toronto. Maybe uh, nobody not does. Not that I'm entitled to anything. Just an observation. Well, I, I have a feeling there's a reason for that. He grabs his drink and sips it, even from a weird angle. <sighs> Want to know how I lost all that weight, Delta? I don't, but that's okay. You're probably going to tell me anyway. There was this one guy. I bullied him more than the rest. Guess he had too much and came up with a plan for revenge. Oh. Decided to take advantage of an allergy of mine. I just don't think he knew how bad it actually was. Wait, what did he do? <sighs> Life is a blur for a little while after that. But I remember being in a hospital. Jesus! When I got out, I looked more like I do today. Can't put the weight back on, no matter how hard I try. What did he do to you? I figured that karma was done with me. But now everyone is sharing those old photos around. It's like a constant reminder of my past. Jesus. Every single day. That's horrible. He scoffs. As if a constant reminder of the future wasn't bad enough already. Every time the lights go out, I'm scared it's happening all over again. Oh, that's why he's okay. Weird. What did he do to him? What kind of allergy was this? That's true. He told me about his vision in complete darkness. Even during our first time on the plane, he, we noticed that he seemed afraid of the dark. But you know what? This has given me a pretty unique perspective. A lot of people make fun of me online for being too skinny. Now, other people are making fun of me for the opposite. It's really dumb, isn't it? It is very dumb. People shouldn't be judgmental like that. No matter what your body is like, there's always going to be someone who judges you. The only option we really have left is to love ourselves just the way we are. And you should. You should never look at it like you're bad or everything's bad. You should try to love yourself for who you are. And if you do decide that you want to make, you know, improvements, then do it for yourself 
for reasons that are good for you. That's how you should always approach these things. I think that's a good way to go about it. Because I know they definitely won't. And at least we have power over our own feelings. Great. I think you should do it that way. That, that makes perfect sense. Speaking of feelings, though. Uh-oh. A ruh row. He turns his head to face me as I do the same. Sometimes, someone special comes along. Someone who we just know won't judge us. Ah. Uh... And sometimes, that makes everything easier to bear. Wow, we're getting really quiet here. Should I start whispering too? Do you want me to whisper like that too? Because I can. He smiles and rubs his hand along my face. Go ahead. Test, Test my, my theory. theory. Do you see me any different after that story? I don't. Not really. I shake my head, of course not. That soft voice hits differently? It does a little bit, doesn't it? It meant a lot to, uh, that he trusted me with this information. Then I guess that test was right. You are an innocent one, Delta. I wouldn't go that far. But if you're with me, oh, that'll definitely change. Wow, okay, this is turning into something here. He presses his lips against mine as we hold together for a small eternity. After that, he softly pulls back, leaning in for another kiss as we begin to make out. One, two, three. I start to lose count as we relinquish ourselves to passion surrender. He gets on top of me, sitting on my lap as while I lay on the bed. We lock eyes as his gaze uh, fierce as his kisses. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, maybe a little bit. Uh, running his hand along my body, he continued, we can, he leans in to continue making out. A moment later, I hold him tight and close, standing up from the bed. Wrapping his legs around me, I slowly hold him um, and kiss him while approaching the wall. Using the support of his back, we continue to kiss each other to prop my body. We're so engrossed in each other that we have to pull back to catch our breath. The faint echo of party goers counting down to midnight in my ears. Taylor looks left and the right switch by the door flame. He can easily reach it from his current position. Here, let me get that. Oh, wow. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Well. Uh, I guess that happened. I guess that happened. <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. That happened. That just happened. So, uh... I guess I can't call I can't call Taylor a tease anymore. I guess I can't do that. Mission pass with respect plus, yes. I can't call him a tease anymore, I guess. There we go. That was a nice little pick-me-up. <laughs> yep. I feel invigorated. Now I've got that little little pep in my step now. There it goes. Taylor was definitely easygoing and has opened up the rest uh, opened up the most of to me. Aside from Chiron, he's the only other person who told me about his vision. It clearly made a difference in how much we were able to bond. It's almost like the wall that needs to be broken before we can move forward. I start to wonder if Isaac's vision was Dante's too. As far as Clay's goes, I can only imagine um, that his is extremely concerning. But they were they still remained a mystery to me, all three of them. I knew Isaac was positive and that it had to do with our current situation. Place was bad enough that a business card, vision protection program. But Dante, I don't think he said a single thing about his. Is he taking stories from the future like Clace did with his music? All I can do is think back to that day when we made a pact against fate. They weren't in touch with any of their visions anymore, not even after not even as an afterthought. Even in the certainty of their own visions, there's still so much uncertainty. Hopefully I can get them to open up and share a little more. Whoa! Oh, shit. I stopped dead in my tracks. It's them again. It can't be. It, it, it's actually impossible. Yet I'm seeing it with my own two eyes. They stand there, giving me that smirk again. This isn't real. This, this, this can't be real. I shake my head, but they're still there. A moment later, they they hold up their hand. It's not an apple this time. It's Clay's diary. Nobody else in the room seems to be aware of their presence. 
Why are they doing this to me? I need to know. They taunt me with symbols of my guilt, my regret. A testament to every act of folly since I arrived. I start to rush towards them, maintaining eye contact. They need to tell me why. I need to. I bump into Dante and stumble back. Whoa, just who I was looking for. Having a good time so far, Delta? Dante, it's that agent again. Oh, whoa. Oh. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. Glad to hear it. Want another drink? I can barely taste the booze in these things. I can tell he's already drunk, at least a little. But I choose to take, up, take him up on his offer and have another. We are already halfway there to the fourth and final midnight. Uh, you think Australian accents are hot? I don't know where, why, but I guess depending. I don't think all Australian accents are hot. I think it depends on the person and how they use it. Like, I, I've always been kind of like in that sense that, um, I've always been in the kind of sense that like the accent itself isn't necessarily hot, it's the speaker. And so like anybody can make like an accent seem pretty hot depending on how they use it. You know, it's almost our time to hang out. I've been looking forward to this night for a while now. <laughs> Ever since Taylor suggested the whole quantum leap thing. Yeah, also, hey, uh, there's something seriously wrong with me. I'm seeing weird shit all over the place, but quantum leap thing. I'm a sucker for big moments, though. And like I say, New Year's Eve is one of the best. Super glad we got to Dundee together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that could work. He's pretty good at it. I smile, yet feel nothing but fright on the inside. That's not even what I wanted to say to him. But the agent just vanished like a figment of my imagination. It's impossible. I know I wasn't hallucinating. It was real. It had to be. Somehow, they're messing with my head. Making me see things, feel things, do things. Or perhaps I'm just saying that to absolve myself of some guilt. You okay, Delta? It looks like you zoned out there. I am having a weird evening, Dante. Although, uh, the whole Taylor thing was pretty good, but that's something else. I shake my head and tell him everything is fine. Want to take your drink and go someplace quiet? Maybe my room? Yeah, we should probably no, like avoid my now. room. It's a little bit messy at this point, so I nod. Just don't try and get me to spill any plot secrets. <laughs> After a few drinks, who knows what I'll say? Okay. I'll accept that. Oh, my phone's going off. I don't know who this is. I'm going to leave it alone. Uh, it's been silent. Uh, it's been silent for a lot of stuff in my life lately. Maybe that's it. I've been bottling everything up inside. Let's just hope sometime soon I can let it all out. That was weird. I don't know what just happened or why that just happened, but oh my goodness. We enter his room and he immediately turns off his monitor. Ooh, can't be letting anyone see my writing. Not by choice, of course. I just I just don't want to get sued. Okay, I don't think I'm going to sue you. We both take a sip of our drink. Honestly, I'm almost done with all the booze. It was a good party for the first couple of weeks, though. In fact, part of me hopes we go through all the booze that Clay spot. This party's pretty loud, and I can tell everybody has had a few. So, I actually wanted to give you something. I meant to do this earlier, but I saved it for tonight. Okay, I like where this is going. Delta. What? Uh, he says my name in a stern fashion, but he's clearly joking. Hey, first of all, it's not Delta, it's Nason, so just get it right. You sure know how to add to the moment. Just a sec. I hope you don't find this gift too sappy. Okay, I don't mind sappy. I know you've never really read my work, so I wanted to give you something special. Oh, that's nice. I appreciate it. He walks over to bookshop and takes something out. Here. Here, oh. That's cute. After he hands it over, I inspect it. It's an autographed copy of one of his novels. Well, I, I hope it's not weird that I consider my own work a gift, but... This is a first edition copy. There aren't many out there. Well, that's sweet. That's very sweet. It was part sweet. of a test run to see if the book could sell. After it did well, they printed way more. Oh, good. Well, that's nice. It's called Forlorn. 
I remember Clay's mentioning he had a first edition copy as well. It's also the one with the character that reminded me of you. The one that died. Remember? The one that the one that died. I remember you mentioning that. He thinks, uh, I think he means the character that dies. Yeah, that's the one. I'm always a bit hesitant to give away my own books. A lot of people think I'm just full of myself or something. You might be a little bit. But, but I that's consider okay. my work an extension of myself. Like I always say, the purest form of self-expression. Okay. So I accept to that. me, it's like giving a piece of myself away. God, imagine doing that then getting shut down. That would suck. It happens more than you'd think. <laughs> That's why I'm so selective about it. Well, I'm gonna go. No, I'm <laughs> I was pretty sure it wouldn't fall flat on you, though, so... Oh, the night is my young, mind, my friend. You're the one of the good young. ones. I am one of the good ones. I'll accept that. That's really flattering, and I understand his intent. I really don't think of him... Uh, I don't think of him as self-serving gesture. I hope you'll read it. Of course I'll read it. I'll read it alone. Glad to hear it. Make sure to tell me what you think. I will. Right now. He smiles at me and rubs the back of his head. Everything going on lately has got me thinking a lot. With how uncertain tomorrow is, I need to seize every moment. Do it. Do it. Do it, baby. Especially if I want my vision to come to pass. Are you going to tell me about it? He sits down on the edge of his bed and taps the spot beside him. I guess he doesn't consider me a stranger anymore. That's nice. I join him, placing my drink on the nightstand behind him. I know how I told you about reconnecting with my family. Well, to be honest, it was more than just wishful thinking. How so? It's not that I want to do it. It's more like I know I'll do it regardless. Okay, well, I hope you do. So why get in the way of progress, right? He takes a sip of his drink. We're all at the dinner table. Happy. Laughing. Not a care in the world. What are we talking about? I have a brother, too. <laughs> that one was a shock to me. But that's all there is to it. One big, happy family. Talk about a boring vision, huh? Oh, his vision was his family? Oh. Well, that's not that boring. Doesn't sound boring to me. A guarantee of reconciliation is a big deal. I guess so. I didn't really think about reconnecting with them until until recently. I guess seeing them almost every day was enough. I don't even know if this makes any sense, but even after I ran away from home, they still kept me company. I guess that's true with the uh, vision thing. Knowing that the vision would happen again, it got me through some rough nights. Well, that's that's good. I'm, I mean, I guess it was kind of a positive vision. Especially in that way. since we were happy in it. A far cry from how I left things when I ran away. Wow, these things are all becoming real bummer sessions. I'll tell you what, another set. That and there's no place more lonely than a library. Trust me, <laughs> I wouldn't wish that fate on my worst enemy. What about Taylor? He actually is a pretty interesting guy. He grew up in a library and used it to hone his skill as a writer. Abandoning his family, he uh, he knew he'd reconnect with through his vision. I have that vision to thank for my independence, too. Okay. Sometimes when you run away, you never know what'll happen. You don't, but <laughs> I guess I was graced bad. with the knowledge that it'd only be temporary. Oh, okay. That made it a lot easier to pull the trigger. Guess part of me knew we'd be happy again in the future. But then. Okay, I mean, I guess that makes sense to a certain but degree. But it's been a long time since then. They haven't reached out, so I think it's my turn. I mean, sometimes you have to be the one to make that step. I think that makes sense. I wonder if they read my novels, you know? <laughs> or for that matter, what my brother's name is. Steven. I'm going to go with Steven. Oh, no, I'm just rambling, though. <laughs> I didn't Aww. bring you here to put you to sleep. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I'm going for it. Wait, what? Yeah. You know, baby. I mean, thanks, Delta. I, 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 it's so easy to judge people after they vent. I'm just... I'm just glad that it didn't sour your perception of me. Ah, don't worry about it. I get it. You've had a rough life, and sometimes you gotta let it out. It's fine. He stands up from the bed. You hear that? I don't. I hear nothing. Oh, I can hear the party goers counting down in the backyard. 
It's like third mind that midnight was finally here. I stand up for the bed and turn to face Dante. Her eyes lock and I feel the motion coursing through me. Everything he told me, I can see it in his eyes. The pain, the loneliness, but the hope too. Part of me wonders what he sees in mine. Three, two, one. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Delta. Happy New Year. We hug each other, securing a tight embrace. It lasts for a while, but it doesn't feel awkward in any way. I realize this is the first time we've been this close. When the hug ends, he steps back and looks into my eyes. You know, I've honestly just been stalling since I'm nervous. Okay. Well, you know how I said that book was like a, like a, like a part of myself? Mm -hmm. There's a reason I wanted you to have it. After you read it, you'll know me so much better. Okay, that's a interesting way. That's a good way to go about it, I guess. Even if you don't realize it, you still will. <laughs> Each word is my heart poured onto that page. Wow, you make it sound very romantic. I like it. And I wanted you to have it. Oh, oh. He rubs the back of his head clearly. Nervous. So, since you'll be getting to know me better, I was wondering if I could have the honor of doing the same. Sure. I'm down. <laughs> Not to myself. I mean, wow, I am ruining the moment. Whoa, I, I, I this is a new one. Cool I've never seen this one before, but I like spend it. more time together. We can spend all the time you want. I love this face. That's cute. That's adorable. Especially after all this Argus nonsense comes to an end. I, I, I know you're already dating within the group, but that won't be an issue. Fine. We're all dating at the same time. It's good. A date, it would be my honor. Wow. Talk about a happy new year. Thanks, Delta. This is going to be my best one yet. Yay. I'm so glad I could help. I really just wish you guys would learn my name. He places his hand on mine and brings it to his lips. Kissing the top softly, he releases his grip and smiles. I can think of a few cool places to go, but right now, we've got a party to get to. Don't want to miss that fourth and final midnight. You got it. We leave the room, hopeful to get a great end to a quantum leap. Isaac would be spending the fourth midnight with me, and I'm kind of nervous. Whatever surprise he had planned, he sure uh, is tight-lipped about it. Well, okay, so I'm wondering, here's what I'm wondering. Um, is it because I was hesitant with these guys in previous? I'm curious if, like, if I had gone back and, like, flirted with all of them from the start, would it have been more serious at this party? And I guess I don't know that, but it could be. Uh, me and Dante, this means that the Isaac one's not going to turn into anything because I think I flirted with Taylor at every possible opportunity, and maybe that's why it went more serious. But uh, I don't know. Uh, we return to the kitchen, seeing Taylor, Isaac, Clay, and Chiron. Oh, that's the wrong mouse. They're all standing by the exit in the backyard, engaged in conversation. I can tell they've been debating something. It's a friendly argument. There's no way you can pull that off. At least not without raising suspicion. Yeah, I'm with Taylor on that one. Hey, I think Isaac can do anything he puts his mind to. It seems like nothing compared to getting me in the system. Maybe. Maybe. Dante! Delta! Come over here real quick. Gotta show you my latest innovation. Okay. Oh, you gotta stop innovating, Isaac. Especially when Argus could be watching us. Oh, we're fine. Give me your phone for a sec. No, don't do it. Don't do it. No. No. Dante. Dante. Do as you're told. All right. Fine. He's gone for it. Dante hands Isaac his phone. He holds it up to the scanner, the back uh, backyard door, and you hear a standard chime. Enjoy your trip, Dante. You may leave the house 5,126 more times today. <laughs> you got it good there, Remember, buddy. a good score makes a good citizen. You're messing with everything. I've been saving up. Yeah, because I do all the shopping. <laughs> and we love you for it. Oh, Dante really never goes anywhere. Is that how that goes? Uh... Isaac holds our hands, Dante, back his phone. It's also why I wanted to use you as an example. I knew you'd have enough excursion credits to spare. Are you taking some Fair of them? Fair enough. That didn't prove anything, Isaac. What did you do? I'm getting there. I'm, I'm getting, getting there. there. What did you do? What are you doing? 
He faces me and Dante and starts to explain. I've always hated the whole credit system. So, I made a mod that lets you leave without spending any. Okay, now I'm with Taylor. There's no way you could pull that off. Uh, I could see it. I'm a prodigy, remember? Okay. No shame there, I guess. You gotta stop saying that. You really do. It's kind of cringy. Humility is a pretty good trait to have. A little bit. Well, let me prove it then. Okay, I'll accept this, but... I don't know about this. He then holds the phone up against the scanner. The door unlocks and opens with no message at all. Why should I have to use a credit to go into my own backyard? It was a they stupid make you, rule anyway. Really? The backyard does that? That's insane. Easier. Really, though? Alright, I don't like that. If the backyard causes one, that's insane. Is this the surprise you wanted to show us? Is it? Maybe. Maybe not. I'm gonna go with no, if you just said that. He smirks at us, dodging the question on purpose. So, does it only work on this door, or...? Theoretically, I could tune it to any lock. Kind of like how I could put an identity on any phone. So you could unlock any door? You could unlock any door? That's a thing. If I wanted to, I guess. But I never use this stuff for evil. I find flaws in the system like this all the time. Just little things that people could take advantage of. And what do you do with them? Usually report them to Argus. Can't patch a hole if you don't see it, after all. Okay, that's fair. Oh, I should be in the middle. Hold on. Yoink. And are you going to report this one? Are you? It's a mystery. Mm, that's a no. You know, when you say it like that, then pretty much everybody knows what your answer is going to be. Besides, Argus actually has a team of hackers. People who break the system all the time, then fix it. So you're saying you're better than Argus's hacking team? Are you? I don't know. Humility is an important trait to have. Remember? That is the opposite of that, by the way. <laughs> Should we uh, go outside then? Maybe. Yeah, I could use some fresh air. Let's do it. Oh, it's almost fourth of midnight, too. Got about 30 more minutes. Ready to share your resolutions? No, oh, really, good. but I'll manage. Oh, we're doing this now. Okay, it's resolution time. We're going to share our resolutions. This is going longer than I thought. I'm guessing there is going to be an, another section beyond this, so I might have to hold off. And do another stream on um next week with this game. We stand together backyard, each sipping our next drink. We have had so many drinks tonight. Probably. I didn't really time to think about what my resolution would be. Honestly, I just wish that everything ended up ha having a happy ending. That might be good enough. Play my part in making sure everything goes well. Has a nice ring to it. Puts my mind at ease. It's odd how my mind feels... Uh, I'm more my or it's odd how my mind feels more at ease when I show resolve or at least a dedication to a cause we currently fight towards maybe I should keep going with the flow like I said it's not like a river just change directions the stream always leads to one place in particular just follow the path forward to the January 5th because I start to show doubt and fear or hesitation Whoa, whoa, hey, there was a computer in the background, so this time I saw it, there was a computer in the background, so there's something weird going on here. No, everything will be fine. Well, who wants to go first? Uh, I have a pretty good one, actually. Okay, let's hear it. Go for it. Go for I it. I want to change up my formula, do new stuff. I'm not losing viewers, but it's always the same content. Maybe some more guests or more stuff out in the city. All right, that's a fair goal. Perfect. Change. The heart of any good resolution. Mine's actually about change too, but uh, not for myself. All right, let's hear it. How is that a resolution then? It's supposed to be a personal goal. Well, let him have his fun. I don't know. Well, it's more like a change that I cause. I want to keep contributing to the world in a positive way. It's a bit abstract, but I know I can pull it off. All right, that's a noble goal, I guess. I'll accept it. I accept it, too. It's a noble yeah, goal. That's a pretty good one. I believe in you, Isaac. I know you can do it. Yay. 
Thanks. Thanks. Big Who thank you. Who wants to go next? Uh, I want to see everything the city has to offer. Fill every day with a brand new experience. That's a good one. I like it, Chiron. Well done, and buddy. I'm open to suggestions. Perhaps even partners, too. No fun in going it alone. No fun at all. Ooh, loving these so far. Perfect. Who's next? Delta? Clace? Hmm. All right, Clace. I want to try and visit all of you. After this hiatus, I'm going to be really busy, but I'd feel awful if we never hung out again. True. Also, I need to read your diary more, so if you don't show up ever again, how am I ever going to do that? So, I think that's my resolution. To keep in touch and come visit. Might make work less stressful, too. <laughs> okay, perfect. We'd be happy to have you back. We would. All the time. If we can pull all these off, the new year will be amazing. Amazeballs! And I'm glad we get to ring it all in together. But I think that leaves one more person. I vow to stop seeing weird shit. That's my goal. Right. Delta, what will you accomplish? I don't know. When he puts it like that, I have no idea what to say. I stopped to think about it for a moment. Let's see. It's 2041 already. I already gave my life a new start. So right now, 2042 seems like a blank slate. Just what will I etch into that slate? Nope. I want to get closer to each and every one of you. I want to do my best to ensure happy ending for us all. If Hermes wins, I want zeros. I want to help the zeros and show them the city. I want to feel less scared about... Less scared to say what I feel and do what I want. That's pretty selfish. Um... This one seems like the most interesting. This one's the nicest. This one's pretty good. I... I... go with that one. Well then, we've got off to a pretty good start. Giving everyone a warm welcome like Chiron sounds good to me. I'm down. I think Delta would be the first in a long line of people. If Hermes wins, I see a lot of charity going around. Probably. Good. I think that's just what we need. To help Fun each other fact. out instead of seeing Lemurs divided. are what you get when you take a raccoon and take all of their best qualities away. It ain't pretty. Theo, don't be so mean, buddy. He smiles. Well, that makes all of us. Do you do this every year or something? Nope. This is our first quantum leap. And the first time we've shared our resolutions. Good. Well, I'm glad we could all be part of this special moment together. Do you want to make it a thing? We could make it a thing. Yeah. Let's make it a thing. Let's make it a thing. I'm with you both. We're we all thinking it. 20 minutes left. Kind of wish we did more than four midnights. Already? Already? I actually want to chat with Delta for a bit. Uh, how about we all regroup here for midnight? I can even show you the surprise I talked about. Well, isn't this supposed to be our midnight? Works for me. Works for me. But first... A toast. A toast. Or some toast. We probably should put something in our bellies with all these drinks we're having. Taylor holds up his drink. To what? To what? We look at each other and unsure. Wait. I got the perfect one. Ah, beautiful. We hold up our drinks. Here's to getting wasted with the people that matter. Perfect. What? I love it. That's, That's a, good, a one. good one. And it'll never get old. Well, we will at some point, and then the wasted part becomes more of a problem, but I hear what you're saying. We all sip our drinks in unison. Come on, Delta. Let's go. We're losing precious minutes here. We're losing so many minutes. Every minute possible. I nod and start to follow Isaac. It looked like the big moment was here. Where are we going? Oh, it got I, these like really crash fourth midnight. Isaac, heart to heart three. I'm not sure what to expect from this because the last like the only one that really went like full on was Taylor. And I think he's the only one that I've been like super flirty with the whole time. Isaac takes me to his room and lets out a deep sigh. Fourth midnight, huh? I'm sure I have some tough acts to follow. Ooh, I saved the best for last on purpose. Me? Aww. The best? How much have you had to drink? Quite a bit, but don't take that personally. 
He laughs, then looks at it down at his jacket. I, I need to clean up a bit before the big moment. Someone bumped into me and made a bit of a mess. Just take it off. That's fine. You can just take it right off. Just take it, take it off. Don't worry about it. Just throw it in the laundry. There's nothing wrong. You've nothing to be ashamed of. He takes off his leather jacket, and I'm actually kind of shocked. I've never seen him do that before, and I've ever been here for a couple of weeks. I guess people get a bit Ooh. sloppy on New Year's Eve, though. Wow. But okay. Do you, uh... Party, so... Goddamn. With the Isaac. Jesus. Uh... Have you been working out a little bit, buddy? He rests his... Uh, he rests... He rests it flat on the bed and starts to clean off a small stain. The jacket was definitely important to him, wasn't it? He had to put the party on pause to clean it up. It was a bit baggy, so I didn't know what he looked like underneath. I gotta say, though, I didn't expect he'd look quite so strong. His arm flexes as he scrubs off the jacket. There we go. Much better. Ah. Uh... Well, then, consider yourself lucky. I don't really like to take this off in front of people. Why? You look great, by the way. Did I tell you that this belonged to my dad? Or did I just say it was something special? Oh, wow. Uh, I gotta back up quite a bit then. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, like Jesus. I said, it used to belong to my dad. Okay. He worked for Argus and was pretty high up there, too. Oh. So I... Grew up around the well, that kind of that kind of all sorts of technology. makes sense to some degree. So I can I kind of understand what he's talking about. It was second nature to me by the time I had my vision. I almost knew more about the tech than how to communicate. Wow. I'd always be tinkering with one thing or another. It, it got so bad that he had to install additional security to stop me. Well, that seems like you were a problem child from the start. But like you could probably guess. I cracked that, too. There wasn't anything I couldn't figure out. That's kind of suspicious. I hope that makes you understand me a bit better. A little bit. Dante grew up in a library and became a writer. I grew up around Argus Tech, and here I am now. Okay. Everyone teases me, though, and downplays my ability. It's kind of annoying, if I'm perfectly honest. Okay, I'm going to keep with this skill set. Glad to know I'm not the only one who thinks so. You usually only criticize others so you can feel high and mighty. True. Anyway, we're getting a bit off track. Obviously, you know, my dad's not around anymore. I gathered. I did gather that. Yeah, I kind of figured. Maybe things make a bit more sense now. Why I'm so good with Argus Tech and why I wear this jacket. It does, but you you really, you should take it off every once in a while because it, it's not a bad sight. Just saying, you, you look pretty good without it. They even let me wear it at work, which you've probably noticed. Most people are cool with it, but a lot of them claim favoritism. Not everybody is the son of an artist. Wait, a legend? legend? After. Something like that, yeah. He pioneered the drone technology that I specialize in. Hence the whole following in his footsteps thing. Oh, but then how did you end up in the situation you were in? So maybe his money thing, like why he is doing so well is because of that. He smiles and tugs at the collar of his jacket. But I gotta say, he looked way cooler in this than I do. No, right? Uh, but enough of that. I didn't mean to get off track. It's wild how cleaning my jacket brought back all those memories. But I guess that's the power of a sentimental object, eh? Yeah, it can sometimes be that way. I nod. There is a real reason why I brought uh -oh. you here, though. Part of that reason is... You're just the one I trust the most. Well, I didn't go into your room before. And a lot is going on right now. So you might get caught up in things beyond your control. That's true. More than you already have, of course. I just wanted to make sure that you're doing all right. Oh, I didn't mean to make you worry. I was actually trying to do the opposite. He is, a, he is an awkward streak, but that's okay. Just wanted to remind you that you're safe at my side. So, no matter what happens or what you learn, I'm here for you. Okay, I'm here for you too, Isaac. No matter what I learn, that's a weird thing to say. That is a weird thing to say. But I guess it makes sense now that he's opening up to me. I know more about him than I ever did before, and I'm sure there's lots left. I'm tempted to ask about the drones in those briefcases. However, I decided to remain silent. I don't want to know what I saw. 
And if I trust him, then their purpose should become clear with time. Thanks, Isaac. I'm here for you too. Of course. Glad to know it's mutual. I'm really happy that you moved in with me. It's definitely made all of this a little easier. Alrighty. We should probably get back outside, though. But I just had one more question to ask. No, you can ask away, whatever you want. Quick. Okay. He blushes as he speaks. I know we already talked about this, but it's been a while. A lot has happened since then, uh -huh. so I was just wondering. Spit it out. Just bring it, bring it on. Did you ever give it any further thought? If you were interested in me, I mean? Back when we first talked about it, you said it was too soon to tell. But like I said, a lot has happened since then, right? Uh-huh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I must sound so stupid. Well, no, kinda, but no. If I ask now and you say no, I can leave it behind. Okay. Basically, I want to start the new year with no regrets. Listen, Isaac. It's a special night, though. All about new beginnings. So You're right. A lot has changed. I wonder if you thought about a new beginning. Yes. With me. I'm down. I mean, I've already slept with Taylor, apparently. So, just so you know. Oh, perfect. Oh, I'm so happy, Delta. You, oh. you have no idea. Oh. Just wait until you see the surprise I've cooked up. I'm still a little worried about that, but okay. He smiles and tilts his head towards the door. As I take it as a sign, it's time to head back outside. Ready to get this show on the road? I guess, but I nod. It was finally time. The fourth and final midnight. An end to 2041. Well, I don't know what that, that all means, but... Ooh, okay. Um, so I guess I'm dating at least four people now. I guess I'm not sure. Might be dating four people. You know, that's fine. <laughs> we make our way back outside as the group is waiting for us. Almost immediately, we gather together and start chatting. Ah, oh, you two lovebirds have fun. Not as much fun as we did. Absolutely. Not as much fun as we did, I apparently. So just as you, you know, fairly obviously. Wait, what? Had to uh, end the year on a pretty high note, you know? Taylor smirks. Anyway, I wanted to do something special for the finale. We didn't Especially do anything, though. That was a lie. Is actually our midnight. I uh, had to pull some strings, but I think you'll enjoy this. It's something that only I could have done. Wow. Okay, you're getting a little full of yourself say that, there. I'm filled with anxiety. Oh boy, here we go. You gotta start giving me some more credit. Well, he doesn't have to, but he should. Isaac nudges me with his shoulder. Delta, quick. Red or green? Pick your favorite. Uh, uh huh? I uh, thought it was a pretty simple question. I, okay. Uh, of course. Oh, of course. Uh, 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 green. I like green Roger. more. Roger. Roger, Roger. He smiles and takes out his phone. Without saying anything, he just starts tapping away. Well, what's the surprise? Here it comes. Gotta say, I don't like the suspense. It's getting kind of crazy in here. Hold on, hold on. I'm working on it. He continues to using his phone for about another minute. All right, everybody. Close your eyes. I can't. That would be weird. That isn't going to help with the suspense part. Well, yeah, no, not really. Please trust me. I worked on this for a week straight. That's fair. Just trust him, guys. Wow. Such dedication. Perfect dedication. Let's see what it is. I'm so suspenseful. I should move out of the way because it's probably going to be right behind me. We all do as we're told and close our eyes. I had no idea what to expect, but the anticipation rises. Isaac certainly had to live up to some high expectations. Just another minute. Okay, I'm counting down. I'm counting down. I start to hear noises buzzing and mechanical whirling. I recognize that noise anywhere. It's the sound of Argus drones. Part of me knew the surprise would involve them, but I couldn't tell the others. I feel like Isaac would hate me if he knew I went to his workshop. But it was a genuine mistake. I have to stop beating myself over this. All stuff. right, open up. When I open my eyes, I'm greeted to a beautiful sight. The drones fly in the sky above the house with dazzling lights. They dance and sway in different formations, almost hypnotic. Isaac must have programmed this light show just for us. Well, what do you think? 
That's so cool. That is pretty cool, but it's also probably highly illegal. How do you pull this off? With programming. It's, uh, you know, numbers and letters and such. Eh, like I said, I had to pull some strings. But Argus ended up giving me the approval. They did? That's interesting. We stand there watching the light show in awe. Isaac steps aside and returns to a six-pack of drinks. One more for the end of the year? I guess, but we're probably all going to pass out Sure, now. I'm down. Sure, I'm down. We all take a can and crack it open. The drones are such a mystifying sight, I can't take my eyes off of them. And not only that, but there's truly a testament to Isaac's mastery of the tech. Here, check this out. Check it out, baby. He presses the button on his phone, and six drones uh, fly above the rest. He looks straight up, watching them against the backdrop of the twilight. Um, the, the stars slowly coming out, and lights of drones blend right in. But soon after, the lights change color. They continue to uh, it, their intricate movements, almost forming a rainbow. Blue for Isaac, pink for Clays, purple for Dante, orange for Taylor, white for Chiron, and green for me. That's why he wanted to know. What a way to end the year. A constellation of our own. Just That's like pretty you cute. Said. Right, Dante? That's pretty cute. It's pretty cute. I'll admit it. It's cute. I could go without the implication that we're all dead. Hey, we all gotta go sometime. Imagine the adventures we'll get up to as we sail those stars. Thanks, Isaac. That is cute. It means a lot that you'd embrace our ways like this. Not everybody shares our views on the night sky. Well, that was nice. That's a very nice touch. I think it's a very nice touch. A lot better than being six feet under, if you ask me. Fair. Yeah. Totally. We all sip our drinks as the light show continues. Ready for the finale? Sure. That wasn't it? That wasn't it. Isaac simply smirks and taps his phone once more. The drones move into a large square formation, and their lights turn off. Wait. It's almost midnight. Party goes start to count down. Certain drones light up, using their lights to form a countdown timer. It's almost as if the sky itself was ringing the New Year's with us. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Five. Four. Four. Three. Three. Two. Two. One. one. Happy New Year. Everyone shouts it together and holds up their drinks. Isaac hits the button on his phone and the drones softly land. Hey, Delta. Come here. Okay, I will do so. Isaac smiles and holds out his hand. I place mine in his and he looks up at the drones. In his other hand, he's still operating his phone. He presses a few more buttons on it and takes me to the center of the yard. This part is special. Just for us. Wow, you were banking on this. Weren't you on that last call? Okay, here we go. He blushes and several of the drones return to the sky, starting to shift around. Then... They form a large heart in the sky before bringing themselves lower. Then the lights slowly shift to the most beautiful red. As weird as the last couple weeks have been, they've definitely been the best of my life. Oh. He puts his phone away and holds out his other hand. I hold them both tightly as we gaze into each other's eyes. I feel like my whole life led up to the moment we first met. Oh. Not online. Oh, wow. But the first time I saw you at the airport. Wow. It felt like time stood still. I, I couldn't get over how pretty you were. Oh. It's frozen in my mind. Oh. As if that was the moment my life began. Whoa, okay. Wow. There's a lot. There's a lot right here. Almost in unison, both of our eyes met to water. Or start I to wish water. That was my vision, so I could relive it every day. Oh. That one perfect moment where everything felt right. Oh. No uncertainty, no fright. Just us. Wow. Okay. There's a lot. There's a lot right here. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me, Delta. What? I'm so glad that you feel the same way. Oh. It makes me feel okay. whole. First of all, the name's... I don't want to make this awkward, but the name is Nizen. But I feel you. I feel you, man. Maybe for the first time in my life. Okay. He sniffles. No matter what I do, our bond will always be my greatest achievement. Oh. All I can hope for 
is that one this day is, this is really I'll make you just as happy. Oh man, okay, here well, we go. Then, then I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad to hear it. Oh wow, okay. He slowly leans in for a kiss, and I do the same. Our lips lock together for the first time, under the crimson light of the drones. One of his hands raises up and slowly strokes the side of my face. We stay like this for a while until he finally pulls back. Thanks, Delta. Let's make this the best year of our lives. Okay, let's try not to get arrested, though. He smiles as we head back towards our friends holding hands. Wow, and I'm the one who writes romance. I mean, he did a pretty good job there. I'm going to give it to him. Isaac really went all out there. God damn. <laughs> Shut up, Dante. You're ruining the moment. You definitely are. <laughs> I think I almost started to cry. I don't think you're capable of it. That really made me happy, seeing the both of you so close. Me too. Ah, it's nothing. I just spoke from the heart. Yeah, actually he really did. That was really well written. It always knows what to say. It was very well written. I'm going to give it that. That was very well written. I can only hope someday. <laughs> someday. Uh, we all exchange glances and smile at one another. The year was over, and we hung on to the precipice of a new beginning. It was a moment where anything seemed possible, as long as we stuck together. As if, as if to ruin our perfect memory, though, we hear a collective gasp of shock. Everyone rushes to the TV in the backyard, and the chatter is overwhelming. But soon, the chatter starts to dissipate. And we hear people crying. Wait, what's going on? I don't know. Let's go look. We all make our way to the TV, taking slow, cautious strides. It's almost like we knew it was bad, and we just wanted to delay the inevitable. Given what we know, I think we could all tell what was really going on. People don't budge. We slide our way between them. Inch by inch, we make our way to the front of the sobbing crowd. On the TV appears to be a helicopter footage of Town Square. Oh, no. What happened? The camera makes a quick zoom to the center of the square. My heart stinks to my, sinks to my stomach as I see the bodies on the ground. There lay lifeless as people watch in shock and horror. Not just zeros, but people from the city. Now they care. The cameras zoom in more and I stumble back, needing to collect myself. Those were the parents of the child I kept seeing. I'd recognize them anywhere. Sure enough, the child breaks from the crowd and runs towards their parent. Seeing a bunch of food, they trip, causing stuff to fly every, every each way. Through teary eyes, they grab a couple of apples off the ground. Closing the distance between them and their parents, they kneel down. They bawl as they try to feed the apples to the bodies of their parents. But obviously, they don't respond. The child is carried away, kicking and screaming in confusion and sadness. A moment later, the flashing blue and yellow lights of the authorities arrive. Police cars show up, even a couple of ambulances. This would go down as the history, as the first inter or interaction with the Zeros. Like many points in history, death changed everything in a nearly instant. The view of those bodies on the ground will be forever etched into my mind. They were holding hands, and now lay dead, surrounded by scraps of food. I think on some level we all know this was going to happen. The police start to close off access to Town Square. They unroll two-toned blue and yellow security tape around the perimeter. Everyone stands back while the Zeros, fellow Zeros, or while fellow Zeros embrace and console the child. The sobbing shock of party goers around her seemed to fade, but now. We've all processed what we saw, and it became a reality. Me and my friends stand there, now fully convinced of one simple fact. This was the fate of those who oppose Argus. It was made simple for those, for the whole world to see. But the group gives each a somber, almost knowing glances. We didn't want things to go south like this, but now that they have, we could very well meet the same face, fate, dead, on the streets, simply fighting for what we believed in. An inevitable thing when you place your trust in tyrants. Oh, shit. Um. Uh. Well.
well, two hours after um, the Midnight Deaths. Well, uh, not sure what happened just now, but everyone left as the news broke. Uh, things went bad. Well, everyone except our core group. I lay on the ground, staring up at the stars. Lace and Kyron and Taylor are fast asleep. Also on the ground. Isaac and Dante are awake, sitting on the nearby couch. From where I'm laying, I can hear Isaac to my left and Dante to my right. I can't even begin to imagine what's going through their minds. In fact, I can barely even grasp on what's going on through mine. Staying focused on the stars, I try to do my best to enjoy the moment. In order to do that, I repeat one simple fact to myself. There's nothing we could do about this right now. Our lives were on pause until sunrise. Might as well enjoy the view. Been drinking a lot lately, huh? What else is there to do? Fair enough. Let's, uh, take it easy in the new year, though. Like I said, we're just living up Delta's arrival. Right. The high can't last forever. No, it can't. Feeling a pretty solid low right now. Oof. Not too low, I hope. <sighs> Jerry's still out. What do you think's gonna happen? I don't know, man. I don't have a single clue. All I know is that we can't give up. No, you can't. Why not? It looks like we might have already lost. Knowing when to quit can be a virtue, right? Not to fight a battle you know you're gonna lose? Not really. Surrender is worse than defeat, because it comes with the loss of hope. Aren't you the one who wrote that? Good point. <laughs> Didn't know you read my work. Uh, I'm kinda your biggest fan. You've never really said so before. <laughs> I didn't think I had to. Why else would I let you live here so cheap? And why else would I do all the grocery shopping? Well, that's, that's one way to show it, I guess. I just know how important the process is. Didn't want to be a guy who got in the way. I... I appreciate all the help, Isaac. What was that? It's just really hard sometimes, you know? I felt like I saw something flash up here. I believe it. The burden of expectation to surpass my previous work. The, the burden of not knowing if it'll all pay off. Sounds like you shouldn't give up hope either, then. It's just in style these days. Besides, I find that despair can be a lot stronger than hope. It's in our darkest hours that we find the strength to push forward. Are you putting that one in your next book? Way ahead of you. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting message to send the people. Telling them that it's okay to give up. I'd say that's what makes us people. Hope is a pretty fickle thing, you know? That's fair. So hard to find, yet so easy to lose. Why bet everything you've got on something so fragile? Well, it's better than the alternative. What's the alternative? I don't know. And that's the scary part. I'm not even capable of considering failure an option. I think that's what I'd call hope. I don't know about that. I'd just call that stubborn. Yeah, that's more what I would call it. <laughs> you can't change the world if you aren't a little stubborn. Maybe true, but... They both laugh, but then a serious atmosphere returns. I slowly but surely drift into slumber as they continue talking. Do you think I'm a good person, Dante? I think you're trying. I think you're trying. Of course. I keep telling myself that. I'm just... I think he's trying. And I think that's important. One day. Hey. I believe it. Okay. Thanks. I'm just scared. I really thought Argus would do something. They kind of did, though, didn't they? Inaction can say far more than we give it credit for. Besides, we saw everyone gathering in the town square. It looks like those deaths are really waking people up. I guess they were all just 
living life like me, just assuming Argus would do what's best. But why would they? I guess that's the question I was always wondering with these guys, is why would they do that? I'm pretty sure they just signed their own death warrant. People are feeding the Zeros now, in, in droves, too. All we have to do is hold out until Hermes Day. We're still going to that convention, right? Yeah, if we're not in jail, I guess that's probably true. Yeah, I uh, have a room for us, too. Something tells me our homes aren't safe anymore. Staying in public at a con is a pretty good idea. Blending into a crowd is really our only option right now. Fair. Same deal as the plane, then? If any of you need private time, we can wait outside the room. Are we staying in the room for, like, the entire time? Hmm, works for me. <sighs> I'm pretty sure we can do this. If Cypher wins, then there will be tons of zeros in the system. We won't be the only targets anymore. Not by a long shot. Yeah. There'd probably be too many targets to take care of. I think that's what Cypher is trying to do. A lot harder to fend off a storm than a single raindrop. Good metaphor, man. I would have gone for a bursting dam, personally. <laughs> really? I mean, it's not bad. Yeah, a lot more dramatic. Okay, fair. I'll take your word for it. A small silence. You know... I don't. I think you're the smartest guy I've ever met. I'm right here, by the way. I don't... Okay. Really? Yeah. I feel, uh... A lot more relaxed now. You're probably the only person who could have done that. Oh, well, they say I have a way with words. I wonder why. It's not just that. It's your conviction, too. You work so hard despite the burdens around you. Well, yeah. Been doing it since I was a kid. That's probably true. I mean, everyone, every one of these guys has had, like, a little bit of a thing going on. They all got a little what chip on their shoulder, which is not a bad thing. Well... It wasn't exactly my choice to live in that library. I would have preferred having a normal family life. True. <laughs> Me too, man. Guess it's not just Delta, then. All of us have had to start our lives anew. Yeah, just at different times. Yeah, sometimes that's the, the lean that streams. No, Theo. More like the lean no. that sucks. Oh my Am God. I right? You have the worst <laughs> timing. <laughs> the worst timing. Shush. Shush. Just shush. Well. Well. Hmm? Have you, uh, ever thought about giving up? Oof. You mean... Yeah. Once or twice? That library got pretty lonely. Oof. What about you? Yeah. I'm not proud of it, though. Yeah. No need to be ashamed, Isaac. Besides, pride is too powerful to waste on yourself. It's meant to be shared and enrich the lives of others. Kind of like how you're proud of me? <laughs> like you said, you do let me live here for next to nothing, and you take on a lot of tasks so I can focus on work. You wouldn't do that if you didn't think I was special. You must take pride in the things I'm making. Of course. I feel like you could change the world with your words. Nothing for a few more moments. Don't worry, Isaac. I'm proud of you, too. Those words seem to strike a chord with Isaac as he speaks on the verge of tears. Thanks. Dante. You all good? I don't know. I don't think we... I don't think any of us are. Yeah. Yeah. Just feels nice to hear someone say it. Oh. That was the end of their conversation, as only silence remains. I've never heard the two of them talk on their own like that before. A real, true bond. They really were the best of friends. I lay still, staring up at the stars. It's hard to fall asleep, as fear still courses through me. Zero's dying, an agent on our tail, and Hermes demands. There's a lot happening all at once. Yet, all of it was intricately tied to our fate. Moments like this make me hate that I've never had a vision. Having something to cling to, cling on to, would be so helpful. But right now, even the concept of tomorrow eludes me. 
There's too much in the air to even think about uh, what could happen next. Because of what we learned tonight was that everything can change in an instant. I close my eyes, but I can't get the picture out of my head. The bodies in the town square, that the child, now, now an orphan. None of them did anything to deserve this. It's awful. I close my eyes even tighter, trying to forget about what I saw. But there's one thing I can't get off my mind of. That blue and yellow security tape, marking it like a crime scene. Yeah, just like a crime scene. But that's not too far from the truth. It really did feel like a crime was committed tonight. And this crime rested solely on the shoulders of Argus. Oof. When lives are lost, resolve is found. Ooh, that got heavy. Like, that got heavy. That all got very heavy. What is this? This is new. As soon as we wake up, Isaac leads us to the convention center. Things don't officially start till tomorrow, but people have always assembled early. An extra day or two to mingle with friends was always an appealing prospect. Wow, they really made the place pretty, huh? They sure did. Yeah, way better than last. Too bad we didn't have time to make costumes. No, we were pretty There's busy. Always next year. There is always next year, hopefully. The atmosphere around me is one of denial. Not just my friends, but of the con goers as well. It's like everybody prioritizes fun instead of reality. The event looked, or that took place at Town Square changed things forever. Not just in the fight between Argus and Cypher, but for the entire world. Anti-Argus protests were happening in almost every major city. And in Toronto, where it all began, people were giving Zeros food and support. As avoidable this tragedy was, it seemed to open up everybody's eyes and start to think about what Chiron told me. The first person doesn't matter if an avalanche follows. Normally, that'd be the case, but in this situation, it was a complete opposite. In this case, the first person, or the people, mattered more than anything. The zeros that died would be etched into the annals of history. Notice how the letters now, I, you can't see it because it's behind me. Uh, hold on. Notice how the letters now in like the emphasized words are blue instead of red. I'm still worried about what will happen to me and my friends though. Especially with that agent appearing at the party. I still think that's a vision. Something's weird with, with, with uh, Delta. Do they really have the technology to sneak into our house like that? No. That would be impossible, wouldn't it? Unless, remember the Isaac showing us that hack on the back door? Is it possible that they snuck into the party through the back? There's no way Isaac would willingly let them into the house. But then why were they holding Isaac Clay's diary? It's almost as if they knew that they were there just to mock me. Not take action or harm me, just tease me. Even when they disappeared, I felt, I still felt them around. It's like I'm being watched all the time, no matter what. I think what I wrote in my diary just a little bit ago. Are you reading any of this right now? It's stupid, but at the same time, it makes sense. If they only taught me with an apple, I believe they just saw a camera footage. But to have Clay's diary, to know what I did, that's different. There were any cameras in our bedrooms, I know that much. And they couldn't have been looking from a window. Isaac's security encompasses the entire perimeter, but we're dealing with something else here. Something that, if true, was a testament to Argus' skill. To be able to watch and monitor me without any sort of de de or detection. Hmm. Well, Delta? Sound good to you? I wasn't listening. What were you saying? Uh, I must have totally zoned out. Uh, what was that? Sorry, I lost, lost oh, my head. Oh, no worries. We're just talking about that bed in the group chat. You know, whether Clace would get recognized or not? Probably. Not exactly recognized. More like found out. I'm still gonna claim that I'm cosplaying as Clace. So if they buy it, then my cover remains intact. Fair. Oh yeah, Come I remember on. this. We got this one in the bag. We got it. Do we really, though? That how not? I mean, look at how much money you're willing to bet. It can't be that much money. The snack bill from our New Year's Eve party. It's gotta be at least $500. Uh, <clears throat> close to a thousand, actually. Ooh, wow, okay. 
Close to a thousand, Taylor. Clace just chuckles as he listens in. Yeah, we're gonna win no matter what. Might as well get the loser to cover the party fees, right? Okay. You sound way too certain. Only disaster can follow. This is a weird conversation to be having considering everything else around us. I don't us. know, Dante. I'm pretty sure Clay's can stay under the radar. There was a huge crowd outside and nobody recognized him. But you want to bet a thousand dollars on that? That is a lot. I've won bets that seemed much worse. Remember, Isaac, I barely have any money. You better be certain about this. I have to think about the group chat for a moment. The wager is clearly taking up more space in their heads than mine. It's pretty simple, if I recall correctly. Place is gonna be found. Uh, thinks he's gonna be found out. So if he does, then he wins. If he doesn't, then we win. Meaning, he'd have to pay the snack bill. Well, Delta. I think about the situation, especially since I saw Clay's diary and the and the card inside of it. Ever since he arrived, his privacy has been his main concern. He stands to gain a lot by remaining undercover. So, I think if I. Even if we think otherwise, this will likely play out in our favor. To start to wonder uh, if that's part of his plan. If he offered to treat us, Isaac would probably say no. But if he lost the bet fair and square, then he'd have to. If Is he really going to try to help us out under the guide of a contest? Taylor's right. We got this one in the bag. Knew I could count on you, Delta. <laughs> Always the voice of reason. I don't know about that. I don't I'm know about that. I'm not worried either. I'm just trusting Isaac here. He has yet to let me down. Okay. Then you won't mind if I take Clay's side? Betrayal. 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 <laughs> it's your funeral. You'd lose less if you stayed on our side. Then it's only $200 each. Yeah, but the hit to my pride would be worse. I gotta go with my gut on this one. Okay, then. All right, then. Losing party splits the bill. Losing party does it. It's a bet. It's a bet. Easiest grand I've ever saved. Perfect. Don't get too cocky, Isaac. It's not cocky if I know I'm gonna win. Well, no, that that would be the very definition of it. So he smirks and starts walking away. We all start following, assuming he's leading us to the hotel room. In the meantime, let's get things started. Same rules as the plane, okay? Perfect. If you need private time in the room, then we'll wait in the hallway. Just promise not to split up or go back to either of our houses. What kind of private time? So what, I'm just supposed to avoid my own home? For your safety? Yeah. Probably for a little bit, buddy. I think that's probably for the safe bet. Just until Hermes Day, right? Until Hermes Day. I did notice this, everything is now blue. Everything is now blue suddenly, and we're starting to do the blue thing. Right. So things have changed, for sure. And what if things go wrong? You're placing a lot of faith in Cypher here. Well, I believe in them. Just like you believed in Argus. Look at how that one paid off. They did nothing. They did do nothing, that is true. Taylor. Dante, it's okay. I can understand why he's worried. Let's get to the hotel room and I'll explain a little more. Okay then. <laughs> a little more? Like what? You'll have to wait and see. Is this another one of your little secrets? Because you have a lot of those. All right. I don't know if that's going to be the end of this section. I'm kind of hoping it is this because we can go on for a while, but I guess this game is going to go on further. So I will probably continue playing, which is fine because I'm enjoying this game. It has some very nice moments, uh, but I think Isaac leads us to the hotel room. The view astounds me. I see us almost. Uh, I think this is where I have to stop for now, just because like I've been going for five straight hours. I wasn't expecting to go this long, so I am going to stop here and call this like a natural stopping point. Uh, we'll probably get back at it uh, come next week. And I think at that point, maybe it'll be the finish. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, either way, this was a lot of fun. So let me go over here really quick. And I want to thank everybody who stopped by today. It's been a lot of fun. I hope you had a good time. I uh, hope everyone's having a wonderful afternoon and week. Uh, I will be back tomorrow uh, playing some more Final Fantasy uh, 16. So we are going to be doing that. And beyond that, I think that's where we're going to 
call it for the night. So uh, I'm going to send you guys over today over to iBolt07 uh, for the uh, rest of the evening. But before I go, big thank yous to Hi-Fi Wolf for the the uh, the raid today. That was so much fun. I appreciate it big time. Also, Black Kid Archer, thank you so much for the follow. And Ashley Grace 01, thank you for the follow. Uh, big, big, big thank you to all of you guys today and everyone who uh, stopped by me today. So I'm really happy to have you around and uh, hope you guys have a wonderful evening. Um, until tomorrow, I'll see you guys next time and have a good night.